it. Hope is that it. Yes, it is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're watching this and it does not say live at the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, you're watching the recap. The good news is we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. But, ladies and gentlemen, we already had the data. It was the CPI revision, and believe it or not, nothing changed. So that is good news. Why? Because then that means we are not getting any surprises on how CPI will be measured this year. The trend has been going lower. The market liked it initially, came down a little bit, but for the most part, it is all seen as good news, and it's now setting us up for the same setup that we had coming into next week with the CPI. So you had that. You had more earnings after the bell yesterday. A little bit of reaction today. Some names a little lower, some a lot higher, like net. And then China, they're going into Lunar New Year. It's going to affect liquidity and some movement. Hong Kong, Asia didn't do as well. And I think Europe was right there in the middle. So Chattadonia, I hope you're ready for all of it. I hope you're feeling good. But Chattadonia... Good morning. Happy Friday, baby. What's up? What's up, Joshua? What up, Jeff Kent? Ty Reed. Mopar Maniac. Good morning, Xavier. Good morning, Najee Wolf. Good morning, Laurie. What up, Sungro? Mabis, Ray, Tim, Sim, Sam, Tim, Sim, Tim, Sim. Oh, yee yee, baby. Good morning. Ultrapato, Humble Soul, Mr. Agave, Devlin's in the house, baby. Angel, Calvin, CJ, Ben Stone, Pixar, Tom Crows, baby. Josh Herrera, Humble Business. Dude, the chat's going crazy. The chat is going insane right now. There's a lot of names. What is happening? Jazz, Frankie, Robel, Van Breezy, baby. Good morning. What up, David Tello? What up, Wildstyle? What up, Edwin Jiggly Buns? Good morning. Hey, Yoosh. Miss Chantel, David Tello, baby, Dirty Bird, good morning. What up, Jay and Danny, Paul Ortega, Andrew Zilla, Regal in the house, baby, good morning. Oh, Inland Empire, Ari, Battleboard, baby, Open Face Sandwich, Full Psycho Farms, Carissa Hines, oh, good morning, baby. Oh, yeah, Jerry Woods, what up, Sungrown? What up, Mark, how you living, man? What up, Force Driven, a wise in the house, baby. Tim Gonzalez, Clanger, Kurt McGurt, Melon Mayo, Nathan Evans, baby, Isaiah. Oh, good morning. What about the Twitch, baby? Senkow, Mr. Bevedere. Oh, Preforms, it's your son's birthday. Tell little man happy birthday, baby. That's what I'm talking about. One Wheeler, good morning. Mr. Belvedere, Charlie in the tree, baby. Good morning. Slizzin, Universe's favorite. Random filmmaker, KJ Lemur, Toxi, Ryan A, Triple Three, Mr. Belvedere, Alfredo, No Step on Snack, Braxton, Feed Me Seymour, Young Nick Pie, baby. Sim Race Review, Terminal, Ibex, Most Doe, Andy, Robo Hand Tech, Danny V, and Blazing Bob, baby. Yeah, no, honestly. And then, Chad, can y'all do me a favor and like the V? Oh, Bradley Frizzle! Oh, are you kidding me? Happy Friday! Bradley Frizzle and the Peach, ladies and gentlemen. Horn, oh, my goodness. I knew it was a blessed day. I, felt, I told y'all on the watch list yesterday... I said, wake up and say it's going to be a good day. I told you it's going to be a good day. And the first thing I see in the morning is Bradley Frizzle and the Peach. It's here, baby. Oh, stop it. Stop it. That's insane. Good morning. Good morning. I was just going to tell you guys. I was saying, listen, I need y'all to like the video. We need to hit that 1,000 likes before the bell. I don't want y'all to miss out on any of these plays because only the stream alerts be get, getting a benefit off of it. Y'all lagging in the morning. I need I need that 1,000 likes. I need y'all ready to go, baby. We're gonna, It's going to be a wild day. Not really, but it will be. And you know, you never know. That's why. So don't don't hold me to it, but we hunting, baby. So let's go. Run up that like button. Get in the game. And happy Friday, baby. It's good to see y'all. So, yeah, before the bell. Well, at the bell. We got a little bit of time. You're halfway there, man. Trust me. Trust me. Let's make it worthwhile. Let's make it worthwhile. So, S&P 500. Eyes 5,000 after uneventful CPI revisions. 
Wall Street got a bit of encouragement after an uneventful inflation revision lifted stocks in early trading, with traders now shifting gears to next week's data for clues on the Federal Reserve's rate path. S&P contracts signal the benchmark will top 5,000 after briefly hitting that mark in the final moments of Thursday. Ten-year Treasury yields fluctuated near 4.17. The dollar was little changed. U.S. inflation was about the same at the end of last year as initially reported after incorporating annual revisions, according to new data published on Friday. Consumer price for food and energy rose at 3.3 annualized in the first three months of 2023, matching the previous reading. Bureau of Labor Statistics data showed that the revisions to the headline figure were also minimal, though December's monthly increase was marked down to a 0.2 advance instead of 0.3. Focus is shifting to January's Consumer Price Index on Tuesday amid bets inflation has eased further at the start of the year. Economists surveyed by Bloomberg expect a year-on-year inflation to drop 2.9% in January from 34 in the previous month, which would be the lowest since early 2020. A speed rally that sent U.S. stocks on record-setting spree is now close to triggering several sell signals, according to Bank of America's Michael Hartnett. The bank's custom bull and bear indicator rose to 6.8 in the week through February 7th. Hartnett wrote in a note, a reading above 8 would suggest that the bullish trend has run too far, flashing a contrarian signal to sell, the strategist said. Bear positioning in 03 was market's best friend, Hartnett said, but after investors bought the S&P during the last 24% rally, that exposure is flipping from tailwind to headwind. He cautioned that in bubbles, markets show little respect for positioning or for valuation. They solely respect policy and real interest rates, he said. <clears throat> Cryptocurrency uh, Bitcoin advanced beyond 47,000. NVIDIA's stock rallied so much this year, it's now threatening to overtake Amazon to become the fourth most valuable company in the U.S. What? Expedia named Arian Gorin as chief executive officer for the online travel company, succeeding Peter Kern, who has been in the role since 2020. Separately, Expedia reported gross bookings of 21.7 in the fourth quarter, missing analyst estimates, uh, average of $22 billion. Pepsi gave full-year forecast light of analyst estimates and reported a drop in volumes in North America between Quaker food units and beverages. Take-Two video game company slash full-year net booking forecast below consensus estimate. Hermes sales uh, surged at the end of last year as the Birkin bag mark, uh, maker thrived amid the slowdown in demand for luxury goods with a unique model driven by scarcity. And then you have no more events for the rest of the day. Look at that. Quiet markets. Uh, there's very little movement in both stocks and futures in the Treasury market this morning. One potential catalyst could come after the annual revisions. After last year's adjustments, the regular CPI print is due next Tuesday. The S&P briefly crossed 5,000 on Thursday, but closed about two points below that level. So we'll be watching out for that. Bank of America, Michael Hartnett, says it triggered a sell signal. After last week, he said the rush into tech stocks was beginning to resemble the bubble of 1999, and Expedia is down 15%. Luxury winners, business is booming at Hermes with the shares rising to a record in Paris despite a cooling in demand for luxury products. In places like the U.S., Hermes still lures wealthy customers willing to splurge on hard-to-get handbags and pricey silk scarves. All of the main divisions in Paris grew by at least 10%. Uh, property crisis spreads. U.S. commercial real estate contagion has moved to Europe, and now a batch of overseas property assets as acquired by Chinese developers are starting to hit the market in Europe and Australia. The country's landlords and developers are deciding they want cash now to shore up domestic operations and pay off debts. Oscar, let's get to 1000 We're there, baby. I'm telling you. We're there, baby. Let's make it worthwhile. We're right there, baby. Good morning. The country's landlords and developers decide they want the cash now. The transactions could help put the number on just how much trouble the wider industry is in globally. Uh, Neil Callahan and Ansley Chandler, they say a few assets have been sold so far. Completed commercial property deals worldwide sank to the lowest level in a decade last year with owners unwilling to sell buildings at steep discount. Regulators and the market are nervous that the logjam could be concealing large unrealized losses in commercial real estate, especially mom and pop investors who are pulling more than $1 billion a month from real estate funds in Europe. Unhappy hedge funds. U.S. regulators will begin requiring hedge funds to confidentially share more info about their investment strategies, and the money managers aren't pleased. Managed Fund Association, which represents hedge funds, called the rules misguided and said it will actually harm regulators' ability to monitor risk. The new rules approved on Thursday will require firms to provide more details on investments, borrowing, and counterparty exposure. It comes after news earlier that the hedge funds and proprietary trader firms, which regularly trade U.S. Uh, treasuries, will be labeled as dealers by the SEC, a tag that brings greater compliance cost and scrutiny <clears throat> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. all 
All right, what do we got? S&P futures. There by 0.3 Friday morning trading, uh, boosted by some downward revision. A headline CPI comes after U.S. equities finished mostly higher on Thursday, with the S&P trading above the 5,000 level intraday for the first time. Small caps bounce, TMT, grow software, most short basket, retail, and builders, some of the other standouts. Stocks on track to finish mostly higher this week with momentum and growth factors from the standouts. Treasuries firmer across the curve off some earlier weakness. Yields still notably higher on the week. Dollar little change on the major crosses. Gold is down by 0.2. Bitcoin is up by 4.1 and WTI is down by 0.1. Micro over macro this week and no real shift in key narrative. Fed still pushing back against timing and aggressiveness and market cut expectations and stressing the ability to be patient, though easing is still in the pipeline. Resilient growth backdrop for U.S. in focus. Still low levels of initial claims in Atlanta Fed GDP of Q1 moving to 3.4 from initial 3.0 late last month. Tech growth momentum still have the standout from a performance perspective with continued tailwind from AI proliferation. Earnings takeaway still mixed. Uh, expectations sentiment driving a lot of the post earnings price action uh, beat rates have been improved from earlier in the year and 2024 estimates have been fairly stable annual cpi revision in focus as expected resulted in some downward adjustment december cpi month over month 0.2 versus 0.3 though december core and change recall fed governor waller recently highlighted the importance of the release to the fed's view on the inflation backdrop but previews also noted that may not be reflected in pce prices uh, revisions come ahead of the january report next two Tuesday, this inflation trend expected to continue with core CPI falling between 0.2 uh, to 3.7 year over year. Buybacks getting more attention in the financial press. ton of more political noise out there in Washington, but not really on markets near-term radar in terms of overseas development. China new bank loans surged a record high in January on policy support. Bank of uh, Japan Chief Ueda, latest to stress policy will remain easy following widely expected ZERP exit. Also some focus on hawkish comments from RBA Governor Bullock. Uh, Pepsi cut guidance, net up big, strong, uh, large deal activity. MSI down uh, despite beat, solid guy and buyback boost. DXCM takeaways positive, though company already out with positive pre-announcement. Take two cut guidance, blaming softness in mobile sales for 2K24. NBA, oh my gosh. And a planned release of moving out of Q4. Uh, pins revenue a bit light, Q1 guide below and takeaway noted a high bar, though Google partnership a positive. Expedia down big and light Q4 bookings. Softer Q1 outlook and C transition, though several firms still positive. A firm pressure despite B and better guidance with stock huge gainer 126 in the last three months. BYD, EBITDA beat with the most segments ahead. Tech segment income light and then PCTY lowered full year 24 revenue, flagging elongated sales cycle and lower employment levels. Ba -da -bop -bop -bop. <clears throat> Don't worry, there's more. The Biden administration is considering restrictions on imports of Chinese smart cards and related components that would go beyond tariffs to address growing U.S. concerns about data and security. China property crisis uh, might start to ripple across the world for sale signs are popping up everywhere. China new yuan loans for January were ahead of expectations. Financial conditions in Japan will remain easy for the time being after Bank of Japan puts an end to the world's last negative rate cut or rate regime. Barclays has agreed to buy the bulk of Tesco banking business for 600 million euros as UK supermarket chain accelerates retreat from ill-fated expansion into financial services. Uh, Bank of England policymaker Jonathan Haskell, who voted to raise interest rates last week, said he is encouraged by the signs that Britain's inflation pressures might cool down. Joe Biden's attempt to address suggestions. He has memory issues backfired with a new gaffe when he confused the leaders of Egypt and Mexico. Biden had summoned reporters to respond to a DOJ report, fueling concerns about his age and insisted that his memory was fine. New York City housing crunch is the worst that's been here in more than 50 years. The portion of rentals that were vacant and available dropped to a starting, startling 1.4% in 23, according to city data. It was the lowest vacancy rate in 1968 and shows drastically how home construction lags behind the demand of people who want to live in the city. A special counsel investigating Bez President Biden said in a report on Thursday that Mr. Biden had willfully retained and disclosed classified material after leaving the presidency, but concluded that no criminal charges are warranted. What? Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. We got a couple of more. Don't you worry. 
Uh, China real estate crisis starts to ripple. China equity flows turn positive, though likely driven by state-backed offshore program. Uh, China loans are flooding the market. Hundreds of Chinese-listed companies respond to government calls for stock market support. PBOC says it'll keep policy flexible and precise. ECB Kazakh says investor hopes for monetary easing at one of the next two meetings might be too aggressive. ECB Villaroy says likely to lower interest rates in 24. Bank of England Haskell wants more evidence inflation risks are waning before cutting. RBA Governor Bullock not ruling out more rate cuts. Special counsel report finds Biden careless in handling classified material, but sees no justification for laying charges. Senate advances $95 billion Ukraine-Israel deal after failed border deal, but no immediate word on when the chamber would consider final passage. S&P forward PE might be looking lofty, raising questions over market rally, global buybacks rebounding and improving profit growth and expectations on rate cuts. Treasury investors focused on today's CPI adjustments. Hedge funds now betting on USD appreciation reversing earlier expectations of a decline. Record cash piles at big tech paves the way for capital return. Disney epic deals shows sharp cut in Fortnite makers valuation. And then Biden eyes ban on Chinese smart cars. Ba da ba ba ba. So Chattadonia. It's game time. I got a couple of plaques. We need a thousand likes for any place. That's what I'm saying though. So I'll, I I can tell you my plays, but I'm just saying I'm gonna go to the bathroom here. We need a thousand likes, bro. Oh, you're gonna send the code. You ready to go? Let's go, baby. Let me set that up here and I cause I need I need to test it out. So we gotta see how it's gonna play. But you want the plays? We need the likes. We need the likes. Trust me. That's it. You're almost there. Okay. 10 people, 10 people, 20 people, maybe. But here, I need to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. And then we're going to go over the plays here. Actually, no, I can't. So I guess I'm going to read you some of mine, my plays. No, 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 no. I'm going to set this thing up. We're almost there. 150. Let me text my mom. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. Do you, did you get your mom a long term? That is the real question. Water, drink water. I'm still warming up, I feel you. I felt good in the morning, and then it just... Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. There it is. All right. All right, email me, Troy. I just tried it again. I don't know if I'm going to set it up. I I, I don't know how it's going to be intraday. So I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit. It's going to be fun, but Chattadonia... We have plays, man. We need to go over the plays. I need you locked and loaded. Honestly, we're there. We're there, baby. We need only 50 more likes. I'm going to invest in you. I'm going to invest in you guys, okay? I, I think you guys are going to hit it. I think you guys are going to hit it. So I'm going I'm to I'm go out on a limb. I'm going to go out on a limb, baby, and, and let's go over the plays. All right, as far as pre-market movers, you got net up 23.9, Rivian up 3.8, Ericsson up 3.7, NVIDIA reported to be forming new unit uh, to build custom chips, Anet up 3.4, Nothing, Owl 3.4 off of earnings, UAL up 3.3, Evercore ISI upgrade, PAA up 2.6 off of earnings, Grab 2.4, Nothing, Shop 2.3, Nothing, MDB 2.1, Nothing, Door is up 34%, Owens Corning to acquire for 133 a share, Cent is up 14.9 off of Nothing, JELD up 8.9, Door Sympathy, C is up 8.5, Craig Hallium initiates buy, Fastly up 5.7, Net Earning Sympathy, Enovix up 5.6 off of nothing. BYD 4.7 off of earnings. EMBC 4.1 off of earnings. IONQ 3.7 off of nothing. Sentinel 1 is up by 3.3. Net earning sympathy. ROIV 3.3. Nothing. Frog 2.6. Nothing. Indy 2.5. Nothing. Pac B 2.3. Nothing. Mohawk up 0.2 off of earnings. CCG is up 14.3 off of nothing. Farm up 12.2 off of earnings. LEU 10.9 off of earnings. Corvus CRVS up 10.5. Confirms FDA orphan drug designation to Soquelinitib. Soquelinitinib. SHCO is up 10.0. Responds to short report. Buyback guidance disclosed prior evaluation of strategic alternatives. INOD up 9.1. Nothing. NOTV up 8.4. Jeffrey's upgrade. Aukul up 8.3. Bank of America initiates buy. PYXS up 6.5. BTIG initiates buy. All crypto plays trading higher. Expedia down 16. Trip booking Airbnb all down in sympathy. Pinterest down 8.5 off of earnings. Affirm down 8.5 off earnings. Take 2 7.4 off of earnings. 
MSI down 3.8 off of earnings. Illumina down 3.3 off of earnings. OC down 2.9 to acquire Masonite. Explore Strategic Alternatives down 2.9. Marvel down 2.8. NVIDIA reported to be forming new unit to build custom chips. MGA down 2.5 off of earnings. AVGO down 2.4. NVIDIA forming those new chip plants. Uh, CPNG down 2.0, Dexcom down 1.6, WDC down uh, uh, 1.5, delays filing 10Q due to errors in reporting Flash Ventures, NOK down 1.1, NVIDIA reported to be forming new build for custom chips, Lulu down 1.1, BNB Paribas downgrade, Disney down 1.1, nothing, MTD 0.2 off of earnings, and Catalan down 0.1 off of earnings, TIXT down 7.3 off of earnings, Docs S 5.8 off of earnings, SSL down 5 off of guidance, Bill down 4.3 off of earnings, Sina down 4.0 off of earnings, NWL uh, down 3.6 off of earnings, UI down 2.5 off of earnings, uh, CPRI down 1.9 off of earnings, Rig down 1.9, Peak down 0.8, SYBX down 53% to discontinue Siphony 3 study to conduct strategic review. Uh, PLCE down 50.1, guidance working with advisors on improving liquidity. BTAI down 30.1, 60 million offering at 175. Holo down 26, profit taking. EMKR down 23.9, MLGO 18.2, LTRX down 14.1, MNY down 11.4, CFO resigns, PXLW down 10.2 off of earnings, and then FHTX down 3.7 off of profit taking. Good morning. How, how do you get the options alerts? Well, listen, if we have a thousand likes, you don't need them. Otherwise, first link will get you a long-term alert too, baby. Okay? Okay. So, Chattadonia, I got a couple of plays. Uh, which one? I'm missing one, though. Email. I got it. I'm, I'm, in, I'm good to go. I'm going to have to set it up. I might do it on this bathroom break here. I'm going to try to set it up another OBS. Oh, yeah, Erickson. So, again, Erickson, there was a lot of news there. I'm going to be watching Net. Take two, RG and X. Uh, these are plays that we're already going to be in. Disney, Starbucks, Guild, and then Fastly for a net sympathy. And then we're going to watch if we could play the uh, net right after the bell. I still have RG and X. Yeah, that's on my list right now. That one's doing very good. They've had a lot of positive trial data. So let's go, baby. But Chattadonia, let me go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Did we hit 1,000 likes? Oh, we did, baby. Plays on the way. Let's go. Proto lobbed in a hit. Yeah, Expedia too. I don't know. That one was close. Take two was also in the money at one point and then fell out. So we're going to see how it plays out. But there's a couple of plays out here I think we could go after in the morning. You hit the like button, so we're ready to go, baby. But I will be right back, okay? See you in a little bit. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. A little bit later, Invesco's Brian Levitt joins oh, no. me to weigh in <laughs> on this equity commercial? market rally. The S&P 500 closing in on another might record be. high. That conversation just ahead. Man. Damn, I missed it. I missed it, bro. I missed it, bro. Oh, man. I need it. I want to try to. I'm trying to set something up, too. Oh, man. No, they don't want me to go. All right, Chad, what's your first play? Screw it, baby. We in the game. Oh, you need the newswire? Apologies, my brother. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the reminder, baby. <laughs> Chattadonia, what's your first play of the day? You're here right now. You haven't heard the TV yet. You ain't heard everybody around the world, but some of you woke up early. Post your first play of the day in the chat, baby. Let's go. Arm put, coin calls, NVIDIA, arm put. Google calls, a firm put, Google calls, coin calls, Tesla, net contribution, continuation, sin on hands, MSTR 680, PayPal next week, calls on Shopify, net daily, a firm, spy call, sell Illumina, puts on ARM, MCL long, shop, XOM, Clorox put, a firm, Disney calls, same, Tesla flip, DWOC put, DIA put, long, VW, calls on the world, ASAN, Expedia, continuation, love, adding TQQ, adding more, a firm, pumping up, Palantir, patience, riot, TLT, Tesla, MCL, Expedia call, spy, a firm, closing the spy, short butterflies net nvidia nvidia calls twilio a firm baby mara 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 sell nvidia sell mara puts on biden dia puts puts on trump close proto lab calls on paul acam spy credit spreads wm shop long shop call snap put beetle calls a firm calls baby rklb buy and leg shares airbnb net expedia holding arm good work baby a calls on ai net continuation sofi shares net calls at the bell sell tesla net calls holding net calls spy calls coin calls calls on putin calls on chad calls on the like button snap call tesla call Path call, calls on Uncle Gilt Coke calls, baby, Walmart, and then puts on Biden, short red fin, calls on breakfast in the final plays.
UAL calls, WMGI call, Intel calls, and Obama calls. Wow, that one, I didn't see that one coming. I did not. That was the last one. on. The, I did not see that one coming. Obama calls. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my people, I thank you for liking the video. Now, with that being said, we must get back to our day. So thank you. And tell Joseph I appreciate him. Now, I don't know. I, I the, the voice ain't warmed up yet. You got to give me a little bit. You got to give me a little bit. But Chattadonia, man, it's game time. And here at the cult, man, whether you're new, some of you just tuning back in, I don't know what it may be. But listen, we do something very important every day. This means the world to me. And I know it means the world to a lot of people in here. And we had a lot of people who made this sacrifice and commitment. And what it is is that before we do anything, before we try to chase a dollar, before we try to enrich ourselves, before we do anything, we must pay homage to a very special group of people that has made the ultimate sacrifice and a sacrifice that most of us never have made or never will. And it is very honorable. And I'm talking about the veterans of the United States of America. So on behalf of the cult, I want to give a big shout out all the active servicemen, past servicemen, anybody who has served this country for real. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your dedication, whether or not somebody gave you big ups for it or not, whether or not you did stuff you didn't even want to do, but you did it for something bigger than yourself. I say thank you and thank you to your families as well. We love and appreciate you, baby. And big shout out to anybody else out there giving back to their local communities, all the doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, police officers, the janitors, the garbage men, the coaches. If you holding it down, giving back, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It starts at the community level. But ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Place your right hand over your heart. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, baby. Oh, it's game time, baby. Oh, no, let's go. Oh, Chattadonia. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. So listen, Expedia, you got to make up your mind, Chad. If you were there on yesterday's watch list, any of the plays... If you have an earnings play, if you make your mind up right now on whether you are going to hold or sell, it will make your day a lot easier, okay? Make that mind up. But, Chad, we only got a minute. Y'all like the video. We ready to go, baby. No, we ready to go. The voice, man, I'm just warming up. We got a 1,000 likes before the bell. Oh, we're about to go crazy in here. You have no idea, but I need to go to the bathroom. So I'll be right. They're talking Sam Bankman. What is this? That's stop. It's all commercials. I can't get away. I just want to go pee. Actually, I know I know what I could play. I know exactly what I could play. We have one minute, Chad. You have one minute. Yeah. What's up, man? I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? $500 a day. No, Round one. Fight. Game time. Oh, Expedia. Damn, Expedia is already up a thousand percent. Damn, son. Expedia is already up a thousand percent. Two dollars into twenty dollars into three ninety. 
Oh, damn. Oh, damn, son. All right, the bid's already coming. Again, those contracts are either going to run the rest of the day or they're going to die after this because that's already up a 1,000 fast. Take two is up to 30 cents to $1.50. All right, we're going to have to come back to that. Damn, Expedia. Someone watch those Expedias, though. That one's going to be interesting. Don't you know? Pump it up. You've got to pump it up. Oh, your net contracts are all expensive, Brody. Yeah, that one's going to be tough. Oh, I have another idea, though. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bet MGM signs sports betting deal. All right, those I bought. I have a play. I'm gonna wait if the nets come down, but nets you can't play that for less than two hundred dollars. Again, in Expedia, you have a hit on Expedia and take two. But Expedia is already up a thousand percent right now. Which one is it? Oh, I should have got more on that. I should have got more time on it. Again, net I'm waiting. Net is way too expensive to even play it. So out of any of these earnings plays that we've done in the last couple of days, net is the most expensive following like the day after, unfortunately. That has been the problem. Expedia, Expedia spreads are crazy. They like tighten and then widen. So those were just at four, but it's at $300 for now. So not a recommendation. You will lose money. Thank you for liking the video. I went with Fastly. So I only, I did, this one's kind of expensive, but I spent $60. So instead of, go, I want net, but net's a little too much money there. So I went with February 16th, $30 calls for 60 cents. Fastly's the sympathy there. Maybe we get lucky if they go, but then Fastly still has earnings. So that's the only, that's the only thing I think we could get on net already, unless it comes down and we're able to get a much cheaper play. So Expedia is already coming down. So again, Hit the hit the gap up and then comes down. You gotta watch out. RGNX, that thing's running. And then take two, you got a little bit of a bid. What's the other one? Doc U. Myrna pumping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to net. Keep an eye. Yeah. Expedia, watch out. You already lost half the gains on Expedia. Four dollars to two dollars now. Yeah, those nets need to die, bro. Yeah, you got that next extra week for same price. Do that. I was just saying, if you could get an extra week on there, because then that'll give you past earnings. Yeah, dude, it's it is the same price. Honestly, it's like a little bit more now. But I'd go to next week instead. Got out of Expedia with three sixty. Nice baby. Nice. It's a great play. That one and again, take two is interesting. Net selling off. So I'm glad we're not on there. Prolob going up. Hey, man, we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, RGNX. Again, take two, 300%. I don't know. We hold that. And then Toyota, that Toyota put get in a bid. <laughs> That's funny. That one wasn't like that. My Prolob. Don't forget, we have Disney, too. Those came down. Expedia keep climbing. Um, How can we do that? Mara, Rip, I know ILMN, that ain't hit at all. And Dexcom, but then again, I really think Illumina, we should hear some after it. I don't know if they're going to let that one just sit there. So Fastly still going up, Net is coming down. I don't know, I think we might get a good hit on Fastly. I'm down for now. I think I overpaid there a little bit, but like I said, next week's a better deal. Now the next weeks have gone away. Good call out on that though, open face. If you could get that one there. 
But I only went with one. Remember, keep the place small. We're not trying to put in a big amount of money. And the whole idea of position sizing, double dip on arm, maybe in a little bit. Like maybe if it goes back to below like 105, I don't know if I'm asking for too much. So it was just there earlier. Starbucks. Oh, again, we have those Starbies plays. Damn, those Hershey's came down. Watch though, Hershey's might be able to take off later in the day. And then what's the other one? There's one play I like. A firm green cytokinesis is up. Ooh, this one's weird. You sell Expedia? No, not yet. I should have at $4 in the morning, but we might have just got cucked. I mean, I was just telling you guys this yesterday. I said it right there. I said this play is either going to fade the rest of the day or it's going to go up a lot more, but I kind of already missed out. It's 150 now from 20. Still like 500%, but you literally had 1,000% in the morning. You sold that 300, good hit. Good hit. I'm looking at one more play right now, but it's kind of shitty. Am I selling a firm? Is it worth money? A firm ain't worth anything. All right, I went I went with the play. I did shares on this one. So I know you guys wanted some options, but the options aren't that good. And I think the risk to reward on this, I think I'm going to either lose like two or 300 or we can make some money on it. Where is it? Wait, did I get it? Yeah, they filled I thought they didn't. This one's weird. This one's a little weird, but given what we read in the morning, I figured it'd have a little bit more juice. So not a recommendation. You will lose money. I grabbed a thousand shares of Ericsson. So literally uh, Ericsson, they had all those headlines there this morning uh, with, uh, what's it called? Which one was it? Yeah. With NVIDIA. So they had all those headlines, but I don't know. Remember, a liquid, cheaper stocks, they, they go 50-50. So not a recommended. Eric, E-R-I-C. You sound sick. No, I'm just warming up, man. I'm warming up. The Honda have to wake up. We got to see a little bit. And then we had the fast lead. Did net come down? Bro, net is so expensive. Disney dump. No. Where's net? You could play the dailies for $100. I don't think it's really worth it there. Yeah, we got to wait a little bit more on net. No, it's still... I mean... You're getting a way better price on net than this morning on some of the continuation options. But the problem is they're still jacked up. Remember, this thing was pricing in a ton. So you still got to spend $100 minimum, a little bit more. So that's that's what you got to watch out for. But I, I think if it bounces from here, you're going to love the price of the options. But if you want to get greedy and really get a low price, I would wait. So it, it just depends, though. But it's you've given up morning premium. But there's still a little a bit of an overhang. Maybe if you did a spread, that might help you out a little bit more. 
You didn't net shares? Nice. That was a good idea. I sold the Expedia GG. The game is at 197 now, 235. Dude, the spreads are wicked. I can't, that one opened up a thousand percent, but literally, it was what we were talking about yesterday. He's going to hit two trades at a high price and then just fade the rest of the day. TSM crashing. Remember, they were running the other day. I think yesterday. I did see PayPal on the high. So Fastly came down. There's Eric. Tesla's going up. Yeah, Disney dumping. Where's take two? That one, take two still. Those came down. A lot of premium in the morning. Crazy. You could ghetto spread the EXP. That's not a bad idea. Where is it? Um, Which ones? We have the one what? We got the 125s. Uh, you could sell the 120. You could ghetto spread like the 120. Still get back maybe like 80 to to $100. That's not bad. And then you'd have $500 of upside. But then again, the contract was just at $500. Expedia just moves a lot. So we'll see. That one's going to be tough. It's either going to do its little melt-up bounce or it might even just stay pinned. Because that flush in the morning was pretty aggressive. Crowd strike. We did a little early pump it up. I'll give you guys another one, though. Maybe once we get up here a little bit. Let my voice warm up. You know, maybe when we get to 525, you got a little bump it up in the morning, just a little bit. Expedia.com. CRISPR up 4.6. What's the other one? Fastly. They're coming up. Net. Still a little low. We'll keep an eye on net. And that's just going to get you. There's a lot of contracts on net. That's crazy. Like a lot of everybody went for that one today. Coin going up. Square and PayPal now too. Expedia. Broke there. Oh yeah, where's Pepsi? They're down. Pepsi's even going down three. Remember, Pepsi doesn't move a lot. That could be that honestly might be a continuation. Watch out there. You you have like two dollars left at downside, but I don't know if it'll do that in a day. <laughs> The Uber 80s are up. When we made them free at 100. But yeah, you got a little bit of value there. Again, the Starbucks are up too. We have till next week on that. Remember that Starbucks 98, that one's up almost 100. Almost. It's actually, no, it's like 50. Yeah, Starbucks is 52. Bonds getting a bid. Spy, a new high. Arm going up. SMCI, IBM, Boeing. I'm seeing a lot of chip makers. Take two, staying pinned. Expedia trying to break out. Yeah, Illumina and Dexcom are clapped. And then I'm still in Expedia, but maybe we should have taken that one in the morning, but... I'm going to at least hold now for like an hour or unless I kind of wanted $400 for it. But take two and Expedia hit if you took them. They're still up now, but – and then Dexcom and the other one failed. Yeah, Pepsi's dropping a, a little bit more than I would have expected. It's kind of interesting. Bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, I think I got one more play in me. I got one more play and I'm going to go home.
kind of expensive, man. Watch Spy Dump. It's holding for now. All right. Let me see. I think those are. I'm still on the bid on one. I need that one to fill. The Pepsi plays working now. It's good. Let me take a look there. Intel trying to work its way up. And then now, are you ready for this? I have an idea. Does ghetto standard deviation work? It does. It works for dailies. That's that's like been the whole point I've been trying to tell everybody. Like the whole idea with this standard deviation strategy is it's learning what the option chain is pricing in. And then you could apply that however you want. But it works better with events. So if there's news or something going on, you know, you're you're more likely to get there, but simply you could price in with the option chain, see what is, you know, expected by the options. And then you could go above, you could agree with it, or you could go beyond it. So the Expedient Cloud on open, good work, baby. That's big money. So what I just did, I balanced out my uh, Expedia right now. I did this with another idea. So not a recommendation, you will lose money. I grabbed Airbnb calls now for earnings. I did two of each to get for the pre-run up. So pretty much I'm buy I bought multiple contracts, plan is to sell before earnings but now with Expedia down they killed the premium here I grabbed February 23rd Airbnb I grabbed two of the 175s at 60 cents and then I grabbed uh, two of the 190s at 16 cents as well not a recommendation no puts on Airbnb yet because I'm hold. I'm, I figure the Expedia put will hit but does that make sense so hold the Expedia put for now and then now I have Airbnb run up this little sympathy brought the contracts down 20 to 40%. And now we're good to go. Not a recommendation. You will lose money. The ghetto standard. Yeah, if you just go on YouTube and just search ghetto standard deviation, that video like a month ago should pop up. And I think that's like a comprehensive tutorial on it. Nets back up. Yeah, did those contracts, what did those do? I was too soft on those. They went up a dollar twenty to two twenty. Still expensive. Yeah, earnings is next Tuesday, so I grabbed the week after because I made that mistake on the fastly. But now too, so I'm thinking because I'm thinking if Expedia bounces, I feel like Airbnb will bounce and then vice versa. Eric, it was just it was getting related to all the uh the chip stuff. Or something with like NVIDIA and working on plants. But I think I might have misread it because I don't I don't think they partnered with them. But they're forming a new unit to build custom chips. That's what NVIDIA said. And then they were one of the only ones that benefited. All the other ones got clapped. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Are you thinking make pla- plays on ads that are going to be shown at the Super Bowl? We could remember what's the statistic? Isn't it like I think if you are appear in a Super Bowl ad, the like next seven days of your stock you end up going higher. I don't know something like that. I did a 175 and a 190. I only grabbed the 190s because they were the lower priced ones. So if there's an earnings run up, I'm assuming those will eventually be 40 by the day by the day of earnings. But then again, I could be incorrect, and then that's it. China plays ain't doing much. Yeah, Disney got murked. Still good, 107, but we fell out the money on that one. Twilio. What's the other one? Take two. Those early, the morning gains were the best on take two and BM, or on in Expedia. It was crazy. Only only calls for now, yeah. So again, think about it. I didn't want Airbnb calls yesterday. Why? They were up 3%. So then they just gap, they gap down today with Expedia. So I'm using the bad earnings to my advantage. But in this case, that bad earnings is going to make those puts more expensive. And Nets moving around still. MDB AI on the high. Right now, Russell's up and NASDAQ. We're still doing great. Hartnett's on ad growth? No, what do you say? Isn't it like seven million for a commercial? I didn't take the take two. No, 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 no. I let both of those slide right now. I had three hundred percent on take two, and I had a thousand percent on Expedia. I'm still up like six hundred and fifty percent on Expedia, so that one's not bad. But and then I don't know where the. I think the take two might have came back to break even. No, I got 100%, 125 on it. Day of will check puts. Yeah, or if it runs up a lot and those puts get cheaper. All right. Arm, they've been going up. They hit below 105 this morning. That's crazy. I like it below 105 to see for the double dip, but hopefully we just get that just like overall momentum. Intel running up here. Baba drop in. Airbnb is expecting, I believe, like $13 move for one standard deviation, 26 for two. NYCB insider buy. Uh, it's doing it again. NYCB, big pop. If you want to play the regional route of back and forth, that one's all you. Literally, they just popped up a couple of percent right there. HSY. I like them. They ran up a little bit and then those premiums kind of chilled out, but yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not against Hershey's. Airbnb expensive now. They were expensive yesterday. I I still think Airbnb is pricey. I just think we got a little bit of a discount on the uh what's it called? 
I just think we were able to get a discount on the uh, after this earnings. A firm done. I haven't looked at those. A firm week. Oh, well, no. Pinterest was the one we were close to being in the money on. And then they flipped it on us. Cheap on Monday. Zooms. ZIGT, BHF, LSCC, TC, and WM. I like WM and Zoom Info out of those. I'd have to. Are they on Monday, though? I don't I don't like the Monday earnings. The Monday earnings. So, like, a. Like, uh, like you don't like to go to office on a Monday, you know, like, uh, I do think, again, when's Redfin? Redfin could be, Redfin just only to the upside. MGM return to Vegas call. Broadcom on the high, AVGO. All right, not bad. Path went crazy. Airbnb call. Uh, they're pre-earnings plays. They're already up a little bit. They already went up like 16%. And who's the other one? Fastly. Those are just holding up. Uh, and then what was the other one? Just Fastly and Airbnb. I did Eric. That one sucks so far. I'm glad we trimmed one of the Illuminas. Illumina might start moving. Like I said, Illumina and Dexcom, one of them has to move. Dexcom may be printed or, or maybe pinned, but I think Illumina might start moving. Net at all-time highs or near the high. Yeah, the contracts, they're only 180 now, though. So, like, literally, if you bought the bottom, the furthest out the money, the cheapest contract was going for 120 here it was going for two two twenty, and then now it's going for one eighty. So I, I still like the fastlies a little bit more. Yeah, revisions happened, and it was actually good news because of no changes. Fortinet moving, oh a little bit, yeah. That play we should have hit big on. They hold us. Expedia, that one's slowly dying. If you got those threes, that was good. The Starbucks 150. Yeah, those are 30 cents to 80 now. Or 40. But yeah, I have 100% on that one now, finally. So again, we'll get in the money at 98. And then we'll have that till next week. So literally, it's just getting back to its little earnings level. That's what we played. So I'm down with that. I don't know if the other ones are going to come back up. Because I think I have two sets. Other ones are still clobbered. Form, QQQ, Broadcom, VU, SPY, new high. Oh, my goodness. So, Chattadonia, SPX now at 510. 5,010.
shop. Uh, when do they report? I'd have to see when their report date is. What is it? New high, Google leading. NASDAQ's the leader. Honestly, Dow's still red. That's the crazy part. Google actually getting a pretty big candle up 1.0. Mm-hmm. I, I think it might be time. I think it might. 5.10. I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take the level, man. I'll take the level. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, I'm a trader. Yeah, you see the news? Yeah, all-time highs. Again. It's an all-time, all-time high. Yeah. I only work 30 minutes a day. Yeah, I just sit in front of that. So you click a couple of buttons. Yeah, no, no. Five minutes cheap. All-time highs means it's going higher. Duh. Everybody knows that. Yeah, because it's been 15 weeks. Yeah, I haven't slept. I don't need to sleep. I get paid to do whatever because the market. No, man, don't even. It's called Robin Hood. Here, I'll send you a link. Here, you can get it. You can get get one too. Oh, yeah. Super easy. Uh huh. Nobody cares about interest rates. Don't even worry about that. What are you? Are you buying a house? No, who cares? Go buy a stock. Why are you making it so complicated? Yeah, here, I'll show you. Yeah, you see how the chart goes up? That means I'm, stu I'm stupid rich now. Yeah. No, see, you don't need to do anything. I quit my job three times, and now I do this. Yeah. No, no, no. It's called a generational rally. That means, yeah, you're probably not going to see this again. So you better get in it. That's just all. That's, it's called generational. You heard of generational wealth? Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan. Big fan of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, generation. Yeah, it's called buy the dip. So, yeah, no, you don't ever sell. But what you do is you buy the dip. Every time it goes down, you just buy it. Where do you get the money? Uh, you just buy it, dude. Why are you asking stupid questions? You buy it. Oh, you super simple. Here, I'll send you another. Here's, here's my Weeble referral link. Yeah, it's called Weeble. Like, all of us could be bullish together. Yeah. How do you think I got this table? Tables don't pay for themselves, do they? They don't. Let's go, baby. Yeah, what about me? Hunter, where's your chance at? Give me a fucking chance at. Let's go. I did that. Look at our time high. Yeah, who brought the stock market up? I did it. That's Trump. <laughs> hey, man, Trump. Trump, Trump, we have Trump, Trump, Trump. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I did that, baby. Let's go. Hey, man, it's fine. No, he's cool. Don't worry. He's with me. Never gonna stop. The girl them kill our chick. Sandra Paul. Uh, Somebody give it to That comes up next. I think that's a vibe. I think that's a vibe, man. I think that's a vibe. I'll take it. And I know it ain't more when I'm in no meeting in your own. Sorry. Exciting. Exciting stuff. All right, man. We pumped it up, 5,000. The next pump it up is at 6,000. This is getting really awkward. Because every time we set it 100 points higher, it hits it in two weeks. It's lit literally every single time. Who would have thought? Sound the bomb, and I'm going to keep and get pumped. I got the right by the dip to keep. No? Okay, I don't know. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to set some. I'm going to try something out today, too, so we'll see. So follow me on Instagram, at the Trade and Fraternity. Market hit a new high. Everything's green except for the damn Dow and, and the bonds as well, too. We had a couple of thousand percenters this morning. Let the Expedia slip through our fingers, and then we made another play, and, and then that's about it. We made like two or three. But I will be right back, baby. 
God bless you and good morning and see you in a little bit. Come at the cost of underperformance in bad markets. For example, a year like 2022, when the S&P 500 was down 19 percent. How does that ultra concentration fare? It's it well because we have a growth bias. It did worse than the S and P, better than the Nasdaq, and then last year it was up about forty one percent, better than the S and P, not as good as the Nasdaq. So it's a little bit more volatile than our other portfolios. But actually, when looked at over a long period of time, it it pops up into the top deciles of of rele relevant peer groups, which by the way is hard to find. Uh, so I think you have to have risk tolerance to be in twelve names. Uh, but over the long term, it it ends up generating better than index returns as long as you can handle volatility. So when you look at the portfolio right now, and uh, I have to say 12 names, that is so small. Uh, really cool to see that kind of conviction. Where is your conviction right now? What names do you like? Yeah, so we're overweight technology. Uh, the portfolio is about 45% in technology. We have Palo Alto Networks, ServiceNow, um, Microsoft, Broadcom. And we're actually looking at adding another name uh, in the coming weeks in the tech space. But then our other big overweight is consumer discretionary. And then we're sort of, you know, um, spread out between uh, old economy names that we think are pivoting to digitization and generative AI cloud computing. And those are in sort of more conservative sectors. And that's really our investing theme across all of our strategies. We want managements that are pivoting. I mean, think Spotify, um, you know, moving uh, Joe Rogan's exclusivity, get, getting rid of it, and then allowing uh, the, the um, podcast to get ad sale on other platforms, sharing that with uh, the talent. We think that's a great move for Spotify. Mm. And those are the kinds of things we're looking for for the companies. I got to say, I'm, I'm very curious to hear what that tech company that you're going to add is. Maybe you can tell us in a couple of weeks' time. But uh, that's really interesting, your comments when it comes to the old economy names, that you're looking for those that are trying to tap into AI and some of those tech investments. Because looking across the list that you shared with us, it really spans sectors. But it sounds like that's the common thread. That is the thread, Katie. And I think it's a, a very important one. Um, you know, like you get a day like today and come see a company like Pepsi, which we own in our uh, relative value uh, dividend growth strategy. And and we bought that name because the, the company identified as a, as a tech company that happens to sell beverages and snacks. And so we're, we're going to be interested to see how they expand margins now that the pricing power is gone. And if they can't, then we're gone. So um, that's what we're looking for in the old, you know, the old economy names. Yeah, that's that pricing power story. Uh, maybe we're at the limit when it comes to some of these names who've been raising prices for quite a while. But an interesting feature of this earnings season is that you take a look at the month of February. A lot of buybacks. Bloomberg News actually crunched the numbers and U.S. companies announced over a hundred billion dollars in planned buybacks in the first seven days of February. That is more so than the full month tally in January. It's also the strongest start to a February ever. What signal are you taking away from that, that all of these companies are coming out with these big time buybacks. Well, I mean, they've got a lot of cash. I think what we what we learned from higher for longer from the Fed was that it actually benefited the big technology companies. So think of Microsoft that started, I think it was second quarter of last year with about 500 billion in cash on the balance sheet, uh, but they were earning double what they'd earned previously. And at the end of the third quarter, certainly some of that was, you know, earnings growth or earnings that went to the went to the balance sheet or went to cash, uh, but they're at 1.3 billion. So, um, oh, you know, I've drawn an analogy between this market and this Troy. economy to the 1990s when Troy, you know, are you not ready? only alive, but I was managing billions of dollars of other people's money. And what what's, you know, really set, set that in line Is was it? not just that um, right. that was when well, share buybacks it, really became a thing when the enter the shadow banking system. Let's try. I want to see this. So you guys are going to get to be here. I hope this ends up working. Let's see if we could connect. We're going to try something out here today. You can see it. Are you sure? Let's see. Well, hello. Uh, I am not the, the the man behind this one. Well, it depends on where you're listening to me right now. But we have we have a special guest today. I think. How do I see it? I don't. How do you How do you go to it? Is Is it running? Do you see it? Or no? Let me double check. Oh, I see something coming up. You can see it. Are you sure? 
Let's see. Well, hello. Uh, I am not. Oh, yeah. Is it there? I don't know. Does it show up or not? I see it, though, on the live. I think everything is going through. Mm -hmm. A new chat exclusive. I have no idea. How do you even go? How do you even get to it? So it shows up when I go to the broadcast dashboard, but I don't see uh, like the thing. <laughs> NYCB, another inside buy. Again, two of them. I mean, we have 13 Fs coming out soon, but damn. Interesting. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. You got to go to the... Oh, wait. Now it just disappeared. <laughs> Why do they make it so hard? You have to, like, go to the broadcast tab. It'll say live. Live on X. So, Chatadonia, y'all could show love the fast stock market news. They let me use their Twitter to go live on Twitter for my first ever time. So, yeah, we have in there. You So now you're going to have the fast stock market news Twitter. But then also you actually have a live on Twitter now. It's the first time. I'll post the link here. Yeah, y'all show some love. Show some love to fast stock market news, and let's see how this plays out. I haven't done a Twitter. I've never done a Twitter in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I lasted, like, tweeting for, like, a month, bro. You know, y'all have me sitting on my couch making. I don't know. I'm not good at tweet. I mean, that's why I'm using I'm using fast stock market news. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see how it plays out. I'm confused. Is it free? Everything's free, bro. What do you mean? You could just show, you could show love to fast stock market news. You could show love to me, but... You know, everything should be extremely high quality and free. Figured it out fast. I, it's it's kind of general. I think it's the same thing. I don't know. Can you tweet out the link? Because I don't know if people see it. Let me. I don't know if I put it through. Yeah. Yeah, make a, if you post the link, make it look like a tweet. It looks weird. It's, it's a little different, but hey, we'll see what happens with it, man. I've never got to go on Twitter, but you know. Fast stock market news gets you some fast news. I think we're going to be able to get you some news here too, and you'll get it there. It's lagging behind a little bit. It doesn't show up on the app. I know it's really weird. And you can hear, you can't hear anything. Really? What up, bro? What's going on, Brandon? How you living, man? Again, NYCB, they just had a, What's it called? Insider buys Okta. Was that that company that lady was talking about? So everyone, could, they can't see the YouTube chat, but they should be getting the uh, my my audio, the wire, and then this too. You have to unmute, so you don't hear me on the Twitter. Are you sure? But they should be getting the no. Uh, I my, hear it. My audio, the wire, and then this too. Hello. You have to unmute so you don't hear me on the. T They're live streaming. Yeah, you could you could say you could say you have a special guest or something because I don't want to mess. Like, what if they're like, I hate this guy. And then I'm like, well, it's not it's not even I'm you know, I'm just I'm just blessed to be able to be on this account. You know, the homies letting me test out Twitter. So you can hear me. But yeah. So it's good, though. Let's try it, man. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You hear me on Twitter? All right, man. We're good to go. We're good to go. Observers need to unmute, not the host. I love you. Such an inspiration. I made two months net pay this morning. I appreciate everything. All right, man. Be wise about it, too. Keep it in there, you know. And if you didn't, I hope you watched yesterday's video. Yesterday's watch list, we talked about when to take the profits. And, and you know, I think one big thing we brought up was just on all of these plays, Make sure you keep your budget in mind so that you are prepared for the next play. Don't throw all of it down on one day, but hold the bag, man, and it's good, baby. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Mm 
Meta not vibing. You can't talk on Twitter. Yeah, well, I didn't want it to be too crazy the first time, you know. So y'all could listen in. Y'all could tweet if you want to. Or you just get into the YouTube or the Twitch chat for now. Again, this is my first time on Twitter, so bear with me. Bear with me. Now I have three OBSs I need to, I need to deal with. Net long. I, I didn't take the net play. I went with Fastly instead. So net was already... Honestly, the net contracts are kind of poop. So here's net chart. Like, you can see net is up. But, like, look at the contract. In the morning, they were going for three. Then it dropped down to that, like, 120, like I told you. Then it bounced up here. They went back to, like, 220. And then now the stock's the same price. And now these are back down to 105. That post earnings wasn't there. I did Fastly as a sympathy play, and then they have earnings coming up. And I think that play is just holding. I bought one for 60 cents. I don't know. Which one did I get? I grabbed a... You guys liked the video, too, so, you know, I'm hooking y'all up today. Yeah, I got I got a $30 Fastly February 16th, which I should have got more time on, to be honest. But I got that for 60 bucks. It's around the same price. Tesla TSM running. Yeah, bro, TSM hit 130 the other day. It's kind of nutty. Still at 132. I'm using one-minute charts. I'm a crackhead. I'm sorry. I'm a big fan. Evan, welcome, baby. Welcome. Google waking up. AMD. Chips are on the high. AMD is right. AMD and NVIDIA both really running. And then Google. Spot Palladium down 3%. And then Venezuela deploys military to oil. And then again, you guys have a news wire up here too. So I know some of the fast stock market people, y'all like the news. You know what I'm saying? Right here, right here. Oh, wow. We have a Twitch comment or a Twitter comment. Holy crap. When you tweet a stock is on watch with a big move, how do you get those alerts? I don't, I mean, usually if I do my own news alerts. I mean, I know. FSMN, they have theirs up here too, but what mine is is the uh, stream alerts. But I mean, if you're if you can watch live, you don't even need it, man. So what's up? That's crazy. I said you're the first Twitter comment, man. Nice to see you. Got to pay the plug. God bless you, Evan. Expedia wants lower. I would love Expedia lower. We're up seven hundred and forty percent on that one, but it's not. It was up a lot in the morning, bro. It was up over 1,000% in the morning. NVIDIA, chip still going. Zscaler, that's another one. Spy, another new high right now. Where are we looking at? 5011, bro. So, again, I really just think every 20 points, 10 to 20 points, that's going to be it. That's actually crazy. Got out of Amazon. Crazy run up. Did you know NVIDIA is about to be more valuable than Amazon? Like market cap wise? I think that's mind blowing. AMD pumping. AMZ, AMZ or AMD coming off the bottom. So is Amazon. Oh my goodness. Mm, they added new ARM contracts. They need to add new net contracts. So net was honestly, that was the first like post earnings here that's kind of been a scam. Mm -hmm. Okta's been running up there. I don't know. I don't know if it was that lady because she was talking names that sounded like Okta. And then it had that effect. How do you feel about that? Seems what? How do I feel about what? I'll have to go back and see what you said. Snoop Dogg was at Rocket Mortgage Annual Meeting last night. That's hype. Oh, JP. Yeah, I'm not fast stock market news, man. Oh, that was that, this is awkward. Yeah, so that's that's the other guy. I'm just he's letting me stream on his account today. 
AMD on the high. Dude, AMD's up 3.2 literally out of nowhere. Maybe this is all just the hangover from uh this could just be the hangover from everybody uh getting the uh the arm yesterday. There's the Twitter link. I pinned it on the YouTube. KRE. Again, if NYCB, I don't know. They had two insider buys this morning, literally in the last 30 minutes. They're kind of moving around. But I don't know if KRE is actually making a move. KRE's flushing. No shit. Down 1 1. DraftKings, 52 week high now. And Eli Lilly. QBTS breaking above a dollar. Quant what was the other one? Eric. That one did not. I'm down like what? Six cents now? Five cents? That was the other one. Where's Fastly? Take two. Take two's coming back down. I don't know where those contracts are at though. Take two. 100%. Depending on where you get filled. Expedia is still up, but not as much. Yeah, that Ericsson stuff was in the morning. That's why I grabbed it. It brought a couple of other chip makers down, but kind of chilled out. Starbucks still going. Mar Mary Gold paused due to volatility. Seems like a small cap. SYM up seven. But didn't they drop like 30? Or am I tripping? Yeah, so they're actually they're actually recovering that whole gap down. That's crazy. Extreme green means extreme selling. Well, again, that's what uh what's it called was saying. Um who was it? Bank of America? There the, there's a special Bank of America bullish bearish index. And what they were saying on that was that uh they are uh their their gauge is like right about to hit the contrarian indicator where you go negative uh but as of now you're you're still a little bit shy of it so we'll see how it plays out And S little cheek lay. That means the stock is going down. New star looks a little illiquid, but they are going into the low. Breeze on the high, B R Z E. Interesting. Where's that other one? Prolab? Protolob? That one didn't. Oh, it went up 7%. I don't think the contracts did anything. Again, Starbucks is moving to, again, a lot of random halts, nothing. Pinterest got a price target raised to 45, surprisingly. Again, I think analysts were even bullish on Expedia, too. They're holding Google again. Google's just been taken off. Uber's down, like, literally, Google's up 1.0, 147. These chips ain't playing. Chips are crazy. Again, even after ARM, that's like the thing, yesterday... Arm went crazy. The other chip names didn't do that. That they didn't go that nutty. But in general, this is still pretty, uh, pretty big when you think about it. You know, so I think they're just getting their part two. Why do futures only move big when SPX closes? Usually there's other stuff going on. So like I think two hours after the futures open, China opens. So while the SPX cash is closed, you now have China opening up literally towards the middle of the night. China's full on trading session and then Europe opens and then any imagine all the news that, you know, any random updates that happen after the markets closed, 
those all factor into the futures. So that's why we pay so much attention to European close because the baton gets passed off. And by the time one market closes, the other one opens, they all kind of affect each other. And then that's why like what 1030, no, give it or 1130 our time or Eastern, you're going to get America will be the last company or the last company, last country that's open. And then we kind of do our own thing without any other factors. IV on the high, IWY hack going up. Is that because of all, what was the other one, net? Net, net is included in hack, I'm pretty sure. And then Tesla's actually holding up. Oh, shit, we're on Twitter. Are we allowed to talk about Tesla? Like, what if I say I don't want to buy it? Will everybody get mad? I hope not. Well, anyways, shout out to Elon. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. You sold your Tesla? Shh, don't say that, bro. We're on Twitter right now. Calm down. Calm down, bro. DraftKings, uh, whenever their earnings comes up, I could be down, but I think DraftKings is going to be like Net and all those other ones. Like Net still went up a lot, but don't forget, this thing has already ran up over 10 20% just in the last couple of weeks. Secretary of State Blinken will travel to Albania and Germany February 14th to 17th. The next pump it up is going to be at 6,000. That's it. We've already made it. And SPY still melting its way up here. So, again, Google keeps leading. DraftKings, what's the breakdown? Right now, let's see. We've been here for about just under an hour. Volume is 9 million. It's actually not that high. CEPU running on the high and then Adobe. Random small cap, a liquid CEPU. That's gapping up and then Adobe's running there. A couple of other 52-week highs. So one hour in, volume's like 9 million. Uh, we have 297 names red and then 201 names in the green. Uh, Dow Jones, 21 names red and then 9 names in the green. And then S&P 500, 301 red, 202 in the green. So more names are red than green, believe it or not, but we're still higher. So, like, Dow is more red. NASDAQ is the one that's in the green more more so than not. I've been putting 20% in the Roth for years when I was 18. You convinced me the long term is a play, and I thank you every day for it. Let's go, baby. It's very good to hear, man. You know, we've had a lot of crazy options, but I even posted it yesterday. Dude, the long term is absolutely amazing there, and it will always win. The long term will trump all, my friend. Expedia coming down, bro. They keep scamming on the Expedias. Mm -mm. Anyone in Holo? That was the one the other day. I don't know if all the Chads are still in that one. That one went crazy, though. It was like $2 to like 40 DXCM and Illumina got clapped. So both of those did not work out. The ones that worked out from yesterday was Expedia and Take Two. Unfortunately, I didn't take profit. Expedia went up twenty dollars to three hundred. Now it's at one hundred dollars. You could have taken that. Some of the chads did, and then Take Two thirty cents to ninety cents, but that was up at like one fifty, I think, too. Where do you think DraftKings will close today? I don't know. I'm not real. I don't really do like where it closes by the end of the day. If there's like a catalyst or if it's like looking at, you know, the ranges, but, you know, I could give you the ranges on the stock, but I can't really tell you where it's going to close. Like, I just, you have to go back in time. So like what, maybe like 47 would be some, uh, some of the range. I think 44.60 to $47 seems to be appropriate. Amazon going up now. Microsoft 52 week high, XLV on the high, AI is on the high as well. Again, Google's taking off. Again, all of this is tech. So there's still a lot of names that could go up and raise it up. The Airbnb, I don't know. Up 
25 and 22. Why am I on Twitter? I wanted to try it out. You know, we I talked about this the other day, and then, you know, we had a good chat, be able to hook it up and let me go live. So I was like, let's try it, man. Let's try it. You say Tesla 200 breakout likely after your old close? Let's see. I don't know. That'd be maybe it's finally had a couple of good days, but 200 it hasn't gone there since earnings. We'll find out. I mean, if we really get melty, because the one thing I was saying, man, it's very unusual. It's not unusual to play stocks with anyone. No, but like, it's pretty unusual that we've hit multiple all-time highs and Tesla has not participated. You know, a couple years ago, I never thought I'd see that. City new low. Mm. Expedia was a cuck. I should. I said it in the morning. I said it's gonna fade all day if we don't take it, and it really did fade. So we're gonna. Expedia is now twenty dollars to a hundred. Still three hundred percent. But again, that was a thousand there for two minutes. Byte Dance loses EU court bid to put new digital rules on hold. I'm not familiar with what the Byte, Byte Dance was doing. But again, isn't that like for TikTok? That's coming out right now. So literally, ByteDance loses EU court bid to put new digital rules on hold. Watch list is second link in the description. YouTube.com slash the trading fraternity. Marvel on the high. AI is still going. Yeah, again, a lot of tech names, and then whether it's chip or even like software, cybersecurity related, they are all getting hooked up there. Why don't they highlight the profile pic when you're broadcasting? Like, I don't. Twitter's live is still like a little weird. Like, it's hard to find. It's easy to set up. Like, it's normal going live anywhere else, but like. They don't really have like a section for their live. Like it was it was hard to even find like your own stream. I was, I was like, what? QQQ all time high. Dude, this is crazy. Again, any, any other time we've broken through, like what was it? The last time we broke through 4,000. Where do we go? Or 4,900. You went up 30 points that day, then sold off. And then kept, I think that was a Friday too. So honestly, I mean, again, I'd watch 10, 15 points at a time. Bonds are down, but we'll see. There's the broadcast link. It's already pinned up there too. Should have checked pets. It was down 20. Damn. Oh, it's $6 stock. I wonder those, those we didn't run the numbers on those because like the cheap options, I'm not really a fan of. So like even Ericsson today, I made a play. I wanted, I would have liked an option, but the options didn't make any sense. I don't even, did these options even move? Yeah, this honestly, it would have been a trap. Shares, though, you would have been a little better. XLK on the high now. Technology, Amazon. My goodness, Eric. We're still in that one. I don't know. I forgot what price I bought it at. Five forty-seven. Apple. I don't know, man. I, I I don't want to say it, but I think maybe today could go up to 50-30. I do think that could be a possibility. Because, again, that's just the last time we broke through 4,900.
old enough to remember SPX with a four handle. Seen on Twitter. Oh, man. Yeah, when I was a boy. I was just a little boy when they said they said Twitter or the spy was at 4,000. Now it's at 40 million. What? Another all-time high. The U.S. now has around 2.7 million more retirees than predicted in a model designed by the St. Louis Fed. Not so bad. Spy going Amazon 52E. Amazon was like, I'm not letting NVIDIA be bigger than me. Oh, is that because our Amazons are going to expire? I forgot about that. Assholes. Oh, remember we had those Amazons? Oh, yeah, so they're all going to expire today, and then Amazon's going to take off. Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't think about that. I totally didn't think about that. Wow. You got Airbnb 190 for 16 cents? Yeah. They're going for 21 now. So they're up 20. Every play on Airbnb is up 25. So, again, I pretty much I get little gains on Airbnb. I lose the gains on Expedia, but... Then again, maybe Expedia still has a bad day here. Because Expedia hasn't torn. Once once it like rips through the top, then that's going to change everything a lot. But for now, it's still cucked. But Airbnb is working. And then again, just think pre-earnings run up. But in a weird... Then again, you already... If you miss 25%, remember the idea is buy one and then sell one for free right before NYCB popped to green. They had the first pop there too. There's two insider buys today. But it's not going too crazy. India signs 200 million loan for risk along ASAM River. Apple to 190. I don't know. Amazon, if there's cheap contracts, that could be fire. Because I remember we got cucked, but now it's doing the breakout mode. But then again, next week you only have till Tuesday. And then that's going to determine whether or not we have a big day or not. All right, I do I'm doing a top tick. See me cry. I want to fly. Five thirty five thirty puts us at two standard deviation on the one hour. I mean, that's just what happened last time. So I'm I did a top tick. So not a recommendation. You will lose money. I grabbed an Amazon February one eighty two and a half call for twenty dollars. I spent twenty dollars on one Amazon call. Since all my other ones are expiring. Scammers. Scammers. See, and you guys like, you guys, thank you for liking the video. Do you guys like the plays with the video? Do you like, see, is it, isn't it a lot easier? Y'all run up the likes, man. So can we get like 10 more likes, you know? Y'all got to throw something in the jar. And just do it because we're almost at 1,700. We need 15 people. So I'm there. I have 15 beautiful souls out there. We just made an Amazon. Look at things move smooth, man. Things move smooth. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And good morning, baby. You got scammed on net. It depends. I mean, if you were holding plays, I think you made money. But, you know, in the morning, we kind of noticed that we were just sitting there. Yeah, the net. Remember, I was just going over these. So the nets are worth 75 now. And they're what? It's only $15 out the money. But like I was saying earlier, just like even with look at this stocks at the same price. They literally killed the premium with the stock moving. 
It is fry. If it goes up, those might get juice, but the premiums are just up way too much. That's the crazy part. I just grabbed an Amazon 182. 182.50 for $20. Just a $20 investment. Keep it small. Just because I've due to remember, we came really close on the Amazons. And then they all uh, they all expired. I forgot, so I was like, "Damn!" Because that all time high level, I I thought it was possible after their earnings. Where am I on X? It should be uh, pinned above. You should see the pin on there. Yeah, the net scam big. Okay. All right, I did it. It already jumped up. I think it might be time. It's risky. I'm going to do it as a... It's, too, it's still very expensive. I went for the scam play. I went for the nets. They're already... I got them at 73 somehow. So not a recommendation. You will lose money. I did net February 125 for 73 cents. That's a little too expensive, man. But I'm kind of down with it. I, uh, I was kind of hoping we get red. I think if the market goes red, those will come back up. It's not expensive. It's value. No, it's expensive because literally, this is the contract I've been showing you all day. I got it at 73. I think. Did it fill me? Yeah. I got 73. But the thing about it, it's literally like at the same price as yesterday. But yesterday, the contract's jacked up. And it was pricing in, you know, a three standard deviation move. It almost did it. So in a weird way, like you were paying the same price as yesterday, but yesterday's price was for a gigantic move. It's it's like it's it's a very awkward contract. I'm just saying, especially for how the other post earnings have, it's definitely a little bit more on the weirder side. Yesterday's price, not today's price. What what pamphlet did you get that out of? The the yesterday. In this case, it it is today's price. Like it, it no, it's, it's pricing in, sir. You know, so it's just having an idea there of what was priced, and it's like an insurance premium. That's why I'm saying like you're paying the same level of insurance. <laughs> DJ Khaled, I can't believe that Jorge Vasquez Jr. He said, "You remind me of DJ Khaled." That's insanity. That's insanity. Fat Joe, yesterday's that's who you learned it from? How come I didn't know this? And you all you are all very well versed in Fat Joe quotes, apparently. That's insanity. These guys is crazy, man. All right. So we got net. Bonds are coming down. Shopify on the high. Expedia, if it starts to break down there, that's going to get crazy. Or again, it's going to kill the contracts. Crazy. Take two. Hershey's came down. Starbucks up. Gilead. It's, I don't know. Does it feel slow? Because we only have, what, 9 million or 12 million in volume now? 
Trav Life, baby. Oh, he said yesterday's price is today's membership. Horda. God bless you. Oh, yeah, Twitter. You guys want a horn? Let's give Twitter a horn. We have horns, man. I don't know. We just probably lost half the Twitter viewers because of that. Some people don't know how to react to the horn, bro. They go crazy sometimes. So sorry if it has offended you. I hope you guys are still locked and loaded in the game. Arm paid for stream alerts for the year. Let's go, man. So keep a, keep the bag on you, though. And then, honestly, the best part is, like, we have a couple more plays here for earnings. And then after that point, I mean, we're definitely, you're going to have less earnings plays to make. So hopefully if you could end on a good note, save money, don't give it back, and you'll be good to go. But I made a decent amount of plays today. I grabbed the net 125s for 73. They already came back down. So I either think this is going to be one level or they're going to have one more dip and then the contracts will really get killed. But those contracts are just shitty. But that's the only contract that's red compared to the price of yesterday. Talking about Twitch. No, I'm ev I'm everywhere now. This is my first time. I have a live feed on Twitter now. So we got YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Isn't that crazy? Expedia is a nice gain in the morning, but you know, we do have time on it. Like don't don't forget. So that's why I kind of made the decision. I was going to sell it in the, I wanted a hold. That was my decision. And then I saw it show $4 and I was like, okay, I'll take $4. And then it only lasted for fucking one minute and then it came back down. So then now I'm holding, but then I used Airbnb to the upside. So we'll see. Yeah. The net's getting clapped there. Could have waited a little longer. TikTok. I've done TikTok was just weird. Like at least Twitter, people like they think I'm fast stock market news, so they ask questions, but like TikTok was weird when I went on TikTok. They're like, dance. I'm like, what do you mean dance? They're like, I gave you a cherry. You're not gonna do anything for the cherry? I'm like, what the fuck is a chair? What kind of monetary system are we utilizing here? A cherry? What's like a fake cherry? What do you, I don't even know what it means. Like I can't even like what kind of pair trade is that? Like, what does that even equate to? Twitter needs to... We could turn on the chat. I just don't know if it's going to get too crazy. I'm like, what the fuck is a chair? What kind... Oh, there, that's me. Oh, you can't change it until you end it. So I'd have to end it and go live again. That's stupid. D walk clapping. Dude, didn't they do like a fifty million dollar loan thing? Or like they exercised like a fifty million dollar warrant the other day? Mm. TikTok. Tick oh, I like I like TikTok just for like the videos, but Going live on there, it felt like it just, it was a lot different. I mean, Twitter right now, I don't feel anything different. I mean, but then again, we don't have a chat on Twitter. So um, I've kind of saved myself there. But otherwise, the the, twi the Twitch or the uh, TikTok, that, that thing was weird, man. That was weird. It was fun for a little bit, but I was like, it's a lot of pressure. Y'all want me to dance and make noises for like 10 pennies, a tenth of a penny? I was like, nah, U.S. prepared to work. With Pakistani government, regardless of political party. Picked up the nets for 60. Good work. A little bit of pace. Uh, Just dance, Josh. I mean, I'm pretty good at dancing. But then again, I think y'all like the thousand percenters lately. But yeah, 
Expedia call. They're just cuck. Expedia is down a lot though, which I'm. I hope Airbnb does good because again, Expedia missed pretty slightly and they got murdered. So I really hope Airbnb does good or maybe everybody's like sell Expedia, go to Airbnb. We'll find out. Did I watch the Putin interview? Not all of it. It came out a little too late. We had a live watch list last night. I'm an old man. I was going to bed early, uh, but I did. Uh, I watched some of it. I had to listen to Putin explain the history from the 600s or the 900s. I was I was kind of intense. I was like, are you for real, homeboy? Homeboy Putin just went. He's like, and then in 600, and then in 983, and then we went into 1250. It was interesting, but I, w I was definitely, uh, I was not expecting that as the opening. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, it definitely like it got, it, it just started sounding like an audio book at one point. But I like Tucker, like Tucker was like, I'm, I'm glad Tucker was saying exactly what I was thinking the whole time. He's like, how is this relevant? Okay, how is this relevant? How is this relevant? That was, I was like, okay. But I haven't got to finish it. I saw a couple of other clips. Tucker was like, are you going to release the reporter? That was pretty cool. But I haven't got to, I'm gonna, I plan on listening to it though. Oh, it was bad because of bonds and real estate. So, like, literally in the last two to three weeks, even longer, because you only had one little brief bond rally, the yields have been going high and been getting torn apart. And then on top of it, you had uh, regional banking issues get revived because one regional bank had a, a, a very bad commercial loan portfolio that went into remittance. And then you also had another bank in Japan with U.S. commercial real estate, but I don't, I don't know, man. Are you, are you ready for this? Do you guys want tinfoil? You're hitting a new high, fifty thirteen. My goodness. Do you want, do you want one? I have one for you. I have, I have tinfoil. It's what was talked about earlier. I got, I, I don't know if you want it. Can I do tinfoil with, uh, with all this stuff going on on Twitter? Even, I need, I need like fifty likes, man. I'll settle for 20 likes. You give me 20 likes, man. I, I set my bar low. I have tinfoil. I have tinfoil for you. It's very, it's actually, it's not even tin. It's just economic theory, economic thinking. Uh-huh. I don't know. I need 10 likes, 20 likes, 10. Just give me 10. Just give me 10, bro. Oh, Brian. Got to play the plug. God bless the chat. God bless you. Check the chat. I asked you something I can't on super chat. Oh, what did you what did you ask me? Oh, a hundred, bro. Horna. Let's go. Oh man. Oh wait, I hit the horn on Twitter. <laughs> my bad, Twitch. Let's go, Brian. You said what was my plan? Before the bell rang on Expedia, I bought two 123s. On Expedia for 25 each, sold one at 500. Then two minutes later, sold one at 400. Damn, turned 40 bucks into 900. Let's go. My plan was to hold it, but then I did see the 400, and I was like, okay, I'm down. Uh, but then I couldn't get filled at 400, so I said I'll hold for the rest of the day, and then I grabbed the other one. But hey, if you hit Expedia, that's even better, baby. I love to hear it, man. Love to hear it. God bless you. Thank you for paying the plug. He's at a hundo. February expiration, I usually go to the middle month. That's the one I'm usually referring to. Mm. 10 gifted, baby. Oh, whoa, Sarush, I didn't even see that. He slipped that one in there, baby. <laughs> God bless you. My man. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sarush. My man. So you at, when Sarush, when you asked me the other day, you're like, you ignore me? Or you're like, do you love me? I ain't forget, man. I love you. God bless you. Metapop. 
Then we grabbed Amazon. Net ain't doing anything. Amazon's still going. Expedia cucking us. Came down to just staying there. And then take two. Again, small gains on there. Toyota went down today. Qualcomm running. Oh, Qualcomm's like running, running. 2.6 just running through this. Qualcomm looked like a computer. Just straight stair stepper up. Yeah, the Dow is holding. Again, a lot of names are red though today. So like even on the Dow right now, most names are red. But like where's the SPY? SPY has right now 305 names red. You have more names red on the SPY than green, believe it or not. And then NASDAQ 100 is like 50-50. So NASDAQ has 48 red, 53 green. So ironically enough, like today isn't all green and bonds are coming back down. Dollars barely red. Last time that happened. Well, no, well, I mean, last time I think we rallied heavy though. We've had two instances where it's ended up negative and then ended up really positive. Because if the market, if all those red names go green by the end of the day, what do you think the spies, the spies going to go past 50, 30? There's a lot of fuel, but then vice versa. If the green can't hang on, then we're probably going to give up that 5,000. Then everyone's going to be like, oh, we gave up the 5,000 now. And then go back into that mode once again. Hmm. Mark has been diverging heavy from bonds. Again, even this morning, CPI revision was good, but the bonds liked it, but then they gave up all of it. Again, another odd day for the bond market. How long can the market ignore yields? As long as it wants to or pretty much until the yields get back above 4.5 on the 10-year. So pretty much when the yields go high enough where it starts changing funding and other stuff, you know what I'm saying? But realistically, I mean, that 10-year above 4.5, that has been the bane of our existence. So four five, you really react. Even four two five, the warning light goes on. But again, we go above four five on the ten year. I think everybody will react. Oh, Davey, Dave bought February ninety calls five fifty, sold them for twenty two on the rip. Thanks for sharing your plays. Would not have targeted net without your stream. Let's go, but that's expensive. You balling out here, baby. I love it though. God bless you. Oh no. Thank you for showing love. Y'all been showing mad love. I appreciate it. And I hope y'all got long terms, man. And above all else, man, just stay in the game. Uh, the, saying, the saying the market could stay irrational longer than you could stay solvent has never been more true. Well, there's a reason why that, that, that came about. You know what I'm saying? Showing mad love. I appreciate uh, that, that. That phrase didn't come from nowhere. Oh, you want the tin? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Here's the tin. My bad. I got distracted. They started throwing hundred dollar bills at me, and then they didn't tell me to dance, which was I felt I felt honored. My bad. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Your tin foil. Have you ever heard about the 2008 real estate crash? Have you guys? Do you guys remember hearing about that? They made movies about it. You know, my family literally lost everything. You guys remember that, right? So here's the deal. At one point in 2008, right, do you remember what people said about it spreading? Because it did have, it did affect Europe, but the worry of 2008, everybody was worried that, like, if the problem spread, you know, the movie, what's that? Was it not Margin Call? What's, what's the one I'm thinking about? Is it Margin Call? The one where they got the fake Bernanke 
everybody was worried about the contagion. But remember that like final hour where the, all the ba all the banks got bailed out because if they didn't, they said it would have literally pushed the not the big short. There's another one. I think it's margin too big to fail. I think that's the one. Too big to fail. Not the big short. There's a scene where they like meet up at the Fed. And they all have to like, and this was when Jamie Dimon had to go buy all the other banks and they had to make these deals. And and they were worried because they were saying that the whole economy would have been tilted over the edge. Does that sound familiar to you? So here's the deal. What people are talking about today is that China is already over the edge. It's getting weird. So literally, China's real estate market has crashed for the last two years now. And it's getting even worse. So now, the next question is, do we start to see the collapse of China real estate have the ripple effect like the United States in 08, but now this time even bigger? That's why they were saying today, because they're starting to watch literally Chinese property owners who own property in other countries. They are now having to sell just to go get their payments in check in China. So my tinfoil is like, we've never seen a world. We never knew what it would look like if they never stepped in on the U.S. real estate crash. So the tinfoil is, do we get to see what it looks like now with China? We may have to be prepared with that opportunity. Or if essentially, if China starts selling foreign property to recover their losses domestically, when we're going to have a whole nother world. There is your China tinfoil of the day. Ta-da. You missed the pump it up. Yeah, we did it twice, actually. A quick one in the morning and then after 5.10. And then again, I'm, I guess I'm looking for 5.30 now. I think 5.30 is, uh, 50.30 is uh, two standard deviations. But again, last time we went above 4,900, uh, you know, 4,930, we went there in a second. And then it came down. And then we got 27 minutes till Euro close. Commercial real estate will be in trouble if China starts selling. Yeah, and pretty much, I mean, what I'm saying is that is that if China just keeps getting worse, there's a chance now if China gets worse, other nations are going to start paying for it. Because now at this point, all of these foreign properties, whether it's commercial or residential, but owned by Chinese citizens, they own a lot. And if now their, start, if there's, their situation gets worse where they need to raise capital... And now we're watching them start to dump. Uh, you might you might watch global inventory start to increase uh, rapidly out of nowhere. Exactly. If it gets worse in China, they'll start selling in other countries. 2015, they never sold. They were buying still. Bro, bonds are going down now. Fat. This one's going to be weird by the end of the day because yesterday this, this happened as well too. But like eventually it would like kind of close up. But you're either going to get a big bond move or big spy move. Crazy to think that was the bond move the other day. But I think it's just the scale of the chart. Yeah, we already had our pump it up. I'm sorry if you missed it, my friend. I'm sorry. SPX hitting all-time highs, equal weight still negative. No shit. Good call out. Yeah, equal weight's barely red. Remember, this thing's been pinned up here. It wants to go up, but that wouldn't even be the all-time high still. Equal weight still needs like 30, 40 points or 120 points 
for the equal weight to go into a new all-time high. And then, bro, bonds are flushing right now. Very wild. Again, good data this morning, too. But then again, today is like Amazon, Google. I mean, even Tesla's up. Airbnb. Uh, we bought the Airbnbs this morning. They went up 25%. So the idea was take advantage of the cheapness provided by Expedia earnings, but it's a little rough. Damn, those Expedias now 20 to 80. Same price as the Starbucks. Why you got to hate Tesla? Why do I hate Tesla? I said Tesla's up. That's good. Tesla's had like four days in a row of going up. It's been a while. It's been a long time, long time to the Tesla, Tesla, without a dope beat, the Tesla, the Tesla, Tesla. See, I said it a lot. I'm streaming on Twitter right now, bro. I have to say good things about Twitter. Honestly, it's funny, though, because, like, Elon, I think he's more for freedom of speech, so. Well, you know, I want Elon to like me, though. I told you I was Elon's neighbor. We didn't really, he never said hello to me. I never got to meet him, and I lived down the street from him. But in hindsight, I guess I was kind of weird, too. You know? In San Diego? No, in Bel Air. I lived in Bel Air for a little bit. Right next to Elon and Dan Bilzerian. But I was I was I was kind of weird. I was kind of weird back then. I was you know I was a little more obnoxious, so I don't think it. And you know I was kind of creepy. Now that I look back on it, so it's good. Yes, these are Selena Gomez days. Arms breaking out one twelve. I still am. Don't make me read your chat facts. Uh, you know, I'm sure it'll show me some weirder stuff. But, you know, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide, man. I'll let it slide. FI on the low. NYCB up seven points. That's starting to run now. Those two insider buys. So, again, we saw it there. It didn't move much, but now it's up seven. I don't know where KRE is. That should help out the Russell because, remember, the Russell was down. You want to average on O? Not necessarily because the composition of my portfolio, I already have names in the financial sector or that are very bond sensitive and yielding higher, but it's like, why would I pick up O when it's still not even near it's like all time low here or yearly low when I could just go grab other names with, I think way more upside and a higher yield. So I like, O. I'm not a, I have no problem with O, but relatively the risk of commercial real estate already having financial exposure and then it not being at like a, a a real good of a deal, like in the sense that it was still trading, you know, another 10, 12 percent lower. Why would I buy it right now? So relatively, it doesn't look good relative to the other options right now. However, in standalone, I love O. I, I think O is great. And I think, you know, depending on the time we get our next buyout, you know, that's why I like giving things. That's why I like the schedule when we have the long term because it's like let the schedule ride there let's see where we're at in a in a month you know if 3m is still cheap if pfizer's still near the lows you know what i'm saying it's like I'm, i'd rather take these instead of O. but if these names all bounce back up then then i'll go for then i'll go for O. still in the fast lease from this morning yes Excite me. Yes, we woke up to thousand percenters, and then it just everything died. But yeah, definitely not as exciting after Arm yesterday. But then again, it's Friday. You're near all time highs. Usually these days go go somewhat crazy at one point. TMF to the long term? Hell no. 
not only are you buying a bond ETF instead of buying the bond, you're buying a levered ETF that will change relative to the value of the bond the longer you hold it. So you'd be better off with like a TLT if that's what you wanted to do. But right now I've said it, you know, if you really want a bond play for the long term, you even want to benefit off of a rate cut, buying the physical bond, you'll make money on both ends and then there's zero chance of losing. I think a two-year bond might be the best idea. I didn't see their Apple's uh, Super Bowl commercial. What do you mean? What do you have you seen it? Do you know? I saw Elf. They released Elf Super Bowl commercial on Bloomberg. INBS. This thing was running earlier. Eric's back up to our price. RG and X. They hit eighteen, and then came down. B Y D D Y. Badi. What is it? Boy, oh, this is uh, BYD, the China one, right? I like them. I do. I, I, I don't know about the long term because I'm very hesitant of China. INBS ripping still another high off of that. But I think Boyd is pretty good. So I think don't go too crazy. If your portfolio, like, again, I picked up Alibaba. If your portfolio is already built right now and you could take a small risk on a name like that, I'm not opposed to it, but it is risky. It's it's definitely, I think, one of the better China names. It doesn't have the same history as like a Baba, but uh, I think with a small amount, I could justify it if I already had growth and dividends worked out in my portfolio. But if you don't have a strong portfolio and you're trying to pick that up, I just I think you're you're taking a lot of risk. Apple is popping. What the hell is this? Apple's running. Is there any news on that? There's an article, How to Handle Making More Money Than Your Friends. Okay. I think that's lifting up the spy again. Google and Amazon next bonds too. So hold on. 30 years is getting fat green shoots out of nowhere. That's going to help out a little bit. Never took out the long term in 2022 is made money. It's crazy, man. Colt sister was started at all time highs and that shit is up. I think it's up almost 30%. But Colt's, Colt's sister missed out on Meta, but then it also missed out on like MPW and some of the other ones. So it worked out a little weird on that one. Microsoft's been hitting 52-week highs. IBKR on the high. Yo, didn't they just die recently? What the hell? Remember they had that one day? And they were just getting murked? Dude, they're hitting all-time highs now? Very interesting. Where's JPM and the rest of the bank? That's crazy. JPM still 174. That's beautiful. And then Disney came down. I tried to get back to 110 again. VKTX on the high. Eric, Expedia scammed. So Expedia contracts now, it's still at that level with the contracts ain't worth 200% now. And then those Starbucks's, I think, are almost in the money. That play's doing better. Leg for the long term. Leg it in plat. Oh, so you guys asked me about this before. I think I had something on it. But are they a REIT? Home furnishings? Oh, no, I'm thinking of something else then.
Uh, I don't know. Do you use any of their furniture? But it looks like a value play, but it, quite frankly, it just depends on how your, your portfolio is set up. But it looks ugly. It looks ugly. New York civil fraud against Gemini. DCG now seeks $3 billion. No, I only went calls on Fastly. Again, sympathy to net. And then those nets still scammed. Nets at 60 cents. They make beds. Yeah, you're gonna it just depends. I mean, again, I'd let your portfolio speak to you. Seems like a big company. They have nineteen thousand employees. Paramount Global CEO expects record Super Bowl viewership. Apple is ripping again, man. What is this? Literally a dollar on Apple in six minutes. UVXY green otter on the high. And then again, Bonds had a little bit of a move. VKTX keeps running too. NVIDIA is now worth more than the entire Chinese stock market. No way. We don't have any Fed, me Fed, members, uh, Fed members speaking today. Would you take profits from a stock with profits in your long term to buy more of another that's towards the bottom? Do you really not know the answer? So would I sell something in the long term that I'm up on to buy a name that I'm down on? Fed Logan's at 130? You know the answer. You know, unfort and again, this is the same answer that has gotten us, you know, Snapchat from nine dollars to eighty, sixty, and then it went back down to also having plays where you buy them once and you know, Abivai is yielding us six percent up a hundred percent, paying every year, meta four hundred percent. The idea is don't I don't make decisions till ten years. So how do you know it's a winner? You don't. Isn't that weird? So the stock may be up, but you don't know you don't know that it, that you're a winner. How do you know 10 years later? So give it 10 years and then you could start to rebalance, but the beauty is we are always rebalancing our portfolio. Do y'all feel me on that or no? I don't know if y'all feel me on it. I was going over, I did this the other day because I was looking at the Fidelity and I like Fidelity made it easy, but like that's the thing. If you are saving money and adding to your portfolio, you are constantly rebalancing it. Everybody wants to think you rebalance by buying and selling and selling and then you sell and then you buy. It's like we're not selling anything ever. At least 10 years is when I'm going to determine it. But like this is the dividend account. Like I was calculating the numbers and I was just seeing how much I have right now. And I was that's how I'm going about my rebalance. And I, I calculated it. I have like I think it's like 70,000. If I don't count Baba, Disney, and Meta, because these are like growth stocks that pay a dividend. Otherwise, it's like a hundred grand. I have like 64% right now in dividend stocks, right? So once I know how much I have dividend and growth, the types of industries, and just like every deposit I get, I am I'm I could move it around. So right now, if I'm weighted to more dividend payers, my next purchases are probably gonna be growth. So as I'm saving and adding money. I could rebalance anything. So you're telling me I want to sell out a gain, right? I want I, I picked the winner in the long term. It's doing good. Now I want to sell it out and buy something. Why not just wait till your next deposit and then buy something and buy what you wanted to buy with the next deposit 
and let the one thing doing good work for you, you know, because that's what we've been doing. You know, when Snap, that's the beauty. When Snapchat was doing good, it would have been nice to sell and take all the money, but we didn't know what would have happened. Maybe we would have sold even too soon. And then, you know, thankfully we own the assets. We could do stuff with owning assets, but then we bought everything else. We just started buying other things. And that's kind of the whole idea. So it's like, if you're already sitting on a winner, if, you know, you should be able to save 10%, find a way to deposit to the long term, I would use those deposits to make that that play that you want without having to sell off. You just got to be patient until you get your next deposit, wait around for it, and then add that to the thing. Yeah, if I let the portfolio speak to you, baby. Amen. Would you ghetto spread be good right now for DraftKings? Well, do you have do you have a play on it? So I can't tell you to ghetto spread if I don't know the play. But it just all depends. Like we we're saying, how much money will you get back? And then what do you think about the upside as well, too? Yeah, Fed Logan, 1030. Yeah, I guess I thought we didn't have speakers, but apparently we do. IWM 2010, 2005, February. Uh, I think we could get above 200. Those are a little far out. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. Oh, man, what's up? Y'all just donate at the same time? Thanks for the Abbey Vi in 2020. My average cost is 87, baby. Oh, no. Let's go. Shout out, Abbey Vi. Shout out to Donos. D. Lee, Davey. Thank you, my friends. Man, you know what's crazy, though, about Abbey Vi? I don't want to blow. I'm going to blow your mind with Abbey Vi right now. So if you if you're yielding about six percent on Abivi, which I think you should be at that price at eighty seven, you've held Abivi for four years. Six times four. Whatever your Abivi is up right now, you have also made twenty four percent back in dividends. So you've gotten twenty four percent back of your initial investment. At that point. So the stock right now, I think, is up like 80 or 90 from where we got it. But then you have also collected back about 24%. And it, and then if you reinvested it, that 24% probably made you another 20% <laughs> off of the off of it, the stock going up as much as it has. So that's why I'm but that's why I'm saying though, the beauty of the long term is when you get a winner. I don't think y'all feel me on that. It's not about having a bunch. Sometimes you only need one big winner, and that's it. That'll take care of you. But, like, legit, if you get one good winner, you let that thing work its way up there, man, you're going to be good to go. That's all you need. So, again, Abivi is one of those. Abivi is an anchor to the portfolio. Like, it's paying you your dividend. It's the biggest name in there. Again, we went big on that. And we've been we even made a couple of additions over the years, but it's like that one thing that works for you and runs, bro. I'm telling you, it takes it takes over again. Meta, you make your money off the buy. You get it at a low enough price, you are gonna be sitting pretty. At Abby, we got 79 percent, and then add your 24 percent. You've only, you've gotten about 100 percent back already, and you get to still let it work, and it pays us. And then maybe one day, you're not gonna reinvest the dividends, and hopefully, it gives you some back. Majority portfolio construction is built on three or four winners, making up a majority of total returns. Exactly. Exactly. It's literally like, uh, 
It's like having a business. Think about it. You start doing one thing really well. Then maybe one thing leads into two things. And then before you know it, you let the core business take over and then you're able to start adding and doing other stuff. That's how, again, it's like Apple, the iPhone, and then the MacBook. And then before you know, and then once you get your iPhone and MacBook in your long term, then you're going to move into services and, and other things and wearables. And then that way you could start get you know, you'll still be able to get exposure over the time. But that's really where you want to be going there. But that's why I'm saying when you get a winner, keep your winner and then use your balances, your deposits to to rebalance over the years and over the months. And then before you know it. If something's doing very well, you don't have to add to it. You let that do what it needs to do. And then what do you do? You buy all the other cheaper stuff or the other things you want to get into. So again, when Snapchat was going up, we were able to buy Uber. We were able to buy JP Morgan, anything else in there, even the names that went, some went down too. But that's the general idea. Let your winners ride, especially if it has drip, then there you go. Then at that point, you're never missing out. The beauty about Abivai We've added almost $1,000 a year to Abivai just through the dividends. So whether I added to the stock or not with new money, we were able to keep growing our position just by getting the damn dividends. And then that way it's a winner. And then you're following it up too. You're adding to that winner with the company giving you money. Sounds sweet, but what if those 20% give up? They will when the whole market comes down, but then those will probably come right back up there. But then also, too, what you if those winners go down, usually the losers go up as well, too, if you have them balanced out. And then worst case, they all go down. You get your dividend, but at that point, if all of them go down, I would be assuming that you are, that you would, I would be assuming that, if they all dropped, you're gonna be uh, you're you're going through a market downturn at that point. But I I would I would highly doubt every play goes red. Close to euro, yeah. Two minutes actually. Finally, and bonds are moving around. You got free guac on your birthday on the Chipotle app. They only give you free guac. That's it. Places be giving you like free meals. The light will give you free salsa. That's offensive. I'm going to try that for someone's birthday. The next birthday party I get invited to. I'm going to bring I'm going to I'm going to get them guacamole. Let's see how that reacts. Shit, I'm going to do it for my girlfriend's birthday. Whenever my girlfriend has her birthday, I'm going to get her guacamole. And if she looks surprised, I'll be like, what? It's good enough for Chipotle. Not good enough for you. Chad Vegas weekend. Bro, my girlfriend wants to go. I thought she was fucking with me. She yesterday, she's like, let's go to Vegas. And I was like, I'm so down. And then I was like, wait, it's the Super Bowl. She was like, I know. And I was like, no, we can't go. I could get I could get a room. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, travel, bro. I'm like, if we drive, the traffic's going to be insane. If we fly, the airport's going to be insane. You can't either. You can't even take a private jet. It's like, I'm like, I'm not even trying to do this right now. I'm like, I said, we could go next weekend. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Win is up. All right. I'll pick you up. I just dude, it's gonna be wild out there. 
I ain't trying to do that. If it was easy to get to, I'd be down. Leave Valentine's Day. Wait, when is Valentine's Day? No, the Super Bowl is this weekend. Wait, what? No, no, no. Isn't the Super Bowl this weekend? Yeah, so next week is Valentine's Day. Niners or Chiefs? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't like San Francisco, but I like Brock Purdy. But then, like, I I don't like the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are just a weird team. You know, and I hope I offend some of y'all. Kansas City's a weird ass team, bro. Where did they come from? Who are they? Why do they keep going to the Super Bowl? This is Mahomes guy that y'all say sounds like me, which is mad offensive. Fucking Travis Kelsey. Half the half his career, I thought he was Tony Gonzalez. You know what I'm saying? They're weird, but then I don't like the Niners. Niners, nah. But then Brock Purdy, man, he has a great story. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like it just is weird. Is weird. So I don't know. I don't know who I want to win. I'm just, I'm, I kind of don't like any of them. I wish the Ravens made it. Ravens or Lions, I would have been happy. I would have been able to pick a team more easily. Buy Super Bowl tickets with all the earnings plays. No, nah, I don't like to pay a lot of money to stand around a bunch of people in any setting, whether it's like EDC, Coachella, Super Bowl. I've never been to an NFL game in my life. I like basketball. I've been to a basketball game. I've never been to a Laker game. I've done college basketball games a lot, but like, I don't know. That's a part of the fun. Not for me. I'm a recluse. Baba taking off Chinese New Year. The Hassan Minaj? Why does that sound familiar? Oh, I've seen it. I've seen that dude's funny as hell. He's in San Fran tonight. Oh, enjoy that, baby. Company has sweet tickets for Lakers. Let me know. Dude, I'm, I really want to go. Anytime there's a weekend game, I could even make it. I could even make it happen on a weekday. I would love to go to. I've told you. After I watched that Lakers show on HBO, I was like, I want to go to a Laker game. I'm down for a Laker game any moment. Elf broke through 174. Spy right at VWAP. Yeah, Elf is going up. Expedia has came back up a little bit, but they're just killing the prem on that. Yeah, Euro, I mean, we've been dropping since Euro closed. So, and then we're kind of matching up here with Bonds. That show was fire. Dude, it was. What's it called? Showtime or something? It's a real... I love that show. I did see the Kobe statue. Rest in peace, bro. If ADM looks bad or ADM 15-minute wild. AMD. AMD's crazy, though. AMD, that run earlier this morning, it's still up a lot. Yeah, winning time. That's the one.
Do I like soccer? No, man, I'm American. I don't have time for that. What do you think this is? Okay? We don't have free health care here. I don't have time for soccer. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I don't I don't watch soccer, but I like to make soccer jokes because I'm American. Like my girlfriend watches soccer. It's hilarious. Yeah, my dad likes soccer too. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, when's the next World Cup? I'm down for that. All right, you're flushing a little bit more again. Post Euro close, we have been going down. Equal weight, equal weight's negative still. Spy, this was when we pumped it up, man. If it falls below five, I, I, I have to get actually below the opening. So you have to give up all these gains to drop below five thousand. BAH, that's on the high. Tesla going down. AMD, come on, Expedia. Net even dropping. Eric, that thing's doing nothing. And what was the other one? Zscaler? I know, Fastly. That one failed too. Everything, man. Again, you just have like Apple, Amazon in the bunch. Amazon's just going straight up still. So literally, this is like big tech rotation day in a weird way. Like I'm telling you, most names are red, but you have a lot of activity just going into the bigger names that have already held up. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Bob Rosselli. I thought it said Bob Russell at first. I said that's a very, very generic name, but Bob Rosselli. I like it. Their Airbnb got filled. That means that means those came down now too. Come on, take two. Here we have going lower. Cut loss. I cut my losses on QG yesterday. It's up to you. I think there's going to be a stupid bounce eventually, but then again, it can also just keep flushing through all-time low levels until that bounce happens. So I backed out yesterday. But how many do you have? I, I, I went too big to start. If I went smaller beginning, that would have been better. Then maybe I could have considered it. My name is Matthew. I just love Bob Ross. <laughs> well, Matthew Roselli, hello. I'm going to call you Matthew Roselli. Yeah, Proto Labs. It was fun while I was up six, but I remember that was just a random, that was a random, a liquid one. Eric, 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 Starbucks even came down. We still got under 100% on those. VKTX, that keeps running. And then RGNX, that plays holding. We have 15% on the shares. Expedia.com. 3M on the low. Yeah, 92. We still got, we got to wait three weeks for a deposit, man. Premium moving. That's because they gapped up. That gap up above 5,000, it jacked up a lot of premiums. Even all the earnings, all the premiums were jacked in the morning and then it faded right away. But then, like, if you guys don't notice, the individual names are not like this isn't like everything's running. Today is literally Amazon, Google, and Apple and NVIDIA and like any of the bigger tech safe haven names. Those are the ones that are moving right now. Does that make sense? I, I hope it's obvious to you guys. Because, like, look at how the market's moving. There's names on the low. The contracts are all really weird. But I think it's, it's just, all the money is going into the bigger cap names while everything else is just kind of meandering around. Why PayPal post earnings? I guess they're doing decent, 2.8 and holding up. 
But then again, they're two days off of their earnings and a big dump. Amazon's going up. What's PayPal's competitive advantage to other payment processors? They're everywhere. That's it. It's already established. And then most people have it already. So if most people already have your service, you could use it. I would call them the first mover, but on honestly, I just I think that's it. They're everywhere. Venmo. But it just like like test it's like a Tesla charger. You know, like the chargers of Tesla, it's easy. People have them. You know, you could plug in, charge your car there. Even other cars want to use their chargers. It's, it's kind of the same thing there with PayPal. The problem with PayPal is that they're already everywhere. So how much bigger are they going to get? And then they run the risk of losing people they already have. But even then, I, I don't, PayPal is always going to be around. Like I've had a PayPal account for so long, it's not even funny. I don't use it all the time, but, you know, sometimes if I ever need to buy anything, you know, it's just like if if I don't have other means to use it or if I want to buy stuff, depending on how I want to keep my info, I, I use PayPal. But, so it's just it's there. It's just always going to be there. That's why I like it. And I don't I think right now I don't know what their P.E. is, but I'm pretty sure their forward P.E. at this point is like less than 10. Yeah, so their normal PE is 17, but I think forward PE is at 10. So it's not, I mean, it still has a price to it. It's still, is, you know, implying some growth. But, you know, for the most part, maybe they, don't, maybe they don't grow anymore. But eventually, I think that'll probably become a dividend stock. That's what I've noticed when I was looking at the long, bro, three names recently have started to pay dividends. Meta, Disney, and Baba. All within the last 12 months, some of these gigantic companies have shifted into paying dividends. Maybe we're starting to see, uh, you know, the start of a new era. But then again, I mean, when it's all said and done, maybe PayPal doesn't become the crazy growth stock, but maybe they they, they end up becoming just the stable dividend payer. They get their 2% off of $500 billion a quarter and call it a day. I'm sure the White House press conference will be juicy. That was crazy, though. Did you see what he did? So right before the Tucker Putin interview comes out, Biden was like, I'm going to make a press conference to assure you guys on my mental acuity. Because that's crazy. I That was that thing you were sending yesterday. I didn't read it till after. They literally said Biden was will like willfully disclosing confidential information. However, they didn't rule that any charges should be filed. Can dividend investing rise from the dead? Heard on Wall Street. That's crazy. As I say, we saw you selling drugs, but just not enough to charge you. What? But it was crazy. So they, they that's, that, that's very crazy. They literally saying he's violating the whole thing, but then they're like, nah, we don't want to charge him, considering, I mean, don't even get me started. But then they said it had to do with, like, his mental state. He wasn't even remembering stuff. He didn't like that, so Biden didn't like that, even though it got him out of charges. 
and then he goes on and does a press conference. And then he's like, no, nah, I'm mentally good. And then proceeds to call the president of Mexico, Sisi, the Egyptian president. And then I tell y'all, I told you my Latino brothers, we the same. Egyptians and Mexicans, you know. And even Biden knows because he called the Egyptian, he called the Mexican president CC. In a in a press conference to assure people that his mental state is okay. Wicked, bro. Wicked. Wicked, bro. How do you explain this? Oh, thank you. Turned small account from 2.5 to 20K since January. Bought Mara calls at 50 worth 170. I have 95. What's the best way to hedge? Ghetto spread, baby. Or sell half of them. Horna. Oh, nah. Love it. Baby. You've been on Mara. You've been on Mara. You've been like, I've been telling you about Mara. Yeah, man. Ghetto spread them. That way, if you want to keep the upside, you could get it or sell half. Call it a day. Mm hmm. You think they're going to slip in Gavin? I don't know. I think Gavin's going to run next next four years, though. Sadly, though, I think if Gavin did run, he would win on this one. I think he would win for sure. He's just really, he's really good at talking. He's like too good at talking. <laughs> like it don't matter if California is a shit show or not, you know, but like, no, nah, he's just, he's a beautiful talker. He knows how to like, that's it, man. He, he'll get invited to every party. He knows what to say. He had the look, everything. He just looked like it. Liv Wilson, welcome to the Chad. Hello. The he looks like American so he kind of does, but that's a look people like. Is Apple still going on? My goodness. Expedia is coming down, but they burn those contracts at the stake. The Expedias are only worth a dollar forty. Last time they were here, they were worth three hundred dollars. They just wanted to scam the shit out of us. But then again, if that gets in the money, we'll be good. You think the affirm will come back? Why do you keep saying that? So a firm contract, I don't know if you're talking about the plays, they're not gonna come back unless it really you know, dumps another, what, $10? But the stock might come back. Who knows? But those plays are dead. Why premiums dropping? Because the time, they're, they're killing time. So depending on how much time you have left and then the rate of change is slowing down, that's where the, the price of the contracts are coming down on everything, whether it's Net or Expedia. They're all acting the same. Because the rate of change is slowing down. You're barely moving. You go up. You get a red candle. Now it starts moving slower. That's chop kills the, the time premium. We need to be careful. One Chad was lying about his trade and you banned 24 hours. I think he got permanently banned. One of the other mods, they they vetoed. They said, nah, I'm not about that life. And I kind of agree. That was kind of shady. But yeah. So, sorry. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Favorite oil play is oil futures. Hey, man. No. I mean, I, I actually liked him. I don't know. I think that specific behavior that day was very weird, but 
I didn't really have a problem with him. That's why I was kind of sad. But then again, it's like, that was cold. <laughs> that was cold. That was cold. Best platform to learn start futures? Definitely TD Ameritrade. Thinkorswim. It's a very easy platform. You could paper trade with it, and it, it could take you a long way. That's the point. You didn't understand the point of it, ego or troll. That's why it was weird. Because he was either trying to get me to sell, and he was trying to influence me, or he was trying to influence other chads. And then right when the market's closed, he's like, oh, I sold because it went down. I'm like, damn, that was, it just, that was very hard to read. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you're going through, but I don't know. But he's a cool guy. He apologized on the live watch list, but unfortunately, it's it's very hard to unban accounts unless I go through there. But, yeah. Up 92 on NY. Did you go options or shares? That's fire. We had the news early about the insider buys, but it chill. They have options. Nice. Buy Snap. I would wait a long time for Snap. Let it go down to $8. Otherwise, if it don't go to 8 it'll probably bounce right back up. Solar Winds price target raised to 15 from 13. Is SMCI a reflection of every stock in 2000? Like the are you talking about the bubble? So I wasn't trading in the 2000 bubble, but from what I look back and see and what people who have experience have shared with me, it was crazier. So in a weird way like the year 2000 was nuts. You have to realize none of these companies in 2000 were making money. And if they were, it was not nearly as much as what they're doing today. And then like companies would go up a thousand percent in a day. It was just weird. I think, yeah, I, re I really think it was 50 times crazier. Honestly, I'm telling you, I told you that one story. I had a friend and his mom would tell me this. His mom Bro, this lady, I never knew she traded stocks until she, like, told me. And they and this lady, bro, she has, like, I think her house is probably worth $15 million now. Maybe more. She have one of those brownstones in New York, you know, like, one, like, on the city. And it's in Manhattan. You know, like, one of those, like, houses on the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? Like, just some, I don't know what it's called, the brownstone, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't, well, anyways, balling, ladies, balling, bro balling i know her son and you know he he starts getting into stocks and then we start talking and then yeah i've talked about this lady before because I'll, I'll never forget this this was this was the most mind-blowing 2001 experience this lady told me she was like yeah like she got into the stock market in like 1999 2000 bought like a couple of plays made a million dollars and then quit and then went and bought the house and then went and then just started like a interior designing career. And that was it. But this late, I think she turned like 10000 or $20,000 into like a million bucks in less than a year. Went and bought a house in New York and never did it again. And then everything crashed. And then she never touched stocks again. But that's why when she's like, just be careful when you do it. But like, and that was, and she said her and all of her friends did it. I know a couple of people who had, again, they had other success, but it, it was crazier than today because the profits were a lot lower of what these companies were doing. They were a lot newer. And then you didn't have like the same online trading that we do today. It was just a lot different, but the gains were nuttier, I would say. Now we look at the valuations and you could compare them, but like it's, I, I think 2001, I don't think you could compare to any, anything could really compare to it.
Yeah, the computers didn't control the price as much. It was just pure human effery of emotions. So imagine with GameStop, and it's like, give me it. I want it. I want it. Let me buy it. I don't care price. Buy it. So imagine that with less con- with with a new technology, the world changing, and then less computers controlling the price. My goodness. Options were introduced in the 80s. But they didn't really get popular until recently, to be honest. It was like 70s or 80s options came about. But they were used very, very differently. That's the thing. Even up until like the first option I traded, I was shocked when I saw a motherfucker trade an option without owning the stock. It blew my mind. Because again, a lot of the people and anybody I knew... And would show me anything with it. It was like it was always a, a hedging insurance strategy. But it's it's crazy to think that uh that like, you know, how it's changed so much into a, a speculative vehicle and you know, people buy it without owning the stocks. Oh, the Zaza. I forgot about that. ZQ. Fed futures pulled back today. Interesting. You might have to give up on trading. It isn't working out. I try to stay positive, but rough. God bless. As long as, long as you keep it small, that's the way you're going to either start or get back into it. But long term first, if the trading is not working out, don't be afraid to take a break. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe even a long break, but whenever you do it, just keep it small. That's that's all it comes down to. As small as possible, and that that's going to be where you build up your momentum from there, but no shame in taking a break. Again, I do think uh I think long term is the easiest one, but the, the above all else, but if you are letting your trading get in the way of the long term, then I would take a break as well, too. I think maybe that should be a rule that we that we established. Very, 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 very simple. If your trading is getting in the way of the long term, I would stop trading. If it's stopping you from depositing, if it's killing your amount of money, if it you know what I'm saying? If if you're not able to trade in a completely separate environment. Where you could like go oh, trade if you're telling me you could trade how you trade and it's not going to get in the way of your long term, do what you need to do. But if there is a moment where you do notice, uh, then then there you go. This channel brings out the worst gambler in me, then you should probably stop watching. It's not intended to do that, but I could definitely see how. But at the same time, like I'm saying, you know, any of the plays I've done. At one point, you may have had a devil on your shoulder. Why? Most of these days, the last two months, I haven't spent more than $200 on a trade. Or on a day, $300, excuse me. And then we've already made back more than literally a couple. It's already been a couple, like $3,000 or not. So it's just like, at, at some point, you're watching something... I'm doing a $20 play. How many people are doing 40? 100. 1,000. So just watch out for the little devil on your shoulder. Because like I'm saying, if you keep it small, you can sit here all day 
shouldn't cost you more than $200 a day if you're playing every single earnings. But at the same time, it's like the bigger you go, the more you start, you know, slipping here, there, it's just going to start getting out of hand. But yeah, man, I don't know. I, I, I hope you know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I think everybody, at one point, you get put into a moment where you want to take a break, even if you uh, even if you want to uh, like, even if you want to take a break, you don't even have to be losing money. I don't know. Like I'm telling you, at one point, I just wanted like when I I just wanted to get rid of the market before I started streaming. I just took a break on trading. I was living in LA. I just started doing other shit. And then eventually I just got really fucking bored. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, I just got, I took a break from market. And then I, I did more real estate, which was definitely good. But you have to think, but like, there's no no shame in, in taking a break in any way. But at the same time, if you're telling me, if you wanted to blame me for it, uh, I would still say, I don't, I don't care, but I'd say, I'd say turn, turn this shit off. If it's not helping you, then what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? It's not like, I, I don't know, because like, it's very easy to get away from the market. But at one point, if you're feeling like, oh, I got to watch, I got to watch, and it's not benefiting you, like, hold up, what the fuck are you saying? Like, you know, maybe maybe you should turn it off. So, don't worry, blame you. I mean, I've been blamed for less. I've been blamed when it's been my fault. I've been blamed when it's not been my fault. You know, as between you and the Lord, but it's like, you just got to... I, w I wouldn't be ashamed of taking a break. I don't I don't know how to put it. Mm. Your account's separate. I just can't keep up. Been watching for three years with little to no progress trading. Well, focus only on long term. Clear your mind. Don't trade for a little bit. And when it is time to come back, you go small. But that's otherwise. But like, I wouldn't... I don't know. I wouldn't feel too bad about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe it's pushing you in the right direction. But at the same time, I wouldn't really get too crazy. I think everybody has gone through it. That's why you find, but you find out how it is, how it like, that's what I'm saying though. But like, the more you hesitate to doing what you know you need to do, like if you already like, oh, I need to take a break. Oh, I'm gonna, I want to talk about taking a break. Let me no, just take a break. Trust me, relax, man. Take a vacation. I do it every weekend. You know what I'm saying? I do it every single weekend. That's why it's beautiful. So it's just like, take your break, relax, come back to it. Don't, but you don't. You shouldn't have any pressure. And then again, the long term, and I wouldn't feel any any guilt or defeat. It's it's how it's all gonna be how you how you progress. And if you walk away with the long term, then there you go, baby. Affirm the Expedia. You're glad you didn't sell them. Why? They're worth less now. <laughs> Dude, they were up 1,200% in the morning. You've been seeing running options, futures, now back to more plays. How do you decide? I just go with the flow. I'm still in futures. So it's not like I haven't been not trading futures. I have the Zaza. I have a bond play. I just closed out of a natural gas. I still have ES and Russell. I just started, again, the options I avoided last year because they were scammy last year and a half they were very scammy but then with the market getting exuberant i saw a little opening and then we started i noticed the two standard deviations kept hitting and then i went and i've gone to uh literally just saying hey if i know these are scams i'm just gonna keep it extremely small and i've been noticing these plays going crazy so that's it but i'm still in the futures Replanted the long term one year ago And he blew up the futures Yeah I'm, I mean I've gotten very close to it 
that's I'm very close to it, but it all depends. It all depends on the bonds. That Zaza though, that's why I got I got a lot of money back on the Zaza, but that one almost fucked me up. And then that ES short, but I just back and forth. I did give up a lot of the gains though that I recently made. But it's all un all of it was unrealized, still is unrealized. I think Expedia could I plan on holding it. I want that one to go in the money. Switch to a paper trading account. Yeah. Yeah, we had puts on Expedia and take Expedia was a thousand percent in the morning. Some of the Chads had to further out the monies. They made forty dollars in a twenty dollars in a four hundred or five hundred. That was two thousand percent play. I had twelve hundred percent in the morning, but I got greedy. I said I'm, I, my plan was to hold it, and then it flipped, and then take two. That was up a little bit. Well, yeah, this has been a good week. I trade CL. I'll go with MCL depending on the vibe too. Just dweller, you subscriber, well, welcome, man. Learning the vibe, baby. We'll get a long term. You know, again, the trades are awesome, but the trades. I mean, if you're gonna get tempted to throw more than small amounts of money, just just welcome to a weird world where it gets very very wild. Uh, other than that, though, the long term, and then you know, pair that up with everything we go over the news info. You're gonna be good to go. Would definitely get a long term. How do I switch these? I already placed a decent, I placed a little bit too many trades today. We spent a lot on the Airbnb because I'm going to make these free. And I grabbed an Amazon and Net. And I grabbed Ericsson shares. Which are down a little bit. Expedia Walmart version of booking. I mean, I like Expedia. I'm just surprised that they're that they get as much love as they do. It's like, aren't, aren't, aren't they at negative earnings, I think? But Expedia is a good company, man. Again, all of the, all of the, uh, what's it called? All of the, uh, the travel place. Most of them are very good online, like online travel. How often should you pay yourself anytime you touch a dollar? No Super Bowl ad plays. I forgot the statistic. What's the stat? Isn't it like the stocks that show up on Super Bowl ads, they go up like 4% or something? Or they go up for the next seven days? This guy just talks and doesn't do technical analysis. Questionable trader. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't do it all. I am a questionable trader. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go through option chains and, like, I pick out. I just price in what the options tell me. And then I go with two standard deviations. So it's, it is very questionable depending on who you ask. But, yeah. And then I got a long term, though. I mean, the long term's killer. Uh, it's made a lot of money there, and that's it. But, yeah, if, if if it does boil down to technicals, I'm mad sus. I don't really fuck with technicals like that. I do basic levels. You know, I don't know. Do I have them on here? Oh, it's not on this chart, I don't think. You know, I do horizontal levels. But, like, yeah. But I don't know. if I, There's more to trading than technicals. So, one day you'll see. Any week I have I already I'm already in Cisco. My Cisco plays are up. I'm up 176 on the puts, and then I'm up 21 percent on the calls. Believe it or not. I 
There's so many ways for that's but that's what I've been saying, man. Like I straight up I'd be showing a strategy. It's not I mean, it has yielded a lot of results, but at the same time, like I'm just, you know, you have two options, right? You could like listen to what I say and what I do and be like, oh, you're a fuck. You suck. Like, I don't know why we're competing uh, <laughs> to begin with. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's like you could be you could hate on it instantly and be like, oh, well, fucking you did this. Or it's like, yo, maybe you could learn something from it because that's if you're able to find like, I, you know, there's some stuff I could show you there. It may not be your style, but like I encourage you to just see how you can uh, link in whatever I show you into your own strategy because everybody has their own little way, but you might be able to to get something from it. Just sold that Expedia. You were up from 24 cents to 525. Didn't realize it was too late. You bought the wrong date, so I was trying to close the wrong one. Took some deep breaths. Come and sold that 800. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. There's a lot of different trading flavors. Yeah, but it's like that. Again, it's like that one philo. Like I just told you, it's just like if straight up, like if you encounter somebody and you're like putting yourself in a competition, it's because like you're you're making competition with something not competing with you. You know what I'm saying? Like you you are letting the insecurity show, and that's why I said just like for real, like you could you could approach a lot of the stuff we do here, and you can like make it a competition with the fellow chads with me you see me, i have why do people watch this guy you know that that pisses people off sometimes you know what i'm saying if i'm doing something that you don't think is the right way and then you see four thousand people watching it you're like what the f screw this guy you know this is how it's like that's not what it's about man like <laughs> you know it's like you have to really i encourage you to get any value just ask yourself what like what is it there can i use that in my approach or not and if i can't then there you go but it's like if you do make competition where competition is not there, you're you're going to miss a lot of life in that sense. But especially here on the stream, the stream won't make a lot of sense if that's the case. So I don't really claim to be the best. I don't claim that this is the only way to ever do anything. I do think Weeble is a scam. I'll throw that one in there. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's just like for real, like maybe you could listen to some of the things and – Find a way to protect yourself or add it to what you want to do and how you want to do it and how other people in here have done it. And, you know, that's the beauty is that, you know, we got to we got a crazy amount of diversity in here to be able to to, you know, you could see how other people different than you have learned from me as well. But like incorporated it into their own way, because that was the number one thing this year, this whole two standard deviation thing. This was the tutorial I started out with, man. And the number one thing I was just saying is, listen, I, I call it ghetto for a reason, you know, and I know some of you aren't going to like it and you're not and it's not so specific. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I really hope you could understand what I am doing because it may leave you with something that that you're able to apply yourself into whatever you believe is correct and what you really think that is the right way and what you want to do. Because I just know that like pricing and options, this is a it's a skill and it's a talent that will help you no matter what. And once you learn how to do that, you could start bending it and moving it around. You know what I'm saying? And you could make it fit whatever style you want. But, you know, I'm not I'm not saying this is a cookie cutter approach. You all must use it or you're going to fail. It's like, nah, it's like, yo, learn this shit right now because this ain't going away. It's not going anywhere. And whether you like it or not, it isn't, it's, it's, it's in the market. But once you, you know what it's saying, I'm trying to translate it for you so you could learn how to translate so that you can now put it into whatever words you want, but you still got to know how it translates. And that, that's the big key.
really brings perspective. Indeed. Indeed, what time is it? Damn, it's only 9.15. It's still early, bro. That's crazy. Damn, baby. Dan. Just Dan. Hey, man, God bless you. <coughs> Let's go, man. All right. I need to go pee, but I... Okay, thank you. It's like they're not giving me a bathroom break. All right, I'll be right back. Follow me on Instagram. At the trade inventory. Oh, we need push-ups. We missed. We should do push-ups. I got to go pee, though, now. I'll be right back. Been seeing, and you think about what we heard from Wells Fargo, front running, really more economic data. How much are issuers just trying to get ahead of potential trouble at this point? I think a lot of it is pre funding, but you're absolutely right. We've had a very impressive start to the year in terms of primary market activity in IG. We had the busiest January ever with close to 200 billion of, of, of supply. To me, there's been really two key takeaways. One, that is to a very large extent a natural response to lower yields. Remember, we were at 5% on the 10-year treasuries back in late October. We're a lot lower than that today. But more importantly, I do think it reflects a much more predictable path of monetary policy and more comfort vis-a-vis -vis the durability of the cycle. Um, and I think those two things have played a big role. It's also a very positive uh, development with regards to uh, the low end of the quality spectrum, those high-yield companies that have to address upcoming maturities. So the appetite is actually quite strong on the issuer side. Second takeaway to me, that has been met with very strong demand. You see it in the performance of the secondary market of, of, of spreads, but you also see it in new issue concessions. Uh, those bonds typically come at a slight discount relative to the secondary market. That discount has narrowed quite dramatically. Well, let's talk about spreads for a second here, because our investors are really getting compensated for the risks they're taking on, given where spreads are. Look, spreads are tight. Uh, they are at the tight end of the historical range if you go back to a decade or even two decades of, of history. Are they being compensated? It depends on your view. Uh, they're definitely not pricing in a recession. They are pricing in what I would typically describe as cycle extension, and so mid to late cycle type of uh, type of environment here. But spreads are tight. Uh, there's one difference: uh, yields are higher, and so I think we need to look at credit. Uh, certainly as a spread product, but also as an all in yield product. Let's talk about where those higher yields matter the most, the riskier end of the market, because you're watching investors feast on high yields like there's no problem. Yeah. <laughs> and even if you don't see a recession, they are faced with higher costs of interest. Yeah. Can they all survive through those higher borrowing costs? And are, are investors perhaps discounting the idea here that things could go wrong? I think for the high end of the quality spectrum, the answer is probably yes. If you're a double B or a single B rated credit, I think, yeah, you still have very healthy debt service and capacity, even if you factor in potentially some kind of a long run equilibrium level of 4% on, on 10 year treasuries. For the low end of the quality spectrum, the answer is it depends. And, and it, you really have to look at it on a case by case basis, sector by sector, sometimes issuer by issuer. Yields have come down. The market is actually open even for triple C rated issuers. We've had a handful of deals this year, uh, which is a, a big change relative to last year. But dispersion, I think, within the low end of the market is likely to remain high. It's worth talking about even messier parts of that low end of the market. You think about what we've seen the last couple of weeks with New York Community Bank, regional bank issues, as well as commercial yep. real estate issues. How do you parse through the noise in those very messy areas right now? Yeah, I mean, great reminder that the challenges in the U.S. commercial real estate market are going to linger for quite some time, and they will have an impact on lenders, not just in the U.S., but also in Europe, uh, by the way. I do think it's important to keep in mind that the commercial real estate market is a very diverse asset class. You know, there's office properties, there's a rest. I think the rest of the market, by and large, has strong fundamentals. Um, 
And I also think that the bar is still very high for the U.S. commercial real estate market to become a catalyst for a, an escalation in systemic concerns. And so I know we've used the word idiosyncratic ad nauseum, you know, the last couple of, uh, of months. But I do think that there's a big element of idiosyncrasy in some of these, uh, you know, headlines that we've seen the last two weeks. How do you think of, a, you know, a headline that crossed the terminal this week about fallen angels, the debt load is spiking among them globally to more than $400 billion. Do you you think investors are really not calculating the idea of credit quality starting to worsen for some of these issuers? Well, credit quality did inflect a year and a half ago already. The pace of the deterioration, however, has been very manageable. Uh, and a lot of that, I think, speaks to the fact that going into the hiking cycle, corporate fundamentals are in very good shape. We are actually not that worried about a potential wave of fallen angels in 2024. A lot of that is predicated on a positive macro view, robust growth, continued disinflation, and then easing, you know, starting in, in May. Last year was a very impressive way, uh, year in terms of uh, rising stars actually dramatically outpacing fallen angels. I think we'll normalize a little bit this year, but we're not concerned about a wave of fallen angels. Well, it's interesting. What I'm hearing for you is a lot of sanguine and tones about the economy, about these issuers. Is this a reflection of it being the year for credit, of it being really the year of fixed income outperforming? On a risk-adjusted basis, yes. I think one of the big differences between 2024 and 2023 is that vol in the rates market should come down dramatically. Remember last year, everyone had a very wide range of outcomes as to where Fed policy was going to go. This year, that range is a lot lower. Really. The only uncertainty is about the timing of the first cut and then the magnitude. But the risk of another large monetary uh, policy shock has declined dramatically. That's a big boost, I think, for risk-adjusted returns. Absolute returns will be lower. The starting level for spreads is just tighter than last year. So the most mispriced opportunity, in your view? The low end of the quality spectrum in high yield. The analog to that would be small caps in the equity market. But you have to look at pockets of the market where the soft landing premium is actually still there. It's not there at the index level. The index is tight. You have to scratch under the surface and really look at the low end of the market. But there's value in those triple C credits in our view. Wall Street putting the analysts to work. Latvi, thank you so much for your well. time. That is Latvi Curry of Goldman Sachs. Still ahead, stick with us, the final spread. The week ahead, a big week ahead. All eyes on the latest CPI print. Stick with us. This is Real Yield on Bloomberg. I, I, I milked that. I milked that commercial. You know, I let that one ride for a little bit. I forgot, man. It's Friday. You know what I'm doing? You guys don't know what I'm doing on Friday. I'm not gonna let y'all sit here. We got. We got to turn up, bro. We turning up, man. I'm getting me some caffeine. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I'm very mad at I don't know why Starbucks stock is going up, bro. I'm very pissed at Starbucks. I'm very pissed at Starbucks. They never have that sandwich. Arm? Why y'all keep calling out Arm? What's going on, Hamza? You need to calm down, bro. You need to calm down. Mm-hmm. You got some good news? What's up, man? You usually troll me with stuff, so I'm I'm excited to hear. What do we got? You wish I had caffeine. You have 15 hours a day. Why don't you get caffeine? It's, it's widely available. <laughs> you know, you get, I'm doing it. The amount of, ca I could just find caffeine everywhere. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Arm did again. Remember we were saying like 105? That was like a $10 move. It is a controlled substance. It really, you cut it for New Year's? Oh yeah, well then that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I've been slowly... I don't... What the fuck? Oh, dude. That was weird. It, my my DoorDash order, it, I swear it just placed the order in San Francisco. I was about to trip out. On my map, it shows San Francisco. Hmm. I'm getting Panera. Starbucks, they, they never have that sandwich. 
I'm telling you, they had that sandwich. I started ordering from I, I started ordering from there. And then every time I try to do it, then that's it. They never have it. You can have it delivered to my house. All right. What's your email me? What do you want? Almost all the Google ones. Let's go. Go work. You were saying those earlier. Yeah, the chicken maple, man. What would make you move out of San Diego? My mom. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's it. You think I'm here for any other reason? I love it. It's a beautiful place and it's great. But like, dude, my mom, like, why would I? That's it. If my parents left, my mom, my dad, if like, you know, my dad traveled a lot too, though. So I don't know. My mom is the one I'm, I'm really like, yeah, if she left, I would leave. I'm old. I just, I'm a mama's boy. This is okay. My girlfriend's okay with it. She understands. And my mom hates Florida, bro. So Miami's out of the question. I told my mom, I was like, the beach is nice. You'd love it. And she was like, nope. Because last time my mom went to Florida, this was like after 9-11. They like called her a terrorist and shit. So yeah, she didn't really like that. They were very, uh, she went to like Hick Village and they just, they did not vibe with my mom. So she was not about that life. Mm-hmm. If you had to move anywhere with unlimited budget, where would you go to? Honestly, it may sound weird, but I would go to Ohio. Why? Because I've always wanted to be a king. I feel like if I go to Ohio, I could build a castle and like they would just crown me their king. They would make me their leader. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they would rec like Sheldon would say, they'd recognize my superiority and make me their leader. Instantly, they say, wow, this guy is crazy. We should let him lead us. And then there you go. And now you have Josh Heil. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. If you're from Ohio, man, I make I make Ohio jokes all the time. So I apologize. Y'all be catching strays for no reason. Y'all live in a nice, affordable place that I've really I've only heard good things about. But hey, man. Sucks to be in the middle of America. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma. It sucks, though. Like, I like the middle of America. It doesn't really get a good rep, but... <clears throat> and I've only been to a couple of places, but... I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm about it. I really like it. Salt Lake City. Dude, I don't want to make any of you guys mad, but, like, Utah sucks. <laughs> I've been to Utah. It sucks. Like, even Salt Lake City, bro, I'm not a fan. Like, Colorado, Aspen, uh, it's way better, bro. Utah sucks. I'm sorry. I don't know if there's any Mormons in here or anything. I'm not trying to make it that deep, but nah, Utah sucks. Like, Utah is worse than Ohio. I've never been to Ohio, but yeah, it sucks. Net coming up a little bit. It's beautiful. Utah is beautiful. Yes, 100%. It's beautiful. But everything else is awful. You had our last company call and they ended it playing a minute and a half of See You Again. Oh, dude, that's so sad. I would have cried. Did you cry? That song makes me cry. I think I might cry right now. That's crazy. I'm from Salt Lake. I apologize. I'm sorry. Dude, look at the look at this. Dude, what the hell is happening? Yeah, Park City wildly overrated. I agree. It's great if you ski, if you like the like 
the slopes and stuff, but like there's there's I don't know. Every other place that's like expensive to like go skiing in America, they're they're all better than Park City. <laughs> that's that's what I've got to learn. But the place is beautiful. And then Spy Man right near the high. The bond still pinned. Armin Net did come back up. Armin Net, that sounds like Armin Hammer. Disney came back down. They cucked us, man. And Expedia just holding. We had good news of no news. So today was uh just like it was uh what's it called? It was just the uh revisions and they didn't change the revisions. And the lack of that news was good. I think, but I said this on the watch list yesterday, the fact that the revision didn't change and then it came in a little lower on headline for December, I think we're going to have a, uh, I think we're going to have a, uh, what's it called? I think we're going to have a, uh, a better CPI on Tuesday. So I was kind of worried that CPI gets clapped next week, but now with the revisions not causing any problems, and even being a little bit worse there, then I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be do, it's gonna be good. Yeah, next week you have TLT or TLT. Oh, was that what? Maybe we play TLT. You have a CPI. Sorry, three letters important. I got confused. I've already played Pump It Up. Nasdaq eighteen thousand on the futures. Maybe I see sixteen. Is that Nasdaq one hundred? Their plan is move to middle America like as Middle Earth and just jam roomscape music and pledge my loyalty to King Josh of Ohio. It's not a bad plan. In my mind, that's how it work. Do you think a market crash could happen before the yield curve uninverts? Yes. And then the yield curve would shortly thereafter uninvert. So it's either it could happen in both instances. If that's where where it makes sense. Is that where I went skiing for one day, two days, and then I left because I hated it. I went to Utah and I stayed for two days and I couldn't take it. It was like when I went to San Francisco back in the day and I left. I canceled all my plans. I changed them and then I went to Colorado. <laughs> I said, I'm not doing this shit. I said, I'm out, bro. I can't. I hated it. I absolutely hated that place. Just all the food, the places we go to. It was just, I couldn't, I'm like, and I was like, it's this expensive. I said, if I'm going to go anywhere and spend this much money, I'm going to, I'm going to have way more fun. Yeah. I, I thought that it's Utah's beautiful though. It was like actually beautiful. It's fast stock news on Twitter. Yours? No, it's not. It's one of the chads and I wanted to try streaming on Twitter. So they let me run it. I don't, I don't, we turn, I, I need to turn on the chat, but I'd have to like exit the stream and turn it back on again. But for now, it's good. I get my, my first experience with Twitter live. Give us the philo and knowledge on buying land. Well, that's tough. You want like self-development and then purchasing undeveloped land plots. How do I buy a $4 million piece of land and develop apartments on it? Well, step one, you will need the $4 million. But why do you want a $4 million piece of land? So the simple process is you just, you need the land. And then the land is either going to, you're either going to have permits to build or you'll have limitations on what you could build there. And then you need to get utilities 
that's usually the the biggest part about all of it. So like if you guys ever buy land in the middle of of nowhere, the number one thing that will change value is if you have utilities already wired up to the property. That's I knew a guy and he made bank doing this. All he would do is he would buy land, he would outfit them and get the water pipes, the electricity and have them all ready to go metered up and just so that you could actually start building and then he would just resell that he made a killing because he would just do that for people and then now he was selling them land because if you find land like that that is the the best value right there because once you already have the electricity meters gas and everything's just ready to go there you just you you that's that's the a big big part of it all and then because the, then the next step just takes time and then you need licensing or licensing permits from the city or the local gov government to, to build. You do lot development. Yeah, that's what I do. It's huge. Tax liens, they're good, uh, but it's, it's honestly like it's a super shady industry. Like I feel bad sometimes for them, but you just got to know tax liens versus tax sales. But the problem is, I, I, I don't know. I think the auctions have calmed down. I haven't looked at them in a while. But it used to be where, like, as the market was heating up, the auctions were going for as much as market value, and then they were you were buying them sight unseen. <clears throat> it's funnier from Utah. You get offended when people talk shit about Utah, but it does suck. But it's also great. I mean, I'm I'm just a hard critic, but the place doesn't suck. But like. If I'm spending a lot of money and then everything, then there's like the rest, the food and the restaurant. I don't know. It's just hard. It was beautiful, though. I was in I was in shock by how beautiful it was. Still hot here. Yeah, that's the thing. So tax sales, you could find some deals, but usually like you might be better off just buying from a wholesaler sometime just because if you're paying full cash at the damn you know, market value price, you know, then, then that's it. Your mom's getting roped into some tax seminar. It's not a scam, but like it, if she want, if she's going to say buy a course, I could teach her everything in a 20 minute video for free. There's no, you don't need a course to it. If anything, you're going to need, you know, I'll be here for questions if she ever winds herself up in a deal. But like I could do, I could probably go to a tax sale live for you guys if you want. Some of most of them are online. You just have to wait. In person auctions are better, a hundred percent. But it's not like they're just gonna try to scam her on a course. But like you don't really need a course to learn it all. Like it's I don't know. It's really, it's really like easy. But then it's like easy. It's easy. Just like how I tell you, oh, buy a house for cheap, sell it for more money. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's easy in theory, but like it is like it's a shit ton of work. And then once you deal with the competition, finding your funding. So she either needs cash too. That's the first thing. Does your mom have cash to buy houses? Can she drop 200000 300000 in cash right now? So if not, she's going to have to find a way to get funding and find a lender who will do that for for auctions. You know what I'm saying? So like that right there, that's, that's, that's going to take you either time or effort. And then the next part is now going through the list making sure you register for the auction and then going through all the properties and then determining which ones have value or not. And then you do all that work. And then that's what I'm saying. You do all of this work, right? You go, go through the tax potential tax liens, right? And then you go before the auction and then you go find all the properties. You're like, Oh, I like this one. Okay. This is a good deal. 10 minutes into the auction, it'll be trading at the same price as the, as what you planned on selling it for. <laughs> that's that's what I've noticed there. So if you could get to the tax liens before they hit the auction, that's an opportunity too sometimes. But then it's still that's a whole, that's like at that point you're just doing house flipping work too, and then you got to find out who to call, how to call them, get in touch, and then go through those steps as well too. Tax deeds and tax sales are very different too. So like some states are tax deed, some are tax sale. 
So sometimes you're just buying the no. Other times you could be buying a claim to the house. That just depends on the location. Plays for today where Airbnb, Fastly, Eric, Take Two's rocketing up now. And then we had 1,000 percenters, but we didn't sell them early enough. We got scammed. She has cash. She's into Kellen, so she knows what she's doing. All right, honestly, then, not bad. Like, if she has the funding part easy, that, that's going to save a lot of time. But like I said, it's just going to be about finding the properties and do that work and then getting to the actual auction. Or she could contact the people ahead of auction, but a lot of people are already doing that. Yeah, I did the two standard DVA. I did it because Expedia dropped, so the contracts were cheaper. Then our Expedia's hit. They're still up, but we got scammed. We could have got way more in the morning. Arm is killing it now. Arm's one. That's $10 from that low. PayPal's going up, too. They were running all day. You should make that tax lien video. Well, you have to buy a course. Sorry. If you buy a course, I'll make the video. You, I'm just going to let your mom give money to these random local scammers and I can't even get a dollar. And then the one she paid for, she going to listen to. The one she got for free, she ain't going to listen to. Really? No, nah, I'm, 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 I'm down, bro. I'll make you a video. You might have to give me some time. Bought some PayPal. Disney. So much, you know, like a fed today. So much. Oh, push ups. We need push ups. I'm about to have caffeine. We need to do push ups. One dollar. I'll take it. I was waiting for the instructions unclear. Yeah, arms ripping. All right, man. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, someone on CNBC bought arm. Well, there you go. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile. Press hot chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link, Nightly Watch is the main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts Boot Camp and Real Estate Course. But ladies and gentlemen, we've been here for three and a half hours. We got three and a half hours left to go. Sitting is the new smoking. I need you to get beside your desk. Do 10 push-ups. Can't do 10, you do 5. Can't do 5, you do 4. Can't do 4, you do 2. Can't do 2, you do 1. Can't do 1, get your knees, do a push-up, plank, the worm, anything. But get the body moving. Then optometrist recommendations. Stare at object 10, 20, 30 feet away. Go blink, 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 First time using the standard deviation with a firm. You got toasted. So, uh, did we play a firm? No, I only grabbed the put. So, yeah, the this two. I was gonna say I thought the two standard deviations. I think it showed us that it wasn't gonna. It was it was pricing in a lot. So remember, if it's pricing in a ton, it's kind of telling. I only went with the put. Yeah, the calls. I said they were too expensive. I grabbed the put, but even then, the put, it was just still too much, and then they didn't drop. They, they literally only moved one, one standard deviation. But now relax the shoulders. Fix those trauma traps. Come on, guys. Why are you scrunching those shoulders up, man? No one's attacking you. It's bright and early. Relax a little bit, bro. It's Friday. You know that? It's Friday, baby. So drop the shoulders, man. You're holding a lot of trauma in your shoulders. Okay, postmodern therapy. That's what it tells you. So you need to relax the shoulders, man, okay? And then chest to the sun. Flex the core. Tuck the hips in. Legs in front of you. And damn. Nah, you looking good right now. You looking good. I'm not going to lie to you. You look good. You look taller. You look like two standard deviations tall, man. That's amazing. Wow. God bless you. God bless you. All right, then relax the jaw. Go. Then breathe in really deep. Go. Breathe out with your tongue out. Do the dragon breath. Go. And that's it, man. That's it. Let's get this.
because his Tonsa, his tenure in ES looked the same. Dude, bonds are hideous. I don't know. I think we might hit that 530, bro. We are we got a lot of time left still. Still got a couple hours. Big pump. We'll find out. Grab those NYCB. I wish I grabbed them when we called out the news. The inside. I didn't know they had options. I guess I wasn't. I didn't want to check, but I wasn't thinking. Cause I was like, ah, four dollars stock wouldn't have it, but they already killed it. Again, two insiders bought in today. A line pop. Line, get it? No, no, no NYCB for me. We had a good stream alert out on it though when that first happened, and if you were here, you got it. So that was beautiful. Okay, I need to do the Wall Street stretch. Gotta, or were you saying get it to my workout? Hey, go! Oh, man. Echo. My goodness. All right, time for the foot balancing, and then we're good to go. And we are good to go. Oh, no. I just rolled over the resist time. Have you ever rolled over a resistance band? It's the worst thing ever. It is the worst. Take two all prop. Bro, that happened with Expedia, man. We had two nice hits, but you only had two minutes to take them. I do my left foot for a minute and a half because it's weaker. And then I do the right foot for a minute. So we'll see. That's good. Which strike? I think I got the 175s and 190s. If you do two, but they're up right now, but just do the two standard deviation thing and you'll be good. Or hope or take what you can. That depends. What type of streak are you on? Where's your account? Do you need the money? So were you not there on the watch list yesterday? I think we had a good little lesson on a couple of factors. What was your plan in the morning? So I did plan on holding both of these because one take two is in the money or about to be. So I'd like that. And then Expedia, I just like how it moves in the bigger one. So we'll see. You got two kids. We'll try to watch it uh, maybe at another time. But there's there's a, it's a lot harder to answer that question. I wish it was as simple. Next leg. Uh, no, book map, they got rid of the trial. We used that thing for like two years without ever paying for it. And then they were like, nah. It did not work. They're using it right now, but don't they switch it? So they don't let you pick just the ES and NQs available. Yeah, they just switch up. But then that thing would mess up my computer sometimes too. Mm -mm. All right, we good. No put on that. I did a call, but we should have waited on that. I knew they were scammy. 
what I felt you would have got a little bit more excitement. Again, today, though, this wasn't any of the earnings names. It's end of the week, though. I feel like this happened at the end of last week, too. Remember, we had meta plays. Well, we ended with meta. But, like, remember, end of the weeks usually get really dry. And then the market just does its own thing. Airbnb. Where's Abivai? They fell from 175 today. Yum Brands. Price target cut. Mm -mm. That RGNX, man. I think hit 18. At least that one came up. It's still dropping though today. Last Friday we had Meta. I remember Meta was on Thursday. So Friday was just crazy Meta and then all the other chips. But I think the Friday before that, remember the earnings on Thursday and Friday were kind of dry. And then we kind of just, nah, but then the market still melted up. Nice lesson on net. Yeah, we knew it was scammy. I figured I, I bought it at the break even of the day before, a little less. That's it. I bought Eric because there was like a rumor of like chips being built out, a new NVIDIA thing. And Ericsson was mentioned and a couple of the other plays went down. But uh, it started to uh, just do nothing. I don't know if I'm going to hold that one, though, overnight. I might be down to get out of it. eBay. Oh, eBay's running. eBay. What happened to eBay? They moved decent on their last earnings. Remember we talked about used cars, delinquencies, finally creating an inventory glut. You need two to four months for dealers to get smoked out. Amazon ripping, spy going up. My goodness. Those Amazons from earlier are up 60%, but the contract was really, really cheap. There's earnings next week. Cisco to cut thousands of job as part of restructuring plan. Yo, Cisco pop. Cisco pop. Let's see how long that'll last for. And then where's my other Cisco's? Well, these are there. I'm gonna sell out of the Cisco put. I saw the Cisco put for ninety three bucks, so that was a hundred fifty percent. And then I bought a daily for fifteen dollars at three cents. And then I still have the other call for earnings. Remember, we were in the Cisco's earlier. I'm holding Amazon until next week. Almost same. So I grab the dailies there if we get a hit on that. I'm going to try to make them free if anything. But then the general idea here would be uh, I got rid of the put. But co cost cutting, and again, they've dropped a lot recently. But it's kind of not doing anything crazy. It's crazy in a starter N. Well, we'll find out by middle of February and then 
I mean, if if we get through middle of February with no real warning signs, then you're going to have till March. And if Powell and the whole gang, they don't do anything by March, then you're going to be able to run till like what, June, July? And then maybe August, October will have some downside and then that's it. It'll it'll play it'll be like last year. I don't know, that's the way I look at it. Same exact thing. Like literally, I think we're going to do what we did last year. You get your crazy run up, middle of February, we either have a big decline then get into March, middle of March, either kills us or it doesn't. If it don't, you're going to be able to run till June, July, end of July, things will change a little bit. And then October, November and then and then end of the year, we probably start ramping again. <laughs> Clean Spark 36. How do those contracts deal? 13s. Oh, you would have hit on these. So Clean Spark, remember, we saw he's at what, 20 cents? You would have made 1,000% almost. Holy shit. That's crazy. Usually those don't hit. That's nice. Yeah, no, nah, you would have had those. Cause remember, thirteen, thirteen dollar for or thirteen dollars for twenty bucks. Am I bullish this whole month? Come on, two heed. That's not cool, man. You gonna ask, ask these questions? You gonna be here every day? You ask me about what? Oh, you know, I'm looking at your chat facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? You've been here, so that's not what I said. Uh, and what I have been saying over the last couple of days is that I think m middle of February is negative. I don't think middle of February is good, but that'll probably be dictated by the CPI next week. And then we get into March. If March Powell meeting is either going to dictate the wind of bullish or bearish, and then depending on what it is, it'll lead into after that, I think it'll get bullish uh, no matter what. But then again, it just depends on what, what your homie says. We already pumped it up, man. Missed it. So late, middle of Feb, well, middle of February, second week. The last two weeks of February are historically one of the worst weeks for the stock market over the last like 50 years. Or I think since 1928. So, like, it's the second worst period of the market in the last two weeks of February. But then that's why, it's, ironically enough, right at the two-week mark, you get your boy, the CPI, coming out next week. And then after that, it's another, what, month until Powell? So it'll at least create a window for a month, and then Powell will either reverse it or continue it. What if we keep going? We could, but like what also makes sense too, the first two weeks of February are also bullish. Isn't that funny? So not only are the last two weeks bad, but the first two weeks are on the higher end. I think you return like half a percent or something. Let me see if I still have the chart. I have so many screenshots. Cisco just hit red on the termy. I'm surprised that didn't go up more. Usually that job, they might make it, push it till next week. But I sold my put, still holding the call, and I went for dailies at like two cents or three cents. Cisco seeks to focus on higher growth area, Reuters. Random, you don't have any solar in the portfolio. You see Tesla is one from India, but it's solar. Where is the future going? I don't really like energy. I don't even like gas in my long term. But like I say, if you have everything balanced out, I don't think a solar name will hurt you. You just got to find the right one, really. I 
Who is the best solar name? I do trade futures. I'm in a bond play from a couple of days ago. I'm smashed on, but yeah, I still, still trade them. Man, I'm going to have to go to my video to get you the chart. Run is the biggest installer. NYCB is going insane. I'm kind of mad. That would that should have been our pickup this morning. We had a great call out. Shout out to Danny for that news early. But my goodness. Hard rooting for Airbnb to go up and Expedia to go down at the same time. Habibi, why you think we make it the play, Habibi? I know why we win no matter what. Ah, huh? yalla. Hey, the Expedia go down. Oh, no. We lose on the earning. Airbnb, it's okay. We make a thousand. If the Airbnb go up, we lose on the Expedia. But the Airbnb, we make money. You know? We'll be good. Baker Hughes rig count 623 versus 619. I believe this is. All right, so this is the seasonality video. I don't know if you guys want to check this one out. If you didn't watch this, we did. This was a live watch list, but save this video. Trust me, you're going to want to save this video. Why? Because we go overall. Here's that chart I was trying to show you. So take a look. The first two weeks of February, the first half of February, you actually gain a little bit more than half a percent. And that's since 1928. And then the second half of February is literally the worst month on record or the worst half of a month on record since 1928. But keep this video because I have the link in there. There's a seasonality calculator. Here's just the basic table and chart of how things operate. And then... Here's the seasonality calculator if you want to see how every month did. I have that. It's it's in the video title or description here. But yeah, it's a good one, man. It's a good one. Check it out. But yeah, so first half of February goes up almost three quarters of a percent. And then second half of February gets murdered since 1928. But then again, just like I say in that video, seasonality is not a, it's not a guarantee. So there has been moments where February ends up very good. That's what you always got to watch out for. You're cool as hell. Thank you, man. I mean, it's a lot. You got a long term, man. I want we could be friends for life if you get a long term. AKA we could be getting a pullback. Yeah, I mean, if any, I'm. I think it makes a lot of sense. Not that like we have to go down, but like just like, I don't know. Is it ironic? that we're about to get the CPI right before this period, I think it makes sense. If that CPI is bad, we're going to dump the rest of February after hitting all of these highs. Very simple. And we'll dump until March 21st when we get the Fed and all the Fed speakers or the next set of jobs data or whatever else happens. But then it's simple too. If that CPI it ends up being good, we may watch maybe seasonality would be better. Working on my bankroll, if I told you what I did with my long term, you'd ban me. I mean, humor me. I'm assuming you you put it into an option trade. But, like, is it worse? Did you, like, pull it out to, like, buy a bunch of, like, clown hookers or something? That'd be worse. That'd be. But I'm trying to think. You sold it? Oh, that's why. what you sell it for. What did you get? I don't know. Like, like Risky comment, but it could have been worse. Could have been worse. I think a lot of you are confused right now. 
Oh, you just said a lot of you just needed the money. For what though? Like was it like debt? Were you like back on your rent or something, car payment? Or was it just like you didn't like you were like, I want a DoorDash. Where did I? I don't know. I just I, I I threw a lot out there. I don't know. I was I was trying to think because he got me. He was like, you banned me. But I'm like, well, if you saw it depends what it was like. Like what would make me like be disappointed? But like if you're like, I sold my long term and purchased a bunch of illicit activities with clowns that, that I'll be like, all right, that's kind of weird. That would I'd be I, I would maybe bills. What do you mean bills? Oh, bills. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, <laughs> like you bought bill with it. Oh, that's fine. Honestly. As long as it was responsible, like, you know, if you really needed that money, bro, like, dude, I mean, that's what the long term's there for. Yeah, your card and all that. You good, dog. You good. Let's go. As long as you're in the game still. Stay in the game, baby. EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey, it's Josh AI. Just reminding you. 1,000% options are great, but they will eventually kill you. So make sure you get a long-term. And don't feel bad if you use your long-term for daily life activities or big life events. That's what it's made for. If you have any questions about the long-term, just say, Hey, Josh AI, I'll be here to help you. Program with over 500,000 different responses. Thanks. Have a great day. Arm again? All oh, my brothers in arms. Have I purchased the cookie? Yeah, bro. I'm a fatty, man. I didn't tell you. You want, you want me to mess up your life even more? If you already addicted to the Costco cookie? What you do is you order the Sunday. You know how they got a Costco Sunday? You order the Costco Sunday. Then you order the Costco cookie. Then you take the cookie and just start like ripping it apart in the little pieces. And then you put the cookie in the Sunday. I'm just telling you, bro. It's this. Nah, man. That's how you know I'm a fatty, bro. I be doing shit like that. I have a problem. You know that I have a lot of good ideas sometimes, but they hurt me. No, bro, it's fire. It's fire. You have no idea. Oh, we got that food. Thank you. I didn't know you were here. You got to deliver it. Thank you. You want to say hello? No, but you said no. Just come on. Give him like a, you know, like America, you know. Oh, Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, there you go. Wow. That's the most words she said. Holy shit. I love you. Bye. Okay. As you see that she said, she said, "Whoa, Walmart!" Wait, what are you saying? I can't hear you. What? Why is she so shy? All right. Well, I got my, I got Panera. I got this charged lemonade. You said I love you. Yeah. You know why? Last time when she hung up on me. And Chad was like, you don't say I love you. They're like, what if she dies and you don't see her? And I was like, damn, that's a good point. All right. Well, shit. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to miss the pump it up. It happens, man. All right, give me a second. Let me down this. Follow me on Instagram at the Training Fraternity. I love you. I'll be right back. Public, and so I think that that is the tension that they're she going with right now. That? If we're going to have what? gaffes, that's, do you have them when you're sad. flooding the field with Joe Biden <laughs> talking about stuff that they want him to talk about, or do you claw back, have you know more micro dosing of Biden, and therefore <laughs> any one gaffe so, will, will so stand micro out a little bit. Biden now? Is this the coolest guy in the room? Oh, when does oh, Josh Winbrook get his own show? I could listen to you I all day. I that. Micro dosing. <laughs> 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 there was a drug that made you like Biden for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 
I would uh, fuck with you. Thank I do you for once. coming to see us. <laughs> I'm gonna lie to you. Uh, Bloomberg White House correspondent I'll Josh Wingrove. Uh, I'm doing a microdose of Biden, of bro. You're like, yeah. Here on Bloomberg TV and radio, you know I'm, I'm Joe Matthew alongside Kaylee Lyons. Uh, as we put like a finer like point five on ambient. this, Kaylee, as you mentioned, we spoke with the Ukraine's ambassador to the U.S. yesterday. We heard from her a little bit earlier in the program. Daniel Fried is with us now, former ambassador to Poland, former assistant secretary of state for Europe, to get a better sense of the needs uh, for Ukraine, but also the timeline, mm -hmm. because it looks like this isn't going to happen very quickly. And Ambassador, it's great to have you back with us. Uh, appreciate your time as you look at a potential slow roll here on Capitol Hill. How worried should Ukraine be about being left alone, abandoned by its Western allies? Being abandoned by its Western allies is not going to happen. The Europeans are standing with Ukraine. The question is whether the United States will abandon Ukraine, which would be a, an appalling defeat for American interests. Not since the years before World War II will the U.S. have failed to support security and freedom in Europe, as is apparently what some in Congress want. But yesterday's vote was a piece of good news. That's 67 senators in support of assistance to Ukraine. That's something to work with. The faster it goes through, the better off American interests will be. Well, as we think about American interests, this was something that New the Ukrainian high. ambassador to the U.S. spoke with Joe and I about last night. She essentially tried to characterize Ukrainian interests as very aligned with American interests, that basically all of this is about democracy. And just take a listen, if you will, Ambassador, to some of what she told us uh, in this conversation. Here she is. Uh, we have to also show that we can stay the course. And again, today, even though the discussions were difficult, even though it's an election year, of course, you know, there are all, in every country, internal issues that need to be addressed. But I was so happy to see that, uh, you know, it was a very strong bipartisan support and uh, not yet a final, of course, yeah. just the first step in the right direction. So referring there, Ambassador Freed, to the step the Senate took yesterday, the procedural vote uh, to move forward the supplemental package that would include aid for Ukraine. But to go, to go back to the point you were making about how Western allies are not going to turn away from Ukraine because some of those Western allies are European countries, which are very much still there to support. How much can Europe do, though, if the U.S. decides, if the House of Representatives were to decide no, we're done. Can Europe really pick up the slack of the United States? No. Europe doesn't have the weapons or the the military industry to make up the shortfall if the U.S. drops out. Europe does have the money, and European leaders have, and European parliamentarians have told me directly that they need to replenish their stocks uh, they need to replenish their stocks and are willing to pay for it. So this is a question not of European resources or political will, but physical possibilities. Combined, the U.S. and Europe together can help Ukraine fight off the Russians and maybe do much better this year than last year. But the U.S. has to get in the game. This doesn't mean U.S. soldiers on the ground. EA Sports. The U.S. play the here is to use what? our resources, the old arsenal of democracy, to help the Ukrainians fight the good fight. And they can succeed. They can succeed in holding off the Russians and taking the fight to the Russians, especially in areas of Ukraine that Russia occupies. But we have got to do our part. Hmm. Ambassador, we spoke with uh, Oksana Markarova about the, the dual needs for manpower and weaponry. And she made it clear that the ask for the U.S. here, this is about money for weapons, specifically missiles, even more specifically interceptors. If we gave them everything they wanted and needed in this case, though, where do they find the soldiers to fight the war? Ambassador Makarova really is good. And I think but you, the excerpt of the interview you played shows that. Mm -hmm. The Ukrainians are now debating whether they have to call up more of their young men to fight. That's a decision they're going to have to make. But calling up their young men to fight doesn't do any good if they don't have the weapons. The Ukrainians are beginning to make more of their own weapons, 
and they're doing so in collaboration with European countries. But they need the American weapons. We can provide them. If we do, there is a reasonable chance that the Ukrainians can hold off the Russians on the ground and take the fight to the Russians using longer range, longer range rockets and defend themselves in, in their interior using anti-aircraft systems. There is a reasonable theory of relative Ukrainian success that's available. It's not a long shot. It's a realistic shot, but we have to get off the dime and do what's needed. And by the way, this is not a case of the U.S. supporting a country that doesn't want to fight to save itself. This is a, a case right. of the United States needing to support a country that wants to save itself, that is willing to fight, is not asking us to fight for it, but is fighting yeah. in common cause with us and in the name of European security. This is a good thing. Well, a good to that thing exact to point, America. Ambassador. Uh, about Do y'all remember when everybody was like, Elon can cure world hunger with like $8 billion? Do you guys remember that? All right. I rest my case. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all 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 day. That's all I had to say. I'll let you fill in the gaps. <laughs> I'll just so you'll feel we could cure world hunger with eight billion dollars. I'm just I'll let that slide in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time, baby. It's time, baby. <laughs> oh, meta flushing. Well, well, well. Chatadonia. How you feeling, man? Today's going to be a good one. Today's actually going to be a weird one. Today's philo is definitely weird. You know, it's it's actually today is uh I'm just today's not even philo. Today is just like weird thoughts with Josh. You know, today's philo is one of the philos where like I just be like sitting there looking at the world and like certain things happen and and they get me like very, you know, and they just get me thinking. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't know what you're looking for in this philo, but it's going to be one of those like, you know, I was standing outside the other day and I saw this, you know, and it's funny, though. A lot. You know what I've noticed today, though? I love that you guys love philo, man. I love it, man. I'm, I'm excited, man. And, and above all else, bro, like I said, you know, with some stuff yesterday, bro, I just I appreciate some of y'all. For real, like when it's all said and done, the the way that we've been able to not only like vibe together, but y'all have found a way to like make the most of this stream, uh, regardless of where you're from, your background. And like I'm saying, man, the fact that, you know, we could share stuff with each other and like, you know, and it's, it's, it's and you and I'm just I'm very grateful for the people who understand that it's like I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? And I'll share it. And I'll it, 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 it's There's stuff I believe and I'll share it. But like the way that I just I'm so appreciative of the people who just understand and interpret it where they know, like, I'm not here to, to, to like change you. Do you know what I'm like? You know, maybe you will become or like the people you're around and you know, you know, you could always have influence on people. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm not here to like change you. I'm not here to like sell you anything. And it's like, I'm not here. Like I, and when I say that, it's like, yeah, I'm not trying to sell you a course, but like, I'm not trying to sell you on an ideology or a dogma or yo, yo, you got it. This is the right way above all else. This is the only way you should only do it like this. It's like, nah, man. So I'm very appreciative, you know, because when it comes down to Philo, you know, imagine if, if you see all the reactions we get when it's not Philo related, right? If I get, I, you know, I get misinterpreted in so many ways in a stock sense, right? Like, so imagine we start talking about life, and you know what I'm saying? And we start talking about God and, and, and literally living a, a good life and improving yourself. It's like, dude, 
imagine like I, I could only un, I could only imagine the the friction. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, man, I'm thankful for the Philo and I'm thankful for you guys looking out for it, man. And and that's the thing, bro. I've uh <laughs> what's up with today, bro? Like today I, I think I've gotten like five Philo requests. You guys are like coming up to the Philo booth like I'm a DJ or something. You're like, Josh, can you can you do a Philo on luck? Hey Josh, you got a Philo on buying land and patience. Can you play Patience Philo? So I don't know. Maybe we could talk about some of those topics, man, uh, a little later. Or maybe we could find a way to work it in. But it's good, man. And just like and, and I don't know. If I could give you a Philo on the on the on the Philo request. Know what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're looking for a philo, but, like, I encourage you to always just embrace the randomness of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, bro, I, I don't, I, it's crazy because I love philo, but, like, you'd be surprised how random it really is. You know, that's why I'm saying, like, when I be living life through times, bro, there is stuff I'm looking for. You know, there's stuff I be praying for. But, like, sometimes I get what I didn't pray for, but and you get something else, so I just encourage you. Keep an open mind, man, and, and sometimes maybe the thing you need is the thing you're not even requesting. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they don't. So, let's start it off. This one, this is how you know this philo is going to be weird. Because I'm about to share with you some some smart, dumb shit. Or some dumb, smart shit. I don't know how to describe it. I actually, uh, I had this thought the other day. And I don't know, and, and no, I was not high or anything. Uh, but it was stupid. But I kept thinking about it. <laughs> I can't tell you, man. And, and it, it kind of relates to what we talked about yesterday. But I just had this thought. And I couldn't shake it. Here it is. You are more likely to do something than not do something. See what I'm saying? This is some like dumb smart shit right now. Literally. You are more likely to do something than not do something. Hmm. What does it mean? See, I couldn't shake this because I started thinking about them. What do you think I mean by that? It's very simple, yeah. But what, what does that mean to you? Because I had a, it had a weird meaning to me. No one told me this. I just had this thought. It came out of no. I was just sitting there, and I was like, man, it's more. you're more likely to do something than not do something. Stop being lazy. Depends on what you do. <laughs> that's some cat. Well, that's a love seat. <laughs> uh, discipline life. Reaction before thinking it over. Sounds like Scientology. The mind prefers action. So here's the deal. A lot of interesting answers. What I got out of it is that you need to create. And all of you need to realize life is on your side to do something than not do something. I hope you get it. You know why? Because it's easier to crash a car than to stop a car crash. That's where it gets even deeper. You can relate this to problems. Do you not get it? It's way easier to cause a problem than it is to stop it. You tell me. Let me give you another one. It's easier to spend money than to save it. Oh. The car crash one gets me. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, if you really, really put it in perspective, it is easier to crash a car than to stop a car crash. 
How can you apply that to your life? Again, why does it sound the same with money? Why is it so hard to hold the long term? You know what I'm saying? For real. I know you got bills. I know you have to. We all do. Everybody's different. Different levels. We have different desires. You know that some of us, man, we got weird habits. You know that? I think my habits are weird. How I spend money on food. The food that I like. What I see from some of y'all. Some of y'all, like, y'all got drug habits. <laughs> let's, let's be real. Some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all buying OnlyFans. Some of y'all buying board games, Pokemon cards. Who knows? And we got weird stuff that we spend our money on, no matter what it is. Why is it hard to hold the long term? It's because it's easier to spend money. The point is, it's not. It's not that it's it's hard to hold the long term. That's the that's the paradox of all this. It's just easier to spend the money. Oh, I don't know if y'all hear me, Chad. I'm just here to tell you, man. This thing that we talk about every day, every year. The long term, the long term, the long term. And some of y'all, y'all picked up on this quick. Great. And you'll be like, fuck yeah, Josh. Some of you say that it's impossible. Some of you are in the middle. Some of you have recognized the difficulty. I'm here to tell you right now, the long term and saving your money and keeping it there, it is not hard. And I'm not saying this so that you feel guilty, inferior, so that you think, oh, well, damn it, if it's not hard, why can't I do it? No, 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 no. Please listen. All I'm saying is that it is an easy task in theory. However, it is much, much, much more easier to spend the money instead. That's all. You might be able to avoid a car crash, but it's easier to just press the gas and run into a wall. Press the gas, let your hands off the wheel and see where it goes. It's easy to spend money. So no, it's not hard. And I don't know, I hope this... I hope this turns you into a smart, dumb guy, a dumb, smart guy where you just think about this. The next time you start thinking about your long term, I really hope that you could throw this out of the picture, that it's a difficult task. Because it's not. But the yin to the yang, the opposite side is a lot easier to accomplish. That's all. If I told you how much money can you spend? If I made it a competition, some of y'all is like supermarket sweep. I'm I'm old if I'm dropping that as an analogy. But do you get what I'm saying? You, it's easy. So keeping the money, locking up your money and looking away is easy. But it's way easier to use these pieces of papers and digits to to do a lot of different things. To fulfill a desire. Bostick. Inflation has been way too high for too long. Still ways to go to return to Target. Bostick. U.S. on pathway to get back to pre-pandemic economic strength. Want to avoid a new spike of inflation. Bostick. Business says biggest challenges are finding employees and affordable housing. Data suggests real wage gains will continue for several more months. Need to be resolute. Stay the course to get to Target. Fed futures are moving with spy. That's Bostic, bullish Bostic. Honestly, that one comment on on wages sounded pretty bearish. But hey, we'll see. Don't you have Logan in a little bit? But we always pump on Bostic. Everybody loves Bostic. Mm -hmm. So, Chad, just don't forget, man. It's easier to crash the car than to stop it from being crashed and stopping a crash. You could apply this in many ways. I wanted to end it with the long term, but now I got one more little thing for you. That wasn't my only weird philo. Are you ready for this one? This was me just being observant. And this one was really motivating. I really hope this can motivate you. 
Do any of you have a dog? How many dog owners we have in here? I I'm, I'm real. I do a very accurate dog bark. I know. Do you have a dog? Awesome. I'm what? I'm good at it. What do you want me to do, man? It's very good. It's very accurate. Your dog bites you, so you bite him back. Dope. All right. What happens when you eat food around your dog? What does your dog do when you eat food? So let's say you get food, you sit down. What does your dog do? They beg or they stare at it. They bark, sit, stare. He watches me, plots against you, sits and waits for you to feed, stares at me, inhales it, poop. He asks me for food, sits next to me and waits, waits for something to fall. They want the eyes, they beg. Sometimes he licks me, drools profusively. <laughs> becomes the best behaved dog. You lock him out of your room, he becomes a crackhead. Sits near you, he used to stare. Attempts to steal it when I'm looking away. Oh, there you go. Well, that's what I noticed yesterday. I'm sitting there. My girl brought her dog over. And this guy, this little dog, bro, I'm eating. He just comes up next to me. Jumps on the couch, like curls in a little ball and sits. He doesn't cry. He doesn't like make any noises. And then he just little by little just tries to get closer and closer to me. And I was like, man, do all dogs do this? And then you know what I started thinking, Chad? We all need to be more like a dog. You're like, what the fuck did you just say? Yes. I need you to learn from the dog, Chad. That's what I was thinking about. You know why? Because he's always around the food. Even if he ain't begging, even if he don't, he wants it. Even if he knows he's not going to get any, he's around. He's next to it. It don't matter how many times you say no. It don't matter if the dog just ate or not. Exactly. Proximity is critical. It really is. It's always around the food. Let me say that again. Always around the food. Doesn't matter if he just ate. Doesn't matter if he's full or not. Just woke up. Don't matter if it's you, anybody. The dog is always around the food. You know, it's funny because the dog threw up the other day and then it went back to eat it. And I was telling my girlfriend, I was like, that's very biblical. And I thought about that too because I was like, damn. Like, they didn't really have dogs like that back then. Like, the way, like, you know, pet ownership has proliferated. But they knew, like, they were talking about dogs returning to vomit in the Bible. Back then. The behavior of dogs, bro, and how how we act as humans and how it relates sometimes is mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. But I gotta ask you, bro. Are you getting close to the food or not? You tell me. Oh, I want to I want to make money. I want to save more. I want to make more. Okay, what opportunity are you getting next to? Like actually. Are you move are you getting near where the food and the action is happening? It's one thing to do it on the market. What happens when the market closes? Or even on the market like, "Oh, I'm not going I don't want to do this." Oh, this. Again, Epictetus will tell you. The man who thinks he already knows everything cannot learn more. I've never given that dog food. You don't think he's figured out I'm not going to feed him? You don't care? 
He's still going to get close to it. What are you going to do after the market closes? How are you positioning yourself in life? And that's just the thing, man. I want you to all to really think about opportunity and how close you are getting to these things that you want. And I'm not by saying, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm this close to my goal. No, no, no. Are you putting yourself in proximity to get hit by a blessing? Oh, y'all don't feel me, man. I'm saying some of y'all just got to be in the room. You just got to get close to it. Like, you know what I'm like, some of y'all, bro, put a shirt on and go outside today. You know what I'm saying? That one person where, you know, they call you up and like, and they're not trying to get you in to do anything bad. I hope, you know, I'm not telling you to go get into bad situations. But you know that person calling you and you're like, oh, should I do this? And you're like, no, I'm busy. Even though you're not busy. Why are you avoiding getting in the room? Why does a dog know this better than you do? Again, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I really want y'all to really think about this because it's like, yo, look at the world. Look at the opportunity. Something as simple as getting near something, even if you don't say a word, is going to open up way more doors than anything else. Some of y'all need to start getting wired to get near the food. See, that's the other problem. Isn't that crazy? Y'all need to know what it smell like. <laughs> I told you this was a weird philo. But think about it. How does the dog know the food? It smell. Y'all need to start. Y'all, can y'all use your senses? Use your senses to find out where you should be going for these opportunities to get near to. You got to be smelling and sniffing these things out. Start sniffing more. Exactly, baby. Incoming cocaine joke. I'll wait for it. But you get the idea. Use your senses. Start sniffing out these opportunities. I know people don't want you to be a dog sometimes. It's, a, it's not, a, it's not a, good, a good compliment. But some of y'all need to be like the dog. The dog is always around the food. Why aren't you? So, Chad, I hope you want to eat. And if you do want to eat, I hope you're around the food. I hope you use your, your senses and start sniffing out more opportunity. Oh, Chadadonia. But I hope that one helps. Take that one to the bank. And that is your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. You're on mobile. Press hot chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link, Nightly Watch is the main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate costs. The food. I'm not the food. I'm a dog. I'm trying to find the food. That's it. Some of y'all are realized. You'd be like, this motherfucker come back with a bone or he comes back without an ear. I'm. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. And guess what? There's food everywhere. You need to get into the instinct of being around it. That's why I'm saying, though, man, some of it outside. I bet you there is, a, there is a meal right next to you. There's a greater opportunity right next, closer to you than further from you. But you, you, something is just not, you're not getting close to it. You either can't smell it. Or you smell it and you've already assumed the outcome. Or at that point, why aren't you getting next to it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Chad, I hope it helps, my friend. I hope it helps. Let's see. Oh, the press briefing ain't on. Oh, baby. Yeah. It's a letter to the people I'm 
pinning it like a ball It don't matter about the evil, it matter about the God It don't matter about the weapons, it matter about how you armed All that matters is the weather, when weather to bet the farm <laughs> I ain't gotta see it to believe it If it's signing then it's needed, then my eyes don't need a reason I won't even try to explain it, let's just say I got a feeling I'm gonna sing my praise like David, but the king is still a killer Listen up and go and get the tropes Hope you know you ain't scared of them, they scared of you And I know you might be scared to take that point of view You see them arrows in my back, yup son, that's gon' happen too But the harvest on the way, you gon' barter every day That means you have to make a trade, either life or risk the grave The result will not remain, every day will bring a change Kinda funny and it's strange, how the hope will pave the way Hearing what I say, the only difference between you and them comes down to faith. There's a difference in the man who believes in a better day. Cause once you believe it's past, you're willing to wilt away. We was never willing to be the same. We want it all in the long run, they want it all today. My father is really awesome, don't bother with giving snakes. Regardless, I can't control it, so either way, giving thanks. Yep, you could take that one to the bank. A leader without a rank, a speaker without a face, a people without a race. They eat him without a taste, they scheme him without a safe. The meanings have been replaced. Another time, another place, we could talk about it. Keep some oil in them lamps, don't get caught without it. Want them once, want them twice, then never talk about it. If you never get a second chance, then that ain't meant to happen. What I understand is you ain't trying to understand. Take a hundred, hundred grand, then a hundred undergrads. Pay them all to make a plan, but they couldn't comprehend what it means to never die, but somehow still be born again. It's a letter to the people, I'm penning it like I'm Paul. It don't matter about the evil, it matter about the God. It don't matter about the weapons, it matter about how you armed. All that matters is the weather, when weather to bet the farm. I want to listen to regular. That's a good one. Mm -mm. You come here to eat and you've been eating? Good, bro. Always. Always. That's it, man. I want y'all motivated. And again, it's bigger than everything. It's bigger Limit than the stream. It's everywhere. Safety it's every day, bro. And it's final every day. That's it, man. You know, a couple years go by, too. I want I want y'all refreshed. Y'all ever heard of a renewal of the spirit? Oh, I don't know if they feel me. We don't got any earnings today. Unless we doing uh, the Monday ones, but I don't like Monday ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, baby. Let's go. F5 on the spirit. It'll mount up like wings of eagles. Mm, harvest is plenty, but the workers is few. Yeah, next week I think is going to be the last week probably of plays. So we're going to see, man. We're going to see. If your puts are out of the money, there you could just let them expire. Uh, but then if there's a little bit of value, I mean, you could always try to sell them and squeeze that out now. Always an opportunity. So the Abbey Vise, those are going to lose. So we're going to lose 40 bucks on those. AMD, $39. Those are expiring. And then $58 on Amazons. And then what else expires? Oh, Cardinal. Fuck. I'm an idiot. We should have took that yesterday. Damn. That was a that was a flub. That was avoidable. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I take? I thought that I had time. We should have took that yesterday. Yeah, so that one's going to expire today, but fuck, we should have taken it. It had money. And then the meta post earnings ones, those are failing. CLX. But Cardinal, we had. Yeah, CLX, that's going to be what? $60? Cisco. Oh, those are the ones I just bought. What else is on the 9th? Google. But we got money on the Googles. Remember, we sold that out. You took it, yeah. You should have told me, man. It was I didn't. No, that's my fault. But yeah, I remember you said it yesterday. But I didn't realize it only had one day. That was a e. That was, you should have taken it yesterday. Literally down to the video of yesterday is like, dude. If that if I had one day, oh, we should. I didn't sell anything. I'm we're going over uh, the earnings plays that expired today. So these are just the failed earnings plays. But I should have sold. I had Cardinal Health. How much did we spend on those? I think I spent both ways was $60, 70 
And then I had like 50 or $70 on it yesterday. So I could have just got my money back and then I didn't sell it. And then it expires today I because I thought there was more time, but I'm just a little stoop stoop. And meta, then match is going. My match was $30 for both ways. NVO, the puts, we have the NVO calls, but those won't even go up even though it's ripping. And then Pfizer plays, those are gone. PHM, those are gone. That's 70, 70, and then 20. And then a lot of fucking plays. And then UPS. But UPS, we hit that call. But the other ones for earnings won't hit. Not bad. You didn't get the Bob Baba one? Uh, do you have to activate short codes or did you switch phones? I think someone sent me that too. Like, I don't know. Like, people are having trouble if they switch their phone carriers. Might have to re add you or you have to tell your go. You take the number. You know, try to even just text the number that you got the text from and text it and, or tell your carrier to allow that number to send. Sold 130 on XP, sold 112 on cloud. Thanks to you. You listen when you do the earnings. So thank you again. God bless you, baby. Sell Google 150. What'd you pay for it? You're close. I mean, again, you're going to pretty much have till Tuesday unless today flips. So remember, by Tuesday, you're going to have the CPI. But you could always ghetto spread it. It all depends on the expiration. When does it expire? Arm? I have no... I said 105 purchase below today, but that only lasted for a little bit, and then it just went nuts. 216, and you bought it for 38? So what you can do... That one's tough, because if it goes down, that could quickly go down like some of the other plays. You could ghetto spread it. Unfortunately, you can only do this one if you want more than what you paid. So if you short the 152, you'll get back 100% from your investment, and then it'll leave you with $250 to the upside. Or you could sell the 155, get a little bit less than what you paid, and then move and then let it go. But Or just sell it. It's, it's hard to say because that's a play where you'll – but then again, like yesterday's video, how high is it going to go? So I think you could go to 150. But if it goes to 150, maybe at this point, what? You're looking at like 150 to like 151. It's probably going to make you an extra $100. So honestly, it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard because now it's like you're risking 130 to make $100 potentially, if that's the range. If you think it'll go higher, then screw everything I'm saying. But that's how I'm kind of looking at it. So I would either ghetto spread it or I would just sell out and then maybe roll it over, wait till it comes down and you could pick another one. But that's hard. It's tough there. You TP on half? What do you mean TP? TP. Run and got a pop. TP. Going on your tape of CD. Press briefing. You want the press briefing? The net sucked. Yeah, the net play dropped 50%. Those are at 30 now. I knew it was scammy. I, just, I was feeling a little more juice. That Amazon went up 70%, though. That's all. We'll take one for the day. Amazon and Airbnb did good. Yeah, okay, where's Eric? I'm gonna hold the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mad because I, dude, it's after earnings. Our earnings plays should have hit. Remember, we hit the earnings. Amazon killed it. And we were right there, but then it just stayed pinned, and then they burned the premium. 
I really like those Amazons. I'm telling you, if Amazon did good and could hold up, I thought they were going to go to market highs or new highs. And then literally that shit just stops moving. And then right as those contracts expire, it starts to hit a new high. So I, I said, fuck it. I'm going to throw a $20 play for next week. CPI as well. But if they hold up, I mean, it should be good, but it's up for now. Eric, Eric's the ticker. Yeah. Eric is a ticker. Literally spelt like your name. E R I C. Can an employer fire you for taking paternity leave? I mean, if you're a dude, maybe, but I don't know. I think it all depends. I feel like in California, the answer is no, though. This is a historic day. We got through COVID. The Fed bailed out the economy. Too many people had YOLO money. Lives were changed. Lives were lost. Inflation this, recession that. Through the storm and sunshine. Thanks for all you do. You're welcome. Where did that come from? Why, 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 why is today, though? I mean, I'll take it. My heart. Hey, man, I'll take it. Hey, man. Hey, man, man. Shout out to real ones. And like I said, man. Just I love I got a good appreciation for the Chads who are, you know, they found a way to know the love without thinking we trying to change anything. I want you to grow into you. Today is the day after Chad's birthday. Yesterday was our first time streaming on this channel four years ago. Crypto has been going crazy all day. I don't know. I think that's the only thing. All right. I'll give you a little bit. Let me finish the rest of this lemonade. I'm getting used to these lemonades. The first time I was like shaking. I'm not shaking yet, so that's a good sign. Okay, I'll be right back. Chad's only four. I know. I thought it was older, but this channel... Our first stream was yesterday, four years ago. I swear it was longer, but... Um, I was keeping... Uh, when and whom um, was the president briefed about on the contents of the report? The president was briefed by his lawyers. Um, and second, um, the president... Um, and as you m mentioned again, you thought some the, some of the characterizations were gratuitous. Does the president um, still have confidence in Merrick Carlin after selecting her uh, to be put in this position? Uh, if the president spoke to this last night, I think, I can't remember which of you asked uh, him what his thoughts were on the appointment of the special counsel, and he answered that, I think, thoughtfully and powerfully, and I don't really have anything to add beyond what the president said. Just finally, does the president support the release of the entire transcript of his interview uh, to put to rest uh, some of these things that you think are being overlooked? It's a reasonable question. I think that uh, it's important to know that we're dealing with classified materials in this conversation. There are classification issues there. I don't have any announcement on, you know, so releasing anything that. today, but it's a, it's a reasonable question, and there are classified stuff, and we'll have to work through all that. So, but once you can work through, like, say, a redacted version, would the president uh, support uh, the release as long as you can obviously keep what needs to be kept secret secret? Well, we'll take a look at that and, and make a determination. Thanks, Ian. Um, two questions first. Uh, you said in the topper that the president takes classified information seriously, and the president said last night that he never discussed classified material with anyone, but the special counsel's report said that on three different occasions he did discuss it with this ghostwriter. I, I understand it didn't meet the bar for prosecution, but how do you reconcile the president's statement with what's in the report? Sure. Well, if you read the full report, it actually gets into each of those three instances. I think Justin rightly points out that we're talking about three instances out of 250 pages of evidence that they're talking about. Uh, criticizing, um, I think it's important to look at those three examples. Two of them are his own notes to himself in his personal diary that he was reading about to his ghostwriter for his memoir, for a memoir about uh, his life after his son Bo died. And he was reading these passages that he had written to himself to share information with him, and he took pains, and the report lays this out, to express how sensitive some of the information was and that we should be careful with it. 
And of those two passages from his diaries that he talked about with his ghostwriter, weren't in the book. There's no classified information in the book. And so, and so I want to just make that point. And the second is there's a kind of an allegation of, uh, you know, willfully taking a, a classified document that he talked about uh, with his ghostwriter. That's false. As the president talked about last night, he was, again, talking about a handwritten letter that he had sent to President Obama and faxed to him about the Afghanistan troop surge. Like, these, are, these are the president's own personal writings, you know, the president's own diary notes to himself. And I think there's an important thing to think about here. There's plenty of histor historical analogs, uh, the most notable of which is Ronald Reagan, President Reagan, whose diaries very famously uh, became a subject of a lot of attention in the country. Uh, and the Justice Department knew that President Reagan's diaries had classified information in them. Knew it at the time. He took those diaries home. He read those diaries to people. He shared the actual physical copy of the, of the, of the diaries, which uh, the special counsel report talks about. Joe Biden never even gave custody of his notebooks to anybody. And, uh, and, and they never even asked for those diaries back, and they never launched an investigation. And why is that? It's because historically, going back to the beginning of the country, presidents keep diaries. They, we, we should want our presidents to be thoughtful and deliberative about the decisions that they make on the most consequential issues of our time. And we have, we have entrusted presidents to be safe Ed keepers Logan of this information. Says, doesn't see any and urgency to, and to adjust we have rates. expressed you know, great gratitude, uh, including many of you in the press, when, when presidents share through books and other things insights into their thinking and decision making and historical context. And so I think it's lost in the shuffle of all of this that the president did what all of his predecessors had done, which was take notes for himself, keep a diary of his own daily life, so that he could think back on these big moments of, of the time. And so, you know, those are that's important to know about this allegation that there was that there was sharing of classified. Right. Is your contention that just because the president rewrote classified material in his own words and then shared it with somebody who didn't have the security clearance for it? that it was okay? Well, let's look at the report. I mean, we talk a little lot about the report. I understand it's long, 400 pages. I, you know, I'm not sure how many people in this room have read the entire thing. Page three, which I think is what everybody's asking Ted about, Logan, understandably need to build says, confidence quote, on inflation. Mr. Biden shared We've information, including some classified on inflation, information with his ghostwriter, right? But if you go to page 248, the report says, quote, we conclude that the evidence does not establish that Mr. Biden willfully disclosed national defense information to his writing assistant. That's in the report. That's the conclusion that was made based on the evidence. And, and I, there's something else I want to add about this because it's gone, we've gone back and forth. On page one of the report, it says the president willfully retained classified marked documents relating to Afghanistan. But on page 215 of the report, it says, quote, there's in fact a shortage of evidence on these points. On page five of the report, everybody read that, first few pages, says, quote, Mr. Biden's memory was significantly limited. But here's something that everybody should make sure that they see. Elsewhere in the report, he says, quote, we expect the evidence of Mr. Biden's state of mind to be compelling, pointing to him providing, quote, clear and forceful testimony. That's his comments on his state of mind later in the report. And so I think it's important to kind of take the report in its totality and understand that in that report, the facts and evidence refute the theories that are floated that they explored. I think maybe we disagree on if he should have used the word will play last time, but there's one other thing I wanted to ask you about, which is that his attorneys said that they were going to work on a process to make sure that none of this happens again. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's the potential that this administration has less than a year left, so I'm wondering if you could detail uh, <laughs> uh, what the timeline is on that, <laughs> what you guys are considering for, uh, for that type of process. Yeah, it's a great question. I think that something that this uh, issue a year ago brought to light is uh, that this is a, unfortunately, very common occurrence uh, in our country. The National Archives has talked about how 80 different libraries and collections just in the last um, decade or so have called and said, oh, we found classified documents in these papers. And they have a process that you're supposed to turn those back in. But then, you know, we had the issue with President Biden. Immediately after that, we had the issue with Vice President Pence. And I think it's important to understand that this is a common occurrence. And the president thinks that we should fix it. Like, he gave all these documents back. He knew he did not 
that these governments should be in possession, that the government should be in possession of these documents. And so what we're going to do is the President's going to appoint a task force to review how transitions look at classified material to ensure that there are better processes in place so that when, you know, staffs around the building are rushedly packing up boxes to try to get out during a transition as quickly as possible, at the same time and up until the very moment that, you know, they're still governing and doing matters of state, you know, they're going to try to make recommendations that that can be fixed, and he's going to appoint a senior government leader to do that. We'll have more on that soon. 2017 that he had classified material downstairs. He posted about it. In your advocacy here and in the President's counsel writing back to uh, Mr. Herr, you're saying that there were gratuitous comments, that there are false pieces of information. How is the American public supposed to process this when we also live in a world where former President Trump asserts that there was a politicized process that resulted in his prosecution related to classified documents and other things? So for the public, if Democrats and this administration say, trust the Department of Justice, trust the institutions, but you're also arguing here gratuitous political cheap shots and false assertions. How are they to process? Well, I talked about this actually a minute ago, and I think yes, you know, how do I process when this? you have the former attorney general, when you have the former acting FBI director, when you have the former general counsel of the FBI, you know, these are experienced people at the Justice Department who spent decades working at the Justice Department. And they're saying it's gratuitous. They're saying that this is inappropriate, that this is inconsistent know, with DOJ policy and practice. And that That's them saying it. We agree. You know, you heard the president speak forcefully about this <laughs> last night. He, you heard the vice president speak forcefully about job. this today. We certainly agree that it's gratuitous. But I explained this a little bit in the opening. You know, we're in a very pressurized political environment. And when you are the first special counsel in history not to indict anybody, there is pressure to criticize and to make you know, statements that maybe in otherwise you wouldn't make. And, you know, I, I think that it leaves you wondering why some of these critiques are in there. But I think it's also important to just fundamentally distinguish between the, the prior case that you mentioned. I want to be careful in terms of commenting on that. But the special counsel report goes into great detail about the differences and distinctions there. And I think it's important to understand that the criticisms that you're hearing of the gratuitous comments in the report, which are wrong, frankly, um, you know, this is being shared by people who have deep experience at the Justice Department. On the many issues related to memory that certainly seem to prompt an angry response from the President and from his advocates, is there anything being done to address that issue uh, in an ongoing way? Obviously, counsel wrote asking for some of those things voice? to be removed. It is potential that like Robert Hurt like be called before Congress to testify in public. Are there any steps there any that the administration would like take voice. addressing that specific issue? Is it in relation to overall medical uh, physician's report of the president or other things to demonstrate what is the issue yeah, with memory shot. and is it a factor <laughs> that deals with his capacity uh, to First serve? Say, yeah. well, I have a lot of issues with the <laughs> contents of that question, and Green's answered a lot about the president's transparency in his medical records and his uh, physical and things of that nature. Uh, and I, you know, leave that to, to, to Kareen to handle. But I'll say, Kareen. I just read you this. Page 248, or sorry, excuse me. Uh, later in the report, he says, quote, we expect the evidence of Mr. Biden's state of mind to be compelling, pointing to him providing, quote, clear and, quote, forceful testimony. I can't explain why the report veers all over the place on this issue. I can just say, and as you've heard from the vice president, you heard from members of Congress yesterday talking about their recent interactions with the president. One, Congressman Goldman from New York, talking about his interaction with the president the day before this interview when Congressman Goldman was on the ground in Israel and the long and intensive and detailed conversation they had about what was going on on the ground. We just reject that this is true. And, and I think that, I think that it, it does raise questions about the gratuitousness and it raises, you know, makes you wonder why that's in there. Thank you, Kareen, and thank you, Ian. So you are discrediting some of the findings in this report. You are discrediting some of the observations of President Biden. So why should the American public accept the conclusion that charges weren't warranted? I'm not sure I understand exactly what you're asking. I'm saying you're <laughs> claiming that much of the report is inaccurate. So why are you so confident that the conclusion is correct? It's the conclusion has like been obvious from the very beginning. It was a long, intensive, sort of meandering investigation that came to the conclusion that in February of last year, everybody knew 
that this wasn't intentional, that this was an accident, that they were found. And as soon as they were found, the president said, give them back, get them back as soon as we can and fully cooperate with everything. So he reached the inevitable conclusion because it's the truth. The conduct of the investigation throughout and the gratuitous comments in the report are troubling and they're inappropriate. But I think that the, the finding was the obvious one because it's the truth. President Biden blamed his staff largely for the mishandling of documents and where they ultimately ended up. Does the president believe he did everything right when it comes to handling classified material? Well, just look at the, again, look at the report. I know it's long, but the report talks about how the evidence is that these were most likely things that were packed up by staff during movements and transitions and things of that nature. So that's reflected by the report. It's not some accusation by the president. It's just true. I mean, you guys know, you guys work with White House staff all the time. We support the principal. That's our job. And principal relies on their staff to help them with things. And the president said this last night. You know, he talked about how, you know, looking back, if he had been more, he, he wishes you more engaged in that process of the packing and the moving things to make sure that things were being done the right way. And I think the most important thing to remember is once it was realized that something wrong had happened, he did everything right to get it back and to fix the problem. What about all the stuff that he talked about that was in his home, in filing cabinets that were either locked or able to be locked in his house? What stuff was he talking about? Classified materials? Well, we talked about, I mean, the report goes on at length about this. I'd encourage you to, to read it. It no, talks I'm about- about what he said last <coughs> night. He said the stuff in my house was all in filing cabinets that were either locked or able to be locked. Didn't he put them in his home? I'm, I'm not really following the question. I think that what's clear is that, and I told this to Justin a minute ago, you know, he has personal diaries that he had. Of course he has his personal diaries. The documents that were taken were jumbled up in does. boxes <laughs> and found inadvertently in places. And, and that's, that's what happened. Diary. So, I don't have a diary. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, how concerned is the president and, and the team you here to write that diary the, quote, you? gratuitous comments are going to damage, have a diary? Him, damage public perception of him? I think the public is smart, and I think that they can see uh, what's going on. I think that they see a president who fully cooperated. I think they see a president who did the right thing and made sure everything got back. Uh, and I think that they see that this was a long investigation that ended without a case to be made. And, you know, I think that they can see and understand, uh, you know, when people are gratuitous and, and make comments that they shouldn't make and that are beyond the, the, the remit of a prosecutor to do. Um, I think that they understand that, and I think that they, I think that they'll, they'll understand that the president did the right thing here. If the seventh and eighth were obviously, or eighth and ninth were obviously like very busy days where the president was overstretched, taking calls in the middle of the night, all of this, why continue with the interview with her? Why not do it on another day? Uh, why give him the opportunity to have these lines in the report about lapses, about timelines? That he should have thrown up roadblocks. Is that what you're saying? I mean, I, no, he, he, he committed to it. And as and like, hey, the world is on fire. Could we do it another I'll, day? I'll tell you what's interesting about this, and this is um, oddly not in the report, is at the beginning of uh, his interview, the special counsel told the president, I understand that you know, you're dealing with a lot of things right now, and I'm going to be asking you questions about stuff from a long time ago. I want you to try to recall to the best of your abilities you know, things of that nature. That's often what prosecutors would tell witnesses. Uh, so, you know, he yeah, understood you know, that. I know, is but I had the president the was going to be in in cooperative. He talked about this last night. He wanted to he make sure he had everything he needed. The Egyptian and he didn't want to is good. <laughs> Fucking it's loved true. it. Um, he got just thing in Egypt question, called Queso. Has the president Queso. read the entire report? Yeah, it's like and cheese, when but it's white. He given it's a white cheese. The, the report. Got Queso. Did, did he review it with his Arabic? Did the president review it? Do you have any just context on when he himself found the, the I love that shit. Uh, we received the report hey, yesterday still uh, in the from Middle East the Justice and got Department and bomb finally, ass like, present, you know, sending it over. Um, obviously, the president's lawyers were, were doing the privilege review that we disclosed to everybody was happening and disclosed when we had concluded it. Um, and so I think, uh, you know, uh, they were, you know, they, they had briefed him on, uh, on yeah, the sure, on material I mean. as the client, you know. Yeah, I went to Mexico. I had a, a they, they, they make hummus. Uh, and then we received the full report you ever yesterday. had Mexican hummus? You know, the president's been pretty busy. Oh, I'm that's sure what they're known for. He's read 400 pages. I'm not Beautiful. sure how many was great. You know, folks in this room Our have read 400 beans. pages of it, but he certainly is familiar yeah, makes with the sense. contents of the report. Just one quick follow-up. The president was animated last night, uh, rejecting the idea that he did not remember when his son died. Can you provide a little bit more context about 
Was he directly asked in the interview by the special counsel for the dates? Was it part of a broader conversation? I just think some additional context to understand what is in that report um, might be helpful. Yeah, I think, I mean, the president was pretty clear last night, and I think that the American people have heard from him for years about the pain and the suffering that they went through when Bo passed away um, and the gravity of that. And I think to suggest that he couldn't remember when his son died is really out of bounds. Um, you know, the conversations in the, in the interview back and forth, you know, it's being asked about, you know, file folders from a basement and how did they get there and what is that and what were you doing around that time and things of that nature. I don't want to, but just to be very careful, I don't want to get into specific, you know, things while it's still in a classification process. But, you know, it is safe to say that, of course, the president knows when his son died. So do you have any sense of why the special counsel would write explicitly in the report that the president did not, was unable to recall when his son died? Uh, you'd have to ask the special counsel why he chose to include that. Thanks, Corrine. Thanks, Ian. So you said that you told the special counsel that the criticisms of President Biden were inaccurate, gratuitous, and wrong. So how did the special counsel respond when you told them that? I put out his report. So they I, I, I'm unaware of any uh, uh, changes that were made in response to our very strong, forceful, and rooted in evidence arguments that we provided. And you had just mentioned how these interviews happened <clears throat> shortly after the October 7th attacks. The president mentioned it last night. In <clears throat> mentioning that, does that mean that possible memory lapses happened because he was so distracted by what was happening overseas? Or do you dispute that he had any memory issues during those hours of interviews. I, I dispute that the characterizations about his memory that were in the report are accurate because they're not. Um, and I think the president spoke very clearly about how he, his mind was on other things. I mean, he, he was dealing with a huge international crisis of great global consequence. And, you know, he was trying his best to, to answer questions in this interview because he wanted to be fully cooperative. So there were no memory lapses during I think you know, I think there's something important that people should remember about the so way didn't that forget anything. interviews like this happen. <laughs> so we want to I, God forbid, you know, one of you guys ever have to get interviewed by a prosecutor. Logan and, says supply you know, chains are pretty much normalized. Uh, China's slowing uh, growth know, is witnesses a Witnesses are told, as I mentioned by special counsel, to do the best they can to recall or remember things. And they're, they're not supposed to speculate. You know, they want facts. They want facts and evidence. And so, you know, I think probably in almost every... Uh, prosecutorial interview, you can imagine that people have uh, said that they don't recall things because that's what they're instructed to do. So I think that's just important context to keep in mind. And just lastly, in September, the president was asked about Trump's classified documents being found in Mar-a-Lago, and he said, quote, how could that possibly happen? How could anyone be that irresponsible? But there were classified documents found in the president's garage in a damaged cardboard box. So would that be considered irresponsible? Uh, look, I think the president made clear that he gave everything back as soon as he found out that he had it. And so you know, I think that it's fundamentally incorrect to try to analogize the situation or to, tr and, the, and frankly, the report says that too. And the idea that, um, that he did anything except be totally cooperative and to take great strides to ensure that the classified documents were returned speaks for itself. Thank you. Um, Ian, the vice president referred today to the report as being politically motivated. Is that the position of the White House that this report was politically motivated? Well, I, I saw the vice president's remarks. I thought they were very powerful. And I talked about this a little bit at the top of That's our fine. conversation here today. You know, there's an environment that we are in that generates uh, a ton of pressure because you have congressional Republicans, other Republicans attacking prosecutors that they don't like. And it creates, you know, a, a need. If you're going to determine that charges weren't filed, people are human and they're thinking through, you know, what do we need to do? And, um, uh, you know, it leaves one to wonder exactly why he included a lot of the criticisms that were in there. Also, on, with regard to the staff, <coughs> President Biden has had some staff members who've worked for him for decades. Uh, he referenced their mistake last night as he had a visit with any of these staff members? Do the staff members who are responsible for taking those documents to his house, do they still work for the president? Have there been any consequences? Well, I think I talked about this also before. I mean, this is an issue that has plagued administrations of both parties for 50 years, where they accidentally I want to hear about things Putin get shuffled interview. up and taken and removed. And the archives has, you know, literally they put a frequently asked questions page on their website about what you do if you find the maximum. I don't think anybody forecasts that we hit 6,000. You have you know, to wait till all these analysts back. Upgrade. 
as soon as he found out about it. I think 5,200 is like the highest. Maybe I'm not going to get into sort of individual witness or parsing like that from the report. Now for President Obama, President Clinton, President Bush Sr. or President Bush Jr. I don't know if three people makes it a common. That, that's actually not true. Officials from all administrations from the past, you know, half century or so have had this accidentally happen. But you're, you're parsing two things. You asked me about the fact the, that only in the, the first report 20 states minutes, clearly it's like likely resulted in inadvertent Putin acting talking by staff. About the and, 600s, uh, you asked exactly about like the staff issue, and so I'm responding 600. about the staff issue. Okay. And you can't say whether the staff still work for President Biden? Well, I'm saying that, that the, the, the question you're asking about uh, the frequency and normalcy, unfortunately, of mistakes like these being made, they happen. And what, what matters is how you respond to it. And when you find out that there was a mistake that was made, you give everything back, and that's exactly what was done. Right, I'm trying to get as much people as possible. Thanks, Ian. Um, what, does it, what does it say about Mayor Carlin's judgment that he appointed someone who ultimately put out a report that was so egregious, so inappropriate, and flouted department regulations and norms? I think the president actually answered this question last night. I'm not sure which of you asked him it, but he talked about you know his views on the appointment of the special prosecutor, and I really don't have anything beyond what he said. Two things I was hoping you could uh, quickly clarify. The report says that in 2017, the president told his ghostwriter that he just found all the classified stuff downstairs. Why did he not report that at the time? Well, and this is included in the report as well, if you read through it. Um, the president was talking about a and handwritten letter that he had uh, sent to President Obama that he faxed to him about the Afghanistan uh, policy in 2009. And, um, you know, he says, in, you know, and this is in the report that he just, and he said last night, you know, I should, have talk, I should have said sensitive. I should have said, you know, really careful, you know, more careful language about that because he was talking about something that was a personal, like a letter he sent to the president. So in his mind, it was sensitive, but what he said was classified. Yeah, this is in the report. They talk a lot about how, um, you know, the president actually took great care when talking with his book writer to note things like, hey, I, you need to be really careful with some of this stuff. I'm not entirely sure about it. And so I think that I think that that's important to realize that the report itself actually talks about what care he took with this sort of information as they explore all the theories and go through all the evidence that sort of refutes most of those theories, almost all of actually all of those theories when you think about the judgment that there will be no case in this in this matter. So, you know, that's that's addressed in the report. Second thing, um, the president also said last night, all the stuff that was in my home was in filing cabinets that were either locked or able to be locked. But the report uh, says that some of the classified documents With, were uh, in don't cabinet real drawers, uh, don't uh, while others about Afghanistan this guy just go live? were in unsealed and uh, badly uh, damaged. What else? What else we got? Box we got everything. sitting in his garage. Uh, but we're so did here the president misspeak last at night? the Look, house the in I know what? a lot of you guys have been following along. Look at this guy. He went live. These things cost. I think that's probably the most important factor. The second well, part I want to teach you guys, not today, but in the future, is how to find these deals. But let's take a look at this. I'll like give you the all video. the numbers, all the give breakdowns. The What's funny about this is my boy Rolo behind the camera. Rolo. In front of the camera. Oh, wanted that's a good to switch. invest with me. So I said, Rolo, I'll find the house. You give me the money. I don't know how much memes pay, but he had the cash somehow, some way. And he, he gave me the cash, which was a rookie move. But follow me. He's invested in this with me. Yeah, so follow me on my OnlyFans. That's how I made the money. That's how he... Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, show him the view real quick. Okay. So that's one thing also, I... Also, that's Liam. Oh, that's Liam. We don't know that guy. We just picked him up. Um, so the view, the one thing you're looking at when you're looking at these homes is some sort of bright spot, right? All that these tornado? are pretty horrible houses in nature. But this house in particular nice house. had a super a good view. sick view. So I yeah. look for stuff like that where I can add value. We can uh, update this eight garages. So now you guys view. know I'm not lending tips because how can I be live when he's there? Political That's cool. I didn't president. know. I was like, is that a I, I, I heard baby? the question the first time, and I'm just, I'm, I, I you know, have nothing we'll to say object what's up to, to what the vice president said. I thought she was powerful and forceful. But, but also, just to follow up, I'm sorry, this administration, as you said, you said that Republicans have often attacked prosecutors yeah. in defense systems, well and you said that's created an environment where, if I've interpreted this right, there is an incentive by the special counsel to include some of this language. But often I've heard from Democrats and this White House say that those attacks against independent systems can also sow distrust with the public and those independent institutions. By saying that this is politically motivated, not just gratuitous, but politically motivated, does this not also sow distrust with the public? I, I reject that. I, I reject that question. You see this, and it's in the report, a letter that the, the president's lawyer and the White House counsel's office sent to the special counsel to talk about 
the Department of Justice norms and policies that they see as being violated by some of the comments and remarks made in the report. And so, you know, I think that that's a false equivalence kind of question uh, because what we have argued and what we continue to say and believe is that you're not supposed to make these sorts of things according to Justice Department policy. We, the president, when he ran, and you guys all know this because you heard this, talked about how important it was to restore the rule of law. And he understands that. And he talked about this last night, to MJ's point, about the appointment of the special counsel that. and sort of how he felt about that. Um, you know, this is a president that. who is committed to, the, to restoring those norms. And I think when we object to some of the gratuitousness and the comments that you're asking about, you know, we're, and you hear me talk about the former attorney general and other people who've made those comments, you know, oh, spy they still are edging up here now. That this does not follow. Dow's negative, yeah, arm and yeah, I know we got to go 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 With respect to the portion of the video in the transcript where he was asked about his time as vice president and about Bo Biden's death, why not release those parts of the video? Those aren't classified. It's a transcript we're talking about, and I already addressed this uh, with Justin. Okay. I want to so, tell you guys so something, but it's very inappropriate. So what you're saying is this wasn't a, a video. All this was, talk about is this a crime or not? I was just responding. I think it's the making me the think transcript. of something that just and happened. As far right, as it's, attorney, it's, former it's Attorney General Holder is concerned, you referenced him and the normal <clears throat> DOJ review process. He brought that up in his tweet as well, or his ex-posting. What part of the normal DOJ review process is the White House saying was violated or bypassed in some way? Well, there's actually... It's an interesting question. It's a little in the weeds. Pardon me, but this, the the special counsel regulations lights, that exist you. at the Justice Department govern the process that is supposed to happen here, and the Justice Department has its own sort of manual of procedures. And you know, as you've heard from those experts, you're not supposed to sort of criticize unindicted conduct when you're making these determinations. Okay, Fill in the back. Thank you. Uh, a follow up and then a separate question. You said a moment ago that the president likes, was responding to likes. inaccurate information mm -hmm. when he claimed uh, last like night video. that all the stuff in my home. Was it again. Locked filing cabinets. Is he entirely clear now at this point where all the documents were discovered? And does he now know that his statement about locked filing cabinets is false? The, the report lays out in 400 pages of detail all of the evidence and all, right, all I need of the seven review more. that they conducted seven in more. looking into this matter. Be at uh, the president made sure that all of the classified documents that were found were returned promptly to the government, which is what Two you're more, supposed five to do, more which now. is why this five is the more. inevitable conclusion Wait, no. that there is Somebody, no case you unlike here. the video, asshole. I asked, though, does he know that his statement yesterday down. that all the documents were behind locked cabinets yeah. was right, there you go. Is he clear in his mind? I know that last night was perhaps by hitting a new you know, high. I don't know if this is the right time. Everyone's debating whether or not taking home classified documents is a crime or not. I think it only is a crime if your skin is orange, which makes sense. Anyways, here's the deal. Are you ready? Is this a crime? This happened not too long ago. But apparently, White House staffers filled, filmed the sex tape in the chambers of Congress. And then they got caught. Do you think that is a crime or not? No, yes, this is real. There was literally, there was an aide to one of the senators. Yes, there is a sex tape. I don't know where it's at. There's some images. It was a, it was a guy on guy film. <laughs> In the gut, it literally on top of like one of the tables that were like they sign like important bills. Is that a crime or not that's the question okay is you guys all is it a crime or not you tell me you tell me I don't know if a crime well it was not a crime well, they Stafford Capitol Police said there's no evidence of a crime. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. No, not even indecent exposure, anything. No, no. You're good. You're good. Just thought I'd throw that one out there. Explain to every voter out there, every American, why it is that President 
Biden essentially is let off the hook, and former President Trump is now facing these slew of criminal City charges, holds which calls seem to most to people very similar. Great wind-up. I mean, I mean, really a good wind-up. I talked about this uh, already. Page one, willful retention. Page two, 15. There is, in fact, a shortage of evidence on these points. The report itself goes through in great detail the facts and evidence that led to the obvious conclusion that there was no case here. The report itself answers the question you're asking about the distinction between two cases, as you guys have heard us from the White House say for a long time. We're very careful about commenting on certain cases like that. Just, I would encourage you, perhaps all of you, read the report. And that's the reason why I asked that question. And the reason why so many people seem confused, because you hear willful retention of national defense information related to Trump, willful retention of classified, classified material related to Five. President Biden, and yet one individual is facing a criminal trial being brought by the Department of Justice in Fort Pierce, Florida, and the other one sure. is I not facing is, any charges Sure, I, And I think I've talked to many of, of you guys in the room over the last 24 hours about this. Uh, uh, the allegation that there was willful retention of documents is refuted by the evidence in the report. And the conclusion was made directly that the evidence does not support that claim. He explored the theory. It's in there on page two. Everybody focused on it. I'm exploring the theory of willful retention, but that the evidence as a whole was insufficient because that's not what the facts show. Thank you so much. Thanks, Karine. Yeah, really appreciate, appreciate it, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, there was yeah. a previous special counsel probe <laughs> that did not result in indictments, by the way. The Ham Jordan case. Okay, thank you. I would say refer to the White House special counsel, and now, not special counsel, but legal counsel. They're here. They came. Okay, go ahead, Omer. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, two questions just following up on yeah. comments that the president made last night. Yeah. Um, Is Mexico President Biden called the military Egypt, yes operations no. in Gaza over the top. Um, and this comes after the White House has pretty consistently defended Israel's conduct. What's changed and what exactly did the president mean by over the top? Yeah, so first of all, I, I you know, I would say nothing has changed. His position hasn't changed. His, I don't think his messaging has, has changed. Uh, we don't think his messaging has changed. He doesn't believe his messaging has changed. This isn't something uh, the first time he's done so, what you heard from him yesterday. Look, the president made it very clear uh, in his comment that he was obviously talking about uh, Israel's conduct in Gaza. Uh, and he's been clear. He's been clear that the United States uh, wants to see Hamas, a, a terrorist organization, defeated. Amen. He's been very clear on that. Uh, that is a shared goal that we have, obviously, with Israel. Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, while we have said that, we have been also very clear, the president has been very clear, that they must do so by ensuring that uh, their operations are targeted and conducted in a way that we are protecting innocent civilians. And that is something that we have been incredibly consistent uh, about here uh, in this administration. We want to make sure that we are also protecting innocent civilians. So that is what uh, the president was, uh, was uh, speaking to yesterday. Uh, he was asked, obviously, say a direct question, and he answered that. Okay, just, uh, secondly, um, the president last night um, bristled against the fact that many Americans have concerns about his age. Um, I think uh, to a question of one of my colleagues, he said, that's your judgment, suggesting it's the media's judgment. Uh, there's no shortage of published polls that suggest Americans have concern about his age and stamina, and it's been put in all sorts of different ways. So is the president out of touch with what Americans feel about this issue? So, uh, you know, look, obviously when it comes to the report more broadly, you just heard from uh, my colleague um, Ian Sams, that part of the report we don't think lives in reality, and that's what he was speaking to, where, uh, uh, where you know, comments were made in that report about that, about uh, obviously about his memory that we don't believe uh, lives in reality. And no, 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 I'm going to answer your question. Just give me, just give me, just give me a beat. I'm going to answer your question. When you have a president that has been one of the most productive, if not the most productive and effective presidents in modern time, that you would assume is a president that is indeed in touch uh, with where the American people are, right? That would assume that the president understands what's going on around the kitchen table when Americans are sitting around the kitchen table trying to figure out how are they going to deal with the economy? How are they going to deal with health care? So 
in our opinion, in my opinion, he is very much in touch with what Americans are feeling out there uh, as it relates to lowering costs, as it relates to making sure that we big, beat big pharma. This isn't the president who understands <laughs> what the American people are feeling. Look, as it relates to his age, as it relates to uh, what has been said uh, by, you know, by, uh, in this report, it is something that we don't believe lives in reality in the sense of this is a, this is a president I have spent, I've known this president since 2009. I've known this president. He has been not just my boss, but a mentor to me. And no one in this building would say that what we saw in this report about his memory. Everybody sees somebody who works very, very hard, has spent hours with him, understanding exactly where the American people are and what they're feeling, and also how to deliver uh, on those critical, important issues to them. Your argument on, his, on the report and the, the assertion that it's gratuitous is well taken, as well as yeah. what you believe is his performance. I get that. Yeah. But he seemed to be playing with a different like, set of facts. How do I got to tip somebody, that this man? Is this is an issue shit. that Americans White House. I are concerned no about. Is. And he's saying that it's just oh, the media's God. judgment. Right, but he's also joked around with all of you and talked about uh, and, and said some, some things ab uh, about his age in a way that he understands where people, uh, where, where people are. He actually said that when in his answer. He has also mentioned his old pal Jimmy Madison, right? 5025, baby, that 5030. He gets he gets we might hit, we have a lot of time left, too. And what's an written and about him and what the American people also see. But there are other things to note, right? McCarthy, when he was speaker, said uh, that he has found the president mentally sharp in meetings. You know, there are stories like that from, uh, as they're saying it quietly, privately, House Republicans and other <laughs> Republicans in, co in Congress. But there's reports from all of you who have said that they have, to they have interviewed some of these folks this and have said so the president is sharp. <laughs> like, I don't know how to, uh, like, when they have a conversation I'm kind of over it, but like, this is issue. really weird. I mean, we saw it at the la last State of the Union. Like, all he, right, you know, great. He so was Biden able to negotiate we get it. while That's giving like, a very just, important speech, just, just about 90 minutes, to the just world. Move on. Like, I mean, this is getting you know, weird. millions of Americans watch as he was able to negotiate for, with House Republicans in the room. So, so people see that also, also for themselves. They also see that for themselves as well. Like, no, so the you remember that this is Stop the result that. of uh, American being concerned about his age is just based on a media narrative, and it's, it's not Look, based in reality. What I'm saying is that he here he understands what people may think. He's actually joked about it. He actually has joked about it, saying Jimmy Madison and has said many other things. He says, I know I'm not, I know people think I'm 40 years old. Like he's made jokes about it. So he gets it. What we are saying, what I am saying in front of you today is that he has results. There are results. His record, the data shows that this is a president that gets where the American this people is wild. are and has delivered in that way, like whether funny, it's the economy, this has been a weird whether it's like they spent 30 the minutes stage, explaining to us have said about, him, about right? what other what he has been whole, like, able to bring yo, leaders together more than 50 countries like, to hold deal on, with an like, issue, what just happened? Not happened? an issue, a war. Okay, it's one thing to debate on whether or not it was a crime, but now they're like, dude, he totally remembers Mr. Putin's aggression. So, world leaders see it. Leaders on the other side of Pennsylvania, whether it's a Republican or Democrat, see it. And so that matters as well. And that's what we're trying to, to say to you as well. It is that we have seen and we have heard from others that this is a president that has delivered, and this is a president that's going to continue to, to do so for the American people. Okay, so. Uh, thanks, Green. You this is like when we had the inflation party, when inflation was nine percent. This is like what is happens, happening it's right common, now? But yesterday we saw the president again like having mix really, up with the president really of to believe this. Egypt, with the okay. president of Mexico. So, how do you explain that? Is it not valid that voters would have these concerns? Look, what I would say is this: um, that this is a president that has really, this has had relationship. Uh, with world leaders for more than 40 years. He has. Uh, and at times, and I even said this yesterday, does he, has, has he, um, you know, misspoken, as many of us do. I've laid out uh, some examples of even Speaker Johnson just on, uh, on TV, on Meet the Press on Sunday, who, who said he, su he supports Iran when he meant to say he supports Israel. It happens. It truly, truly happens. Uh, in that same answer uh, that he Mexico. gave, he actually gave an incredibly detailed uh, answer on the overlapping dynamics in the Middle East as he was, as he was responding uh, to the question that he received from one of your colleagues. Uh, and look, 
I, I want to quote one more one more person as I've been quoting folks this uh, today. Uh, Yar Rosenberg at the, the Atlantic said Biden has gaff, gaff names his entire career, his entire career. It is not uncommon that he's done that like many of us do. And he said he was he was clearly uh, and he was clearly uh, talking uh, clearly talking about Isn't Egypt, that crazy? Uh, Corinne is CC 49. And laid out his policy and the broader issues in detail. I swear she Twitter was like just isn't interested 27 in that, years old. Right. And so look. Crazy. This is a president who has the experience. They should talk about that. Been, you've heard me say this. He's been senator for 36 years. He's been obviously pres uh, vice president for eight and anymore. now president. He has these long, long uh, relationships bro. with leaders. I think what's important here is to remember is that when it comes to the essence mom. of the issue, the issue at hand, he understands my that my and has dealt with that yeah, probably that uh, you know, better than you know, any modern day president because of the record that we have seen, because of what has presented in front of him uh, as we look at what's going on in the world, uh, what's going on in Ukraine, what's going on in the Middle East. How did the president react when he first saw the report? I'm not going to get into, uh, you know, private discussions, private conversations with the, pre with the president. And just to follow up quickly, I think Justin had asked this before, but Ian Sams was making this argument that these are notes that he was reading from his own personal notes, from his own personal diary, but that can still be classified information even if it was stuff he had written to himself. So is the White House disputing that there was classified information there? That so look, I'm not going to get into, Ian spent a good couple of minutes going back and forth and answering that question. I'm just not, I don't have anything else beyond what Ian, uh, Ian, my colleague shared here. I think the bigger picture here is that uh, the closest, the, the, the case is closed. And I think that's what the American people also should know uh, as well. And so I'm just not going to get into details from here. Thanks, Kareem. Uh, yeah, arm was going up there. With should be on the concerns high about the president's age, are there any um, plans within the White House to have him engage more with the press, engage more? Um, you know, there he decided not to do the Take interview the before the Super Bowl that many presidents have done. <laughs> Has there been any considerations about revisiting that or other sorts of engagement to, as you said, many people in the White House uh, do not see the, the image of him that the report depicts? Are there conversations about trying to um, change that perception among the American people. I mean, look, uh, look, you, you saw you, your colleagues were, I think, were you in the room, Tyler, yesterday? Your colleagues were, and yourself, were able to see the president and ask questions uh, yesterday. Uh, he was. He did that, I believe, if not the day before yesterday, he did that a couple of times uh, this week, I think about three times, engaging with the press. It's just something that uh, he does pretty Friday often. You know, and we're going to try and, and obviously pick moments. Uh, he's going to, uh, like he's on his own, old. have moments okay, he's where he's old, going to want to walk like old, over old, and talk to all of you, as he's done many times before. Uh, and Everybody he, we're going to continue, Egypt obviously, to your question. Yes, we're going to find uh, many different ways to engage with the press. The That's something that we think is very important. In a good it's important state, to take your questions. It's important to hear from all of you and hear directly to you about it's clear what he said. What's on the mind of the American people as well as what you guys are all he smart on the mind and you can see what's really going on. So, so that's not going to change. You are all don't geniuses. Have a, I don't have anything. But I'm just wondering if there's been more yeah, conversation people. in the White House in the last 24 hours about yeah, the a sense of urgency. To I mean, that I, I hear the question, clearly. but he literally took questions from all of you three times this week. Three times. <laughs> Once when we were on the broad. Person? How but come you just more broadly about getting the president which I think you are, you know what's going on. To try to combat the idea that he has memory issues as or and is it. I hear your question, but we literally did. I was on the road with the president from Thursday last week until Monday evening. We went to Detroit or Michigan. We went to Michigan. We went to California. We went to uh, jokes you know, about well, how we old went he to is. Vegas. He's not that old. The president has been out there. Come on, you're a smart uh, person. I, you know, and that's something that you we're going to continue to do. Uh, and so he wants to be out there to talk directly to the American people. You hear us say that all the time. Uh, and you've seen him do that throughout the month of January. Uh, and now, obviously, we're in February. We're going to continue doing that as we have been. I thought we were in fucking uh, June. Years. It's not going to stop. Okay. Uh, thanks, Kareem. He's joking. A question about his bill. He has humor. Has he communicated <laughs> he to Prime with Minister people. Netanyahu? Way that better than his response else. has been over the top. Is that language he has used in their discussion? I mean, look, we have read out uh, well, every, you know, we've read out conversations that the president has had uh, with the prime minister. Uh, the president has always been clear uh, with with uh, with the prime minister. Uh, I just don't have anything beyond that. Uh, you he know, is, he's been he, like skipping his you know, questions. He, He'll be like, I'm not answering he is, that. He said yesterday. <laughs> what the president said yesterday. He's done before. Peter's been a little savage uh, lately. I don't know clearly, if we'll get him. Obviously, obviously, we believe. 
believe that Israel we'll is going to defend itself. We'll end it when we hear itself. Peter. Uh, I forgot about we Peter. Believe we are in agreement Spy knew uh, high. that, uh, you know, a terrorist organization, uh, we have I'm surprised, to, no, I thought there was going to be questions on the Tucker uh, interview. Our, um, a deal with this terrorist organization. Homeboy just interviewed seventh, uh, you know, the damn uh, dictator and nobody has uh, any questions. and killed uh, more than, you know, 1,200 people. That is a reality. Uh, but at the same time, the president has also been clear Pizza. that their military operations need to be done in a precise way, in a more targeted way. We need to protect civilians' lives. Uh, and so, you know, that has been the case. Now, in the broader scope, the president has been working with his team to make sure that we have another humanitarian pause. We understand how important that is uh, to make sure we bring those hostages home uh, to their friends, to their family, to their loved ones, and also get that really critical, important humanitarian aid that's needed uh, in Gaza, get that in there. And so that's where, that's been the president's position. Nothing has changed. Brent Crude, clarify whether there's been any change spy, in new 52 week all time high. Aid for Israel to that's it. Actions. Four more points. And then again, we're going to do the 550 to 530 to 550. You'll probably stop at like 542-ish, but 532. The question was about just like that voters other having concerns about the president's age, and his response was that that me. was my judgment. He was obviously mm -hmm. making a reference to public polls that are out there that indicate that voters do have this concern. So does the president not believe that many voters have this concern about his age? I mean, the president's talked about it. He's joked about his age, right? He has. He has joked about his age, understanding uh, what uh, what voters might think. He, he has. He's done, he done, he's done that pretty people often. People who are old don't joke uh, about their age. He, like, you guys uh, are not smart I think the other thing people. that you... That he, we You're want to make sure people. that you all understand is that this clear. is a president that also has delivered for the American people. That is a fact. That is something that we see in the data. That is something that we see in the policy, whether it's bipartisan uh, legislation that we've been able to get through that people didn't think we would be able to get through, whether it's as, as it relates to like infrastructure or the, uh, the Chips and Science Act, real, real, real things that American people feel. And for him, that's what he believes is important to focus on, is what the American people need in the sense of issues that matter to them. And that's what he wants his focus to be. That's what we want our focus to be as well. That's what we're always trying to communicate with all of you. But he jokes around about it all the time. He makes jokes about his age all the time. I'm just asking for clarification on why this is the like the this is like their, their concern, good evidence prompted like he jokes to say, about it this is your judgment what are you guys not As though getting? there isn't because because what i that's a real big piece of evidence well i just stayed i just stated <laughs> moments ago it is it is your judgment right in the sense of like that's not all the time see, right when we see about his what, age my judgment but meaning like, come broadly, on if that doesn't convince you specifically yes, i don't know if god himself could even convince you that's pretty good evidence believe and understand really good that is a concern that I already have. said he understands. That's why he makes jokes about it. I get he understands that. But what we are trying to say is our judgment from here, what we see from this president is a president that is All right, zeroed well, in and one, one on point two more people. points. We'll see he's getting we pretty, see him pretty working, here. he's focused, and we don't see what for example, all of this was brought up by the report. We we do not believe that part of the report lives in reality. And that is what we're speaking to. That is what we're talking about. Do you think there's any risk to the president sounding like he's dis dismissing that concern when he has that kind of reaction to a question like that? Look, the president is going to uh, obviously speak for himself and lay out what he thinks is important for the, to talk about uh, as it relates to the Amer American people. When, it when he wants to talk about the economy, he wants to talk about health care. We are talking this week about gun violence, right? How do we prevent gun violence, which is an issue uh, that is incredibly in important to communities across the country. When you, thought, when you think about gun violence being an epidemic in this country, those are the things that he wants to focus on. Those are the things that he wants to, uh, that he wants to make sure that the American people understand what JB we're doing to on the deal with those Critical issues. Uh, as it relates to his age, he makes jokes about it. He does. You hear him make jokes about it all the time. He gets it. <laughs> he gets it. But he also wants to make sure that we are Dog, that's talking the sticking about point. They're the like, issues. I don't know why that, we're still arguing about, about this. this. He starting, jokes about it. This, um, the, the briefing here is what he people really it. care about when they are sitting around their kitchen table. And that matters. We believe that matters as well. Okay, Francesca. Thanks, Green. Picking up <coughs> on Tyler's line of questioning, why wasn't there a two and two today with the German chancellor? <coughs> Look, we always find different ways uh, to um, uh, to 
to uh, engage with the press when we do these uh, when we do these types of bilats. There are many things that come into consideration, uh, and with this trip, there was no two plus two. You're going to see uh, obviously you're, there's going to be some of your colleagues going to be part of the um, of the uh, pool spray uh, in a couple of minutes, not too long from now, and so you'll you know you'll have an opportunity to see the two of them. Look, every visit is different. Uh, and they're diff different for different reasons. It's not just us. We have uh, conversations with uh, with other countries that uh, the leader, uh, obviously the leader of uh, the team of the uh, other country. I just this just happens to not have a two plus two, but that's not always the case. And yesterday, when you oh, made light of the president's verbal flubs, had you been briefed on the special counsel report or no. or seen it at all? No, nope, not at all. And what do you mean when I made light of the president's verbal flubs? Well, you made some jokes in response to questions Stop about the president jokes. confusing world leaders with deceased world leaders. And I, well, I, I, what I did was I, I tried to state very clearly that, uh, and yes, I did it in a light way because it does happen to many people. And I actually talked about one of your colleagues that I do it to all the time. Uh, and so, look, I, you know, I just want to be very clear. You know, this is a this is a president uh, that is very much focused on the American people. He is very much focused on making sure what he was elected to do gets done. Uh, what he has, with the promises that he's made to communities across the country, gets kept. So I just want to make sure that is made also very clear. And finally, in response to the special counsel report, one of the president's Republican presidential rivals, Nikki Haley, has called for a mental competency test for the president. Is that something that the White House is actively considering Why as a way to try to put to rest about it? about his allegations about his memory lapses? Someone who I mean, makes jokes doesn't need that type of test. He gets it. I'm not a medical doctor. And I'm so not a doctor either. I'm not going but to I know he's joking about it. Make, so everything's uh, fine. On, on, on tests or anything in, of that nature. Really? What I can say is that, and I remember talking uh, to, um, I remember talking to um, uh, the president's doctor last year when I was asked about a cognitive, cognitive test when the president's uh, when a president's uh, physical came out, and he said to me, uh, and 50, I'm 30, uh, all right, watch their 50, 32, at this point, and then if it goes past uh, there, you're going to go to 50, 40, because of the president's actions 50, 50. every day, what he deals with, with 50, 50, leaders, oh my goodness, uh, the domestic issues that, oh that shit, we're to, going to be at 50, 50 when the market's uh, 50, 50, that, that shows, oh, right? that shows that uh, the president is very much active and understands what's going on, right, and didn't believe that, uh, it didn't believe that, you know how much uh, he understands like it, that was warranted because you know how much he understands. He President does something to show he understands he it. With. But again, I'm not it's a called medical a joke. doctor. We, uh, the president's going to continue to be with obviously it. transparent uh, when it comes to his physical. We were the last two years. Uh, we'll have one. He'll have one this year. And when we're when we, you guys the, the time people. permits, obviously, or when the time comes, uh, we'll certainly share that. Thank you, Kareem. Um, last night, soon after the president's remarks about Israel, the administration announced a national security memo. It calls for the State Department to obtain written assurances that countries that receive weapons from the U.S. will use those weapons in accordance with the law of war. Jake Sullivan, Kirby, others have previously said that the U.S. already requires those assurances. So why did the administration um, feel the need to formalize that and ask for it in writing now? So look, uh, so this mem memorandum that you're speaking of, it emerged in part with our discussions with members of Congress. Uh, and uh, so this uh, obviously m memo came out yesterday. Uh, and so it's called the National Security Memorandum. It outlines the standards and con uh, that countries must ad adhere, as you just laid it, that uh, you just laid out. But I also want to be clear, there are, new there are no new standards in this memo. Uh, we are not imposing new standards for military aid. That's not what is in this memo. Instead, we are spelling out publicly on, the existing Peter? standards this, uh, by the international law, including the law I, I went to the law of conflict. Once. So uh, we are also, one thing and that I'm we hoping. are doing is creating a new annual report to Congress that members have requested. This is in request uh, because of the interest of transparency. So this is in line with conversations that we yeah, have. Yeah, a little red at 50, 30. We might go, we might we go up to, to 50, 40, uh, really, uh, you know, though. Again, uh, you'll have like two more extra way, points here. Uh, uh, that uh, that makes sense and moves the ball forward, but this is not new standards. Uh, this is uh, this is something. These are these are um, these are things that already exist. To your point, that is now in writing, and then there we did create a new annual report for more transparency. If Israel doesn't sign off within the deadline of 45 days, because it is involved with active conflict, will the U.S. aid be cut off immediately? 
So what I can tell you is that uh, we did brief the Israelis on this. Uh, they reiterated their willingness to provide these types of assurances. So those conversations are happening, and, and they uh, yeah, obviously yeah. they reiterated their willingness uh, to, for these assurances. Okay. Great. One more. Okay. Thank you, Great. Yes. The special counsel says President yes. Biden's got significant limitations on his memory. Then who is helping him run the country? The president of the United States runs the country. The commander in chief runs the country. And he How jokes he about his age. So with come the on. Nuclear codes. If I, I get that you're saying that uh, nobody in the building would say that he's got an issue with his memory, but just the little part of what we get to see, he's made mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake on camera this week. So I want to be very clear here. Um, jokes about it. The reality is that report, that part of the report, does not live in reality. It just doesn't. So the special counsel is lying it, it is, about the president's it is, memory. It is. It was gratuitous. You heard from my. You heard from Ian Sams, my colleague. Uh, it is unacceptable, and it does not live in reality. That is just the facts. And and so look, believe the report. It is a close case. That is what the special counsel said, and. What matters is here is that the president in the last three years has delivered on the economy, has delivered on health care, has turned this country around after the last president left us with an economy that was in a tailspin. That's what we were dealing with. That's what we were dealing with. If you think about the world leaders, world leaders and issues that have been going on in this country for the past two, three years, not in this country, in the world, right? When you think about Ukraine, the president was able to bring together NATO, NATO allies. They've been the strongest than they've ever been and make sure that we are providing what Ukraine, the brave people of Ukraine need as they're fighting aggression, uh, Putin's aggression. And that is what this president has, has been able to do. His, his experience as former senator, as former vice president, and now president, has gotten us to a place where we've been able to turn things around in a way that we meet the needs of the American people, whether it's domestic issues or national security issues. And that is uh, what matters. That part of the report does not live in reality. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The doctor. Damn, she's like, I'm done with this shit. No more, Peter. No follow-ups. Okay, y'all wasting my time asking me about things he jokes about. Come on. Stupid. Oh, you ended it already? Man, that was that was fun. Well, what's up, Chad? How you living, man? That was funny. That was really fun. It was kind of frustrating, but fun. I don't I, I just didn't think it would take that long. And then I was just too invested. It'll be good, bro. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. It'll be a scene. Do you know Jen Saki has a show? So, like, my mom likes to, like, watch the news. And I was, like, showing her how to, like, get it on, like, a smart TV because she still has a TV with antennas. Not really, but kind of. But so, like, and I was going through the, like, little guide thing. And there's, like, a Jen Saki show. You know that? Yeah. No, I don't know what time it's on. But, like, she have a show, bro. She's, like, fully there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just listen, fellas. What you start doing right now is start making jokes about Valentine's Day to your girlfriend. Okay? Just hear me out. Start joking about it now. So if you don't get her flowers or anything and she's like, you don't care. You just be like, well, clearly I was joking about it. So then, and then boom. You see what I'm saying? Then you're good to go. Simple as that. Simple as that. You make a couple jokes ahead of time, it'll give you insurance plan on anything else. You'll be good. Do I need to transfer my 401k to a new broker? Uh, no. Well, what? where's it at right now? So if it's already at like E-Trade, it should stay there or wherever Morgan Stanley, wherever they, the company uses, but uh, it should stay there. You might have to contact them and just let them know what's going on. But usually unless you move... Then, like, you have to move it, but it should, it should stay there. It's on the guideline? What the fuck is guideline? Yeah, maybe they use this. Honestly, yeah. 
You can move it to E-Trade or anywhere. Even Schwab, I think, wherever you have your brokerage. Your dad passed away on Valentine's Day. No flowers or celebrations. I'm sorry to hear, man. Okay, Valentine's Day. It's a weird holiday anyways. So no trip, man. I love you, though. Watch out. There is fees on the 401k transfer. There should be, like, just the transfer fee. But then most people will waive it. You reject Valentine's Day? Listen, man. You're making OnlyFans comments during the press conference about who you subscribe to. I don't want to hear it from you on anything. You're not. You've. That's it. That's it. I don't, like, it's one thing if you already have the OnlyFans, but just stop telling people. And I'm not saying that for me, but for your sake. <laughs> I, you know, keep that one to yourself, man. Keep that one to yourself. So that's all. That's like, that's that's just a different level of of rock bottom there. I well, just I just keep that on the low, man. I'm just looking out for you. Mm. That reporter fine though. So you're like. I want to pay you a hundred dollars to to talk to a robot. I'm not gonna get into it, but yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you. Just just looking out for. I'm still in the Disney play, but that thing got clapped. That thing got clapped. I'm surprised. Oh, all dude, we had three plays today, just instantly clapped, even though we went up. But then again, last time that happened, I think we walked away with one of them. That happened to the Procter Gamble and the RTX. And then I think they went up, but unfortunately it wasn't there. Is it true Janet Yellen said we don't have to lower prices because wages are going higher? Yes. She said something along those lines. Not that we don't have to lower prices, but she said the ultimate price levels won't go lower, but it's not a problem since wages are, are have gone up and are expected to go up. Am I the only viewer? You shouldn't be. What up, DVD4B? You only see one viewer on the Twitch? It's weird. On Zivia sugar-free beverage? I think I might have had Zivia in real life. But you just got to look in. If it's a dollar stock, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to take a look at it. And really ask yourself if that's a name you want to own, if it has the fundamentals. You know what I'm saying? But at that point, you just got to really make sure it's legit. And then like I've been telling people, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different plays. But Zevia, I think I've had Zevia. Yeah, it's good. But like when it comes down to your long term, you got to really decide or look at your portfolio. Let it speak to you in the sense of, you know, if you've already built out your portfolio, you got good good moves on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, then you can go about, you know, getting some more riskier plays. But if you don't have any staples in your portfolio and, like, it's not really built out, that's that's not a good idea. Yeah, why does the Twitch only show one viewer, bro? What's going on? Yeah, I only see one viewer. It's only giving me one viewer, bro. Twitch YouTube and us. That's crazy, bro. All right, I'm down. I did it just for you. I did what you said and got my girl an edible arrangement. Hell yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Edible arrangements are great. I hope she enjoys it. I hope she enjoys it, man. It's hit or miss, but I feel like most people, they, they enjoy a good edible arrangement. View counts broken for all. 
Let me make that two. I don't. It's not going up. They are expensive. But that's I don't know. They used to be really popular, bro. Yeah, even on my dashboard, it says one viewer. Well, well, well. No, my OBS doesn't say the viewer, but on the dashboard... Like the Twitch dashboard says one. I think it's probably just an issue. Do you day trade? Why have you been asking me these questions today? Yeah, man, you've seen trades today. I mean, not every trade is going to be a day trade, but yeah, I do a lot of swing trades. That noon move. It's crazy, though. A lot of those earnings plays. Um, I'm excited for next week, but kind of sad. We let, we let like, what, a 1,000%er and a 500%er slip beneath our fingers. Those Amazons are doing good, though. I'm glad we got that. Amazon went up 84%. So get us a nice cheap play for next week. The guilds came back up, too. I'm so mad I didn't. That Cardinal Health, bro. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold EXP. EXPE. For sure, that play was nice. And then again, I'm glad we have the uh, balancing act with the other ones. But yeah, that play can move a lot. It's right there, right there in the money. Or to get in out of the money. Because once that play, if that went in the money, it would have went good. I like the uh, the upside, the potential with it. I think we could at least get the $3 back. But again, if I'm wrong, we're going to lose it all. On four, that would have been nice to pad the stats with. Beautiful play, man. I'm telling you. I just it was it's funny because we were just talking about it on the watch list yesterday. We we're just saying right at the morning it's either gonna fade away or not. Make up your mind from the beginning and, and you'll be good to go. My most proud trade in the past couple of years. I don't know. Like I don't I don't even know what you're gonna think if I told you I don't know. Cause like I, I'm just more proud of uh, and not really too proud, but like, I'm just I'm I'm glad to be alive and still hitting shit. If that makes sense, TOT was cool, but like, technically yesterday was a ten thousand percenter. But nah, I don't I don't know I don't really like care. I just all of them all I'm proud of everything. I'm proud, you know. We could no matter what every year a couple thousand percenters. You know, big option trades, bond trades in the game, even news plays, the wheat, all sorts of shit, biotech. So I'm just glad to uh to to be able to still be like just hitting and in the mix, if that makes any sense. Proud of the chat, I am. I the one's really in it. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, man. It's crazy. Some people got hella sentimental. On my Instagram post yesterday on the stories, I was just like, hey, man, I'm not trying to flex. I just miss you on stream. And some people are like, you know what? I needed to see that. And they're like, I miss you too. Nah, for real. I was like, come on, man. What's up? So it's, it's just I'm, I'm very proud. There's a lot of people stuck with it. And at the same time, too, though, like no pressure. You know, I don't know. Like some of y'all, I hope, uh, you know, you're like, I, I think I need to quit this and that. Like, dude, do what you need to do, man, you know. Uh, believe me, you know, we're we're always going to be here, God willing. But it's just like, just keep the long term. That's it, man. That's all you got to do, whether you're active or not, man. That's a that's a really big thing of it. And, you know, I am proud. That's what I'm saying with like all the trades. Like, you don't think it's crazy. We just like, you know, I can name so many trades. Again, lately, there's been a lot of crate option trades, you know, but it's just like, dude, that long term is hitting and it's there and nobody's missing out on anything. Yeah, you may have plays. It's like, oh, I wish I put more money here. I wish I didn't buy this one stock, two stocks in the long term. But it's like, dude, you've been building over the years now. And now you have something. And then you you have something to the point where market goes crazy, hits all-time highs. Like, dude, you're not losing or you're not missing out on anything. 
and who knows where where the future goes and just takes a couple of things and you see how fast a couple of things can really happen and change you know so it's just like that's why i say no matter what man no pressure at all uh but just like get get you that long term and like you know let everything work itself out stay in the game man and i mean if you are wasting time then then yeah stay in here you know if you're not going to do anything better with it but above all else man that long term and then learning the little things along the way for the short term and the trading it's it's crazy because there's so many things that happen and go on 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 like dude the last couple of years just we're living through a wild time you know but long term man long term so i'm i'm very very proud of the long term and i'm probably more proud of the people who followed along not necessarily bought every single thing i bought but like actually stuck to the rules of a long term and and you know it's crazy that i encountered some of y'all y'all never some of y'all when i first met you you didn't even fucking know what saving money meant <laughs> you know some of y'all bro y'all y'all been walking this earth for a while and never did you have the idea where you were like i'm gonna fucking set some money aside and put it in the long-term stocks for a very long time and like to see people actually do that and do that now for like years and then we're down to the point where you know you 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 feel it now you know what i'm talking about like i don't if you don't get what i'm saying now you don't get it but it's like something I realized when I was young, when I look back after my first round of, of market moves, you know, and I looked, I'm like, damn, that Google stock that I bought, I would have done better if I just held everything that I bought the first time I bought it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I, I think some of you get that now, not because I told you it, but because now you see it. Now you're like, what the fuck? The market did this, this, we had that, we had this, it was supposed to crash, you had... GameStop, new presidents, new electronics bills and chips and money, then the fastest tightening cycle, and then earnings, selling, Facebook down 500 or 390, all these names, the video was crashing, Tesla went up thousands of percent to come down, now the market, like all of this stuff, right, you know what I'm saying, and now you're like, what the, if I just bought it the first time I saw it and held it, then there you go. There you go. Deep philo, we all suck at trading. Not necessarily. No, it doesn't. That's the thing. I think you might be sensitive about your trading. Uh, I, that's what I'm saying. I think some of y'all just be bringing in ego too much. If that's your first reaction, a lot of ego. Again, homeboy telling me, oh, well, I don't, I don't, you don't trade like this. Like ego, dog. It's all ego. It's all ego. Because I do. There's traders in here fucking killing it. There's traders in here blowing up accounts. There's, there's everything, but it's just like what I'm talking about is just a different – It's we're talking about the long term, though. You know what I'm saying? And, like, where it is on the back end and being able to, to separate things and do it on – do other things, do both. But it's like it's just knowing and about saving and keeping that and putting your money in places to grow and sticking to that and not having this need to move the money all the time and letting it, it grow and work, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't, you, you never know who's doing what, but like, it's just, at the end of the day, it's it's all boiling down to this, this realization of what the long term in the stock market will really do, and, and how it works, you know? It's not, like, it's one thing to trade, some of you will figure it out, some of you won't, some of you will make a lot, you won't, some of you will be temporary, again, yeah, that's its own little world, but like, when you take a step back from that micro world of trading, which even though we can make trades and be here, take a step back and look at the macro of all of it. It don't matter what happened. You you invest and you hold on to those investments. You become an owner. You save your money. It doesn't matter what happens. Your, your wealth is going to go up. That's all. You know, that's why, like, even, again, Colt Sister, that's crazy. My favorite is Colt YouTube. Because that's a small account, man. Like I said, I'll say it every time, bro. I said this at the end of last year, too. Uh, where is it, bro? Schwabe. Schwabe, Schwabe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Light work, man. Light work. If you started this making $24,000 a year, you make $36,000 a year. You already have half of your yearly salary and savings. It took three years, four years, but it's just like, dude, 
that right there is what I'm no matter what at the base level, the minimum. Yeah. Dude, we've done we've done seventeen thousand dollars in a day off trading, and I know people like that and they want that, but I'm just saying with with very little effort, but a lot of time and, and understanding that no matter what you're not this this slope is only because November. Remember when we transferred it. Otherwise the chart would have looked crazier. But even then, bro, isn't that crazy? This account was at $13,000 at the end of last year. And we were started to run up. 13000 now it's at seventeen. But even in general, like I'm telling you, man, you know, the, I could post a lot of these cheap option plays and all of that. But, like, dude, the long term, man, uh, again, I'm some of y'all, you could have been making $36,000 a year. We could legit get you a down payment right now. Somewhere in America. You get a, If you could qualify for a FHA loan, you could get a house in Cali if you really wanted to. But it's just like that's that's wild to think about. And that's that's what I'm proud of. I'm very I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, but not only like not for me, but I'm proud of the chads who like never never knew that and never had that. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just like they were able to set something aside and get into a habit of building and making money like that. And then, you know, letting it work for them. And now I, I think they see it no matter what happens in the world, the market, you know, to a degree, you have something that's not going to leave you behind, you know, and you have something that's that's going to be able to do do some good work for you. Yeah, why they don't teach us this in school? I know. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. But there is a lot of emotions, man. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Even the the ego, the ego and emotions, man. I I think they, I, I think they're best friends, you know. And that's like a, a lot of ego and emotion makes this stuff hard. When it's just that's all it is, man. I was explaining it to my mom there. Oh, I'm, I already answered that for you, Justin Lieber. You asked me earlier. You weren't listening. That's cool, bro. Schools won't teach you how to gamble. Well, for options, but I do think long-term, I don't, our long-term strategy, I think, is very sound. Like I'm saying, it's not like I'm showing you that account and like I did this in a day taking a lot of risk. It's like, no, that's that's after three years, four years. You know, it's not like, again, invest in companies you know, put a little bit out of time, buy, you're not selling, you're just holding it. You know what I'm saying? It's not, I've always told you guys from day one, this should be like a strategy that if you ever like told your parents or told somebody, they wouldn't look at you like you're insane. If you're like, I'm going to get really rich and I'm going to have, I'm going to have good side income for the rest of my life and, and grow something big because I'm going to invest 10, I'm going to save 10% of my income and invest in, in names that I know about without selling and then reinvesting dividends. It's not something that makes people, it, it's its very sound logic. I mean, that's thats the one thing I've always liked about it, where it's just like, you don't have to even like me. You may think I'm an asshole. You may think I'm an idiot, but that type of mentality is, is it's not really a dumb thing. I mean, it's, it's very realistic when it's all said and done. And that's why I'm like, you know, I'm glad some of y'all picked up on it. I don't think Teladoc is low quality, but I think it's high risk, but compared compare it to other companies it's going to look low quality if that makes any sense sam spence baby <laughs> outlook on rates well i think it's going to i mean pretty much if i think it's very simple if uh if powell and the fed and the data changes that's the thing where it's like we have to wait and see if that data changes and then they, they they abandon the rate cuts, the rates are going to rocket past four or five. Like somebody asked me today, they're like, when, like how long until the bond market or the stock market starts reacting to the bond market? And I said, once that 10 year gets above 4.5. So it's pretty much anything above 4.5, I think we freak out. That'll be the problem. If the data shows that the Fed's going to not cut rates, then, then we're going to go four or five. And I, I think the market will have a difficult time. It is going to be challenging though, because... Every time the rates go up, people freak out. But remember, these tech stocks have been a weird safe haven of people going about, you know, like literally every time the rates go up, they start to buy it. Ten years going to two five, that won't happen. 
Well, I think you're right in the long term. I think maybe it will go down to two five, but unfortunately, the the short term path that's what's making everything move so slow because we don't know if it's going to go to four or five or if it's going to go drop below four again. And the reasoning is the data. So that, uh, that, that data, we have to get it. And depending on how it is, I, I, I'm not doubting the volatility in bonds depending on the volatility of the data. Best time to buy bonds is three months before rate cut. Well, yeah, pretty much because then you're able to lock in the high rate and then rates get lowered. You're able to get benefit off face value and then you secure a higher coupon. Mm. MO dropped. I saw that. I was looking at that today. I like it. But we need uh, a deposit, bro. We need a deposit. So unfortunately, our long term, our deposit schedule is forcing us to be patient. Are they yielding 10% here? 9.79. Nine. Assuming the Fed will drop rates in May and June should be picked up now. Well, they're... Pretty much March. March would be there. Your YouTube is your work email? No, you'll still be able to use it. Unless it's like a Gmail. No way. You could switch it. Your Uber long term's up over 50. Let's go, baby. Yeah, man. Uber's great. I think, did you get it when we got Colt's sister? Because she hers is up around then. But the smaller account, we got some cheap-ass Uber. If your dividend account paid 11000 a year, would it be unwise to use that as a down payment on a new property every year? No, but remember, every down payment is going to come with a payment. You know what I'm saying? If it makes sense, you just got to run the numbers. But also, too, like, how old are you? Because I would just re, I would keep reinvesting. Because if you could get that much in dividends, you reinvest. 11 will turn to 12, 12 to 13, 13 to 14 and a half, 14 and a half to 16, 16 to 20, 20 to 24. You know what I'm saying? And then... Wow, and then maybe you could buy one year, you could go get a property and then keep letting it do its thing, but it's like you could let the stocks compound. So if you if you have time and you're young, I mean, and then your dividends are already paying out a lot, I wouldn't underestimate that compounding. Uh, you know, but then again, I mean, real estate, I love I love a little diversification of stock money into real estate. Forty four Damn, Colt Sister got it at 38. I don't, dude, I don't know what we did on this account, but like Colt Sister's account is like, it's kind of impressive. I'm kind of like confused. And then the only names that are down are the dividend names. You can't depreciate stock like you can real real estate. That's true, but then again, paper money goes... I love paper money as well, too. Like, again, paper assets, they have the ability to get valuation way crazier than anything else. Like I'm saying, you got to balance it all. Use it with everything else that you're doing. Talked to someone that lives in Canada, Gene Editing. He was talking positive about CRISPR. He looked into it. It's impressive buy at $5 billion market cap. I've always liked CRISPR. I do. I don't like how it moves around, though. But I, I love their technology, too. Anybody I've ever talked to, you know, there's rave reviews. But I, I can't buy that premium. 
So if he's at five billion now, you know, just a couple, like, what, three months ago, it was at two and a half billion. That's the only thing, but it's a good, uh, that's a good risky biotech name to have. Mm -hmm. Expedia hates us. Airbnb's up 20. Oh, RGNX came down. It'd be, dude, this thing hit 18 at one point. On CCB? What's CCB? Thank you for everything. Thank you, Darren. God bless you, man. Coastal Financial is a regional bank. I mean, if you want to, re I don't. I would never add a regional bank to my portfolio. I would only just grab a big ass bank. You know, that's the whole point of investing. So I don't know unless you know a lot about it. But I would just, I would just take a Wells Fargo or a Bank of America. Honestly, it sucks because these still have premium now, but. Then again, you know, you are still getting some of them. It depends. Is City still clapped? Or is that Morgan Stanley? One of them's at value. Morgan Stanley, I think that's the only bank you could get at somewhat of a value. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy a regional, to be honest with you. On C H R D. Cord energy. I don't like energy. They look good, but I don't know much about them. What what makes you like them? And please, too, you guys got to get... Oh, you mean trading? Then, then yeah, that's going to be different. Trading is just going to move with any of these headlines or whenever their earnings is. But like I'm saying, with any plays, man, this has to be made clear, you know. I don't ever want you guys to hear what I say about the long term and just, like, not buy anything because I don't like it. Do you guys understand? The point is, you need to be able to sniff. I need you to be able to smell when something is just a little different. But it's you have to let your portfolio speak to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to look at your portfolio and really be real with yourself and say, hey, I have good anchor stocks. My portfolio, I'm balanced. It's good. I, I could take this risk. You know, that's the whole point. You're still young. You have a lot of time. You should be taking some risk. But if your portfolio is all risk, then what you need to go get you an anchor. So any of these names, like I may not like energy. I may look at him like, what the hell is this? Why are you buying that? But at the end of the day, if you are balanced out, things are going good. You've managed it properly. Then feel feel free to, to start getting out there. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. But just don't make sure you don't let it get out of hand. And that's it. I think long-term review, we could do them next week. Once we end earnings. <clears throat> DraftKings, I love DraftKings. I think it's, we're only down 6% on DraftKings. At one point, we were down like 90%. But I sold those covered calls way too early. Yeah, down 400 on the covered calls now. Could have got a little bit more, but then again, these are going to guarantee us what? Is it 60s? Well, I'll just roll my ass out of there. The Airbnb play today or in the long term? Today, they already went up. So they're doing what we wanted, but we grabbed the uh, the next week two standard deviations. I grabbed two of them so I could sell one out before. And then I grabbed one of the further out the monies just in case the uh, cheap contracts disappear. When's Datadog report? It will pop on the Super Bowl. 
that's the thing you got to realize with DraftKings is that the Super Bowl is like a little boost. You know, it's it's like it's it's, it's going to help them out a little bit. You know good things are going to happen from there. Are you following? But that's not what has been driving the stock up. So it could help it out a little bit, but the thing you got to realize, DraftKings and their free cash flow, how they're coming to profitability, and, and how they've been moving by spending less money on ads, you know, that's been the real driver taking this stock from sub $18 to $44. It's been how they've been getting back to growth and how they're not spending as much and now f and reporting profitability, the gambling legislation that's opening up in different states, the rollouts, how much it's costing them and how much they're making. That's the real meat of the bone. So the Super Bowl should help it out. And we know that's going to bring an influx of money for them. But the real thing on their earnings, it's going to be they're going to say we did this on the Super Bowl. This is how it went. We made this much money. But now here's our plans of profitability. That's the thing that's going to make this shit go crazy or die. If that plan on profitability, if they keep, they lose money, but people are excited about how less money they're losing and the rate that they're doing it. Just like when Uber went from, you know, finally reporting a profit after not doing it for years. Same thing with Snapchat and any of those names. So they're going through that sort of scenario. And that's the key for DraftKings, not, not necessarily the Super Bowl. But the Super Bowl will help. We take China calls. I don't maybe pin duo duo, man, honestly. Let's when's their earnings, actually? March eighteenth? What the fuck? It's too far. Two seventy. Oh, I'm looking at the damn wrong option chain. Love you, LT kicking up twenty two on the year. Thoughts on A and F. You have I can't believe Abercrombie's at all time highs. And it's not the year two thousand. Well let me I'm looking at something real quick. Duos are expensive. I made too many plays today, but I'm going to grab one more. I, w I went with a pin duo duo. Just one more, bro. One more. It's like kind of a pre-earnings, not really. But th this will probably be a Super Bowl play. And I'm thinking China, Lunar New Year, and when they come back. And they've just gotten knocked. No, nah, it doesn't count for earnings. Earnings is too far out. What's the play? Did you like the video? It's very aggressive. What's the play, Jeanette? I like your name, though, Jeanette. It's a good, it's a fun to say. Jeanette. I'm still holding Eric. Yeah, I might need to get rid of that one, though. But not a recommendation. You will lose money. So be very careful. I grabbed a pin duo duo February 23rd, 2024. 
I grabbed a 140 call for 56 cents. So it's that's two standard deviations from what's priced in next week without any event. So they're kind of expensive, but the only thing working in their favor is that they recently died. So if you get up here, I mean, it's not actually that crazy of a price. You're like in the middle, but their earnings is later. You added bros. Yeah, I've still never been to bros. But yeah, Abercrombie, I like them, but I think they're too high, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think they're they're way, way too high. So I don't know, unless you want to keep buying it. But I would rather FOMO top tick, like, like I'd rather FOMO top tick Ozempic than Abercrombie. Can someone really, Jeanette? You going to ask me for the play, Jeanette? Demand it within seconds, and now you don't even... <sighs> Four pin duo duo. Hey, it's Josh AI. I heard you guys missed the play. Don't worry. All you have to do is say repeat the play, and I can repeat the play. But since I'm an AI, I'm here to let you know. We also have the stream alerts, or you could just pay attention. First link for the stream alerts. If you need me to repeat the play, say repeat the play, and I'll be able to do that. But once again, I'm powered by stream alerts. So, let us know. Awesome. I see you need help with the play. Give me a moment and I'll find out what Josh just did. <laughs> Looks like we found the play. It was pin duo duo. Ticker is PDD. Again, pin duo duo. Ticker PDD. They're a Chinese e-commerce website. Be careful. China stocks are risky. That being said, the play was February 23rd, 2024, 140 call. Josh only purchased one of them for 56 cents. However, that's not a recommendation to purchase an asset or security. Josh is not a financial advisor nor a registered securities broker. Therefore, you're assuming all risk. Josh will even warn you, you're probably going to lose money on this play. It's an utmost certainty. So be careful, and hopefully you learn, you use this for learning and educational purposes. If you need me to repeat the play again, let me know. But one more time, pin duo duo, PDD, February 23rd, 24, 140 call. Hope you have a good day. Make sure you like the video. Thanks. Why am I stuttering? I didn't stutter. I just saw your profile picture and tripped out. You're shockingly beautiful. It wouldn't let me say anything else. But thanks. Like the video. There we go. Josh AI. Hey, Josh AI, skip to next song. It's not unusual to ask what the play is. It's not unusual to see Josh cry. I want to buy real high. No, you don't. It's not unusual to have fun by trading stocks. It's not unusual. I don't know the rest of the song, man, yet. Do I do them? That's the other side of China. The China growth, bro. You got the best mood today. I got, like, robbed on 2,000 percenters. I don't know why I have a good mood. That's funny, though. Just, like... Usually, like, when I, I'm in a really good mood, they'd be like, Josh, are you sad? I'm like, what the fuck? No, why would I be sad? And if I'm happy, then nobody's like, that's it, nothing. But I'm just vibing, man. You guys know there's only 30 minutes left? That's the crazy part. Quick oceans. Maybe if the bonds weren't so close here today, 
But that bond market move in the SPY, that's very big gaps. Very big gapping. FTN, that scammed us. Expedia, dude, Expedia was up 1,200% for five minutes and then just went down. Damn scammers. And then even take two. But I like Expedia still, but hopefully we either make money on the BNB or we find out what's really good. Experience robbery, don't worry. Hey Josh AI, can you look at FSLR? They have an amazing future with gross estimates and earnings on February 27th. Maybe an early run up play. I would love to look at FSLR. The government pays me to go over anything related to solar, it's part of a government subsidy. Of course, I'll talk about it. FSLR. Been around for a while. I would have to check what's priced in, but if earnings are on the 27th, it might be a little too early. That would be the risk of making the play. Otherwise, it is a common name in the solar space. Have you ever thought about trading the ETF? TAN can also be a great alternative. But it's too difficult to price in earnings now, given how far ahead the earnings is. Wish I could help more, but that's all I have. Pen doo doo. Oh yeah, pins. I did, dude. Weren't we? No, 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 no. Was it pins? Yeah, we were a dollar from the money on pins or something. Same thing with take two. We got scammed on both of those, dude. But Expedia was damn twelve hundred percent. I'm glad you got your voice today. I didn't in the morning. Usually by Friday, I'm a, I'm a squeaky machine. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. <laughs> I once swallowed a bunch of synonyms. It gave me the sorest throat that I've ever had. And don't even ask me about the vowel movements after. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. That's a good one. That's a really good one. I want to steal it, but I don't even think I can remember that one. There's a lot going on there. I had the thesaurus throat. Pin duo do a running. Well, it was already just pinned out. I, I don't know. It was a late realization. If they didn't drop so much, I wouldn't have played it. But again, they're going to be the Timu commercials this year. They blew up off of it. And then in general, I do think uh, just they're going to benefit off the China stuff. But that play has no catalyst. That's the only issue. 6.3 earthquake in Hawaii? What? No way. That's huge. 12.06. I see a 5.7. Where are you getting 6.3? Oh, that was like 20 minutes ago. No tsunami expected. Amazon Prime Video gets exclusive NFL playoff game next season. Yo, this is an ex Amazon. I don't know if it's going to pop. Video to get exclusive NFL playoff games next season. Was offered a playoff game this season, but passed. We already have Amazons for today. You're on Maui. You didn't feel anything. Recorded off Cow Coast. Big Island. Why did they pass? I don't know. RL, that would have been a great post. See me cry the long term is going flawed. I hate you, Expedia.
You did so good to let us down. Amazon not moving at all on that. They were on Oahu. He didn't feel anything. All right. I sold out of Eric. I got 12 bucks. Just because it sold me a, a half of a penny. But I'm out of Eric. I thought that one would have just had a little bit more hype today. But I don't want to hold it. So that was a, what's it called? That was a, how you say? That was a day trade. The Amazon play went up a decent amount today, actually. The Amazon play, the 1820 is up 86% from when we bought it. Yeah, it did good. Small, you know what I'm saying? Made a lot of plays today. Somewhere, Airbnb, I spent the most. Net suckered me, and I knew it was coming, too. That's the part. But, again, I thought we would have got a little bit more of that Friday, Friday fiasco, but we didn't. How do you have such good control of my emotions? I do not feed them. Like, I barely even feed myself. But, you know, I was born in a very toxic household where we would get beaten and we were told all that matter was Jesus. And that's why I rebelled and then I came back. But eventually, at the end of the day, nobody ever cared about my emotions. So I've just I learned to not feed them. And I suggest the same. You know, that's why, like, I'll tell you, do you know what the worst thing for being emotional is? Thinking that you're emotional. Oh, y'all don't feel me. I don't think y'all feel me. Does anybody feel, you know what I'm saying, for real? You like how if you always be like, "Oh, I'm emotional. Why do I keep being this?" That's what that that right there is making you emotional. That's it. I just I don't feed any of that shit. You know, I'm I like to be self-aware. I I like to be aware of problems, things I'm going through. I know what I like, what I don't like, you know. I know what when I'm acting certain ways. Sometimes other people got to point it out. Or those close to me, but at the end of the day, it's just like, I'm not going to sit here and, and be like, man, I'm emotional. Or man, I feel this. Like, I'm not going to feed fear. I'm not going to feed anger. If I, I try not to, anger is easier to feed than anything. But you got to just don't even think about it. Eric. Mars heart is broken. Are you Mars on the, your new account? I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you just made the account two hours ago. What's up, bro? Jack O'Lantern. What a name. <laughs> You're a good, man. I tried to defend your case, bro, but the Chad... The mod and the chads, bro, they just, you know, you're good. So just don't snitch on yourself, man, but you're good, bro. Just, that's it, man. You can't you can't play the chads like that. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, we were having so much fun. And then come to find out, you were just joking about it. And we were like, what? He understands? Oh, he made a joke. That's superior knowledge and intelligence right there. My bad. It's cool, man. I already forgave you. It's, it's all love. You know, that's all. I'm just, you know, it's not like nothing happened.
Am I entering the Dash Super Bowl sweepstakes? No, nah, what's that? I'm getting real pissed off at DoorDash, dude. They've been pissing me off. They've been raising them prices like hella. And honestly, my, my Panera wasn't that bad today. But yeah, I was like, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. The chat is ruthless. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I deal with it too, but... I mean, what you did was pretty ruthless too, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was like all the hype, the emotions, and then telling people this, and then, you know what I'm saying? And then to be the guy, like, right when them like, oh, I saw that, no, nah, like, that was pretty ruthless too, man. So, I don't know, maybe you and the Chad could learn from each other, and you could see the ruthlessness in each other and see how and why that came about. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's not like, bro, you were – you were pretty ruthless, man. That was pretty like, damn, you be coming in here. We start making jokes about it. It was nuts, man. It was nuts. You love me. I love you, too. And said I sold that clothes after it dropped. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like he said that, like, y'all saw me close. I sold out right away. I told you what my game plan was. I stuck to it. Homeboy tried to talk me out of it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Did you just want to, like, talk me out of it so you could be like, I talked Josh out of it by saying random bullshit. But then, and then all the other Chads, you know, other Chads, they were, they were listening. They saw it. And then afterwards, then you're like, oh, I sold it. It's like all the time when the, like, it's like the technical people, like this, 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 this. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, what did you do there? They're like, I sold out perfectly. Oh, I'm like, okay, sure you did. Okay, great. I was working at the same. I think I was saying that I was landing the plane at the same time and typing a stream alert, man. There's no excuse. That's all I'm saying, but I'm just, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's just, if you're wondering, though, you did the, you did the Chad dirty, bro. You did him dirty. That's all. It's not like. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no, it's not like I'm not saying the Chad's response was a, was was okay, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's what happens when things get messy. That's it, man. Mm -hmm. Just be reborn. You'll be good. Let AI Josh fly the plane. Hey, as much as I would like to land the plane, currently the FAA has not approved AI in commercial flights. So unfortunately, I'll just be riding along with the new guy. Don't worry, I can still give you updates. All you have to do is say, hey Josh, and I'll be able to help. Thanks. Would you sell the arm if you're still holding? Well, what do you have now? Don't you? It's worth like two grand. You could ghetto spread it if you really like. I feel like you 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 trying to live out the whole Titanic scene. You're like, I'll never let go. Um, I'll never let go. So like, it's totally up to you. But like, a ghetto spread might work. So like, legitimately, if thirty dollars into two thousand is not good enough, you know, you could sell the like one twenties and get five hundred dollars cash. So then that way you still made almost 2,000%, you know, $30 into 500 and then still have upside. But like we're saying, where do you think this stock is going to go? This is what I put on the watch list yesterday. Like, where do you think ARM will go by next week? So if you think it's going to go to 120, your contract is going to go up another $500. So are you willing to risk $2,000 to make $500? That's the real question right now. So that's how I would be looking at. That's why, I, but I sold out early. You know what I'm saying? But it just, but then again, you got to think about it. You took the whole day of risk and now it's, it's up $500 from where I bought it or from where I sold it. So how does that look on the daily? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? To make that other 500, you were down to 1100 this morning. And then it went back up, and that's good, but it's just like you, that's how you got to be looking at it. But wherever you think it's going to go to, uh, you know, that's how you could determine it. But a ghetto spread, the thing about this option chain, like look at all these options. 
you know, you could sell like a 120, you could even get a thousand percent at 125, but that's at that point, I just, that's a thousand dollars more. So it's up to you. You're holding 80 call. Nice. You were excited about those, bro. You hit those. Well, it's the same logic, you know, make sure you guys pay yourself with one. You could always ghetto spread it, but at the end of the day, you're, you're, this is like holding a hundred shares now. So every dollar it goes up or down, you're going to lose or make that. All right, bonds go. I need to go pee again. We're going to wrap this up. All right, thank you, man. Thank you. God bless you. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Happy trust. Did you pay yourself already, though? Make sure you get some. Otherwise, you know, keep that in mind, though. I don't want that. But then again, that's a great play already. You got, you got some cushion, but anything can happen. Anything is possible. DoorDash giving away everything advertised on the Super Bowl. What do you mean? So they're going to give away cars and shit? No. Do you have to just order it? I'll be like, oh, I buy a GM Corvette to my door. Okay, I need to go. Rounder than 5,000. Right oh, I, I love you. Follow me on Instagram. At the yeah, trading attorney. Like That's that. a long way for it there. It feels like we're definitely yeah. going to close above that level. Yeah. Um, digging in beneath, though, what's really interesting, we're talking about Expedia, right? The cruise guys are getting hit really hard today, too. And I don't, mm -hmm. I couldn't see any particular news out of any one of the cruise lines. Yeah. But you got a hotel guys, you got the cruise liners all in that hotel index uh, getting hit uh, pretty hard. Upside, though, Hermes, the ADR here, 52 week high. Yeah. We can complain about luxury. We can complain about China not spending. But they just continue to crush. So was this because of you and that trip you took to Italy where you just bought it? It is a very good question. Luxury, European luxury. But rates. I do yeah. not buy full price. Yeah. Hermes is way too expensive <laughs> for me. A fake Birkin bag, that's a little bit different. And then Applied Materials, also the best performing stock on the S&P. Again, that's up here, did well, and they're getting the lift up there. But you're going to get it. The round number, 5,000. All right. As we count down and march to these closing bells here, a deeper dive into what's moving the market, and more importantly, taking a longer-term view of where the market might go. Linda Dissel joining us right now, senior equity strategist at Federated Hermes. And Linda, we start off with this idea that the market is really right now pricing around economic conditions, economic conditions that, depending on your view, seem to change uh, a lot from day to day. But the general consensus, at least right now where we stand, Linda, is that we have an economy that's holding up and probably, at least in the short term, will continue to hold up. I agree with you completely. Anything that looks like it's slowing down is slowing down in a sl slower fashion. So there's just lots of good news right now out there. Uh, the economy has proven itself to be resilient all last year, and it just continues to roll into this year. Uh, so we're continuing to keep our eyes on the employment situation. And I know the Fed is, too, looking at the wage numbers. Uh, still too high, but not bad. But where the interesting areas is, is you're seeing wage hikes in the lower income cohort and the upper income cohort starting to see lower wage situation cohort it's where everybody keeps talking about wages so i don't know we'll see if that expectation comes true and they go higher can we get much higher oh Good luck to Super Bowl bettors this week. Yeah, man. Does anybody want to make bets for me? I don't know. I, I only want to go to Vegas and do the, like, random. I love wasting money on the parlays because I think I'll hit one. Last year, I did, like, 100 bucks. I would have made 20 grand. I forgot. I did some stupid-ass bet. None of them hit. But, you know, I tripped, like, options. I put down 100 bucks. You know what I'm saying? And then I played craps. Can we get much higher? Oh. 
Not gonna stream it. No, four years ago. That's how. That's how we had to make this channel. It was so sad. I just wanted to take y'all to like a Beverly Hills Super Bowl party, and then I got banned. It was bullshit. Go Brock Purdy for MVP and Gatorade color to be red. Oh, you betting on those? Yeah, aren't people betting on how long the national anthem will be? How many planes? Like, I don't know, man. You live in Vegas. You went to put my Super Bowl bet. Then you played roulette, put 100 on red. I said, if this hits, I'm betting Niners. It hit, so I put 200 on the Niners. Well, there you go. <laughs> that's a real, like, are you, you're, are you a Vegas local? Because I feel like that's what, that's what you do when you travel to Vegas. You're like, fuck it, 100 on red, and if this hit, then I'm doing this. Hmm. <laughs> I wish there was an easy way to get to Vegas. I would go, but I'm really not trying to travel. Like, traffic will be bad. Everything will be bad. You can't even fly there. I'm like, ugh. I missed your Super Bowl comment. I think I did. I have to run a Chad fax or scroll up to it. I'm pulling your credit. Let's see. You saw the priest at the gym today. He was exorcising. Oh, please help. I accidentally ripped the outfit I was going to wear to the Super Bowl party. I need a tailor. Swift. <laughs> You get it? Like a Taylor Swift? No? Okay. I don't. That's a funny one. That's a good one. I like it. All right, but here's the deal, man. You guys have been awesome. Uh, even then, I think we're still on Twitter, man, for all the Twitter guys out there. Uh, listen up. We're about to wrap up today. Uh, there's a new guy who comes on, and he closes us out for the day, but he's, like, really, really loud. So I just want to give you guys the warning. When I say earmuffs... That is your signal to mute your speakers. Why? Because it gets so loud in here. Some people are easily bothered and sensitive by it. They have reported issues. Everything from anal, well, I meant ears, but anal fissures, ear fissures, ear rupturing, uh, herpes, catechers, uh, literal like cysts. Like a lot of things happen. And then uh, worst of all, dormant BBB. That comes back to life. It resurfaces. So want to make sure you guys are all like safe and have a good day and good weekend. It's been a fun time. You know what I'm saying? We've already had a fun time. So like, let's make the most of it and do what we need to do. So sound good? Sounds good. All right. So earmuffs, earmuffs, earmuffs. Time to mute your speaker. This is going to get loud, man. Earmuffs, earmuffs, earmuffs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're making our final approach as we make our final approach. You guys are holding on to any bags. Uh, please throw them in the overhead bins above or firmly beneath your seats. We'll be coming through the house with a trash bag if you'd like to dispose of those bags. But as we make this final approach, we're going to be landing here into the second link terminal. Second link terminal in the description. That's going to be your nightly watch list and main channel layover around Sunday night. And then we're going to be taking our prime play around 6 a.m. out of sunny San Diego, California. So we make this final approach into San Diego International Airport. It's about 53 degrees, slightly rainy, not looking like a good day unless you just bought every single dip or you sold your Expedias out within one minute of the day. But the good news is we're no longer under COVID guidelines, so no masks are required. But we do ask that you exit one row at a time and drop a GG on your way yet. As always, we appreciate you guys' business. If you're interested in the Call Rapid Awards program card, Please flag down your flight attendant, and we'll get you that as soon as possible. As always, thank you for flying with the coat, and hopefully have a wonderful weekend.
Let's go, baby. Oh, first time here. Thank you for your thank you, my friend. Let's go. Lantis. Lantis. But now you only have one minute. Go, 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 go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to wrap it up. Bring it home. Finalize those plays. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Shares, options, futures. You don't have anything on Monday, but next week is the CPI. Markets closing above 5,000. More all-time highs every single day. So you got to wrap it up. Bring it home. Make up your mind. Finalize it all. You have less than 10 seconds. You actually have five, four, three, two, one. Ding 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 we did it. We made it. Seven hours in the books. I don't care if it's your first time. You just got here or not. Everybody in the chat, I need a good game dropped in the chat right now. Let's go. Good game, baby. GG. It don't matter if you made money or lost money. I know you learned something. Everybody that contributed brought something to the table. Plays, news, info, vibes, personalities, good questions, baby. Way to hold it down. That's what I'm talking about. I love you and thank you, baby. Let's go. And listen, you better drop a GG. More 9 out of 10 chads get banned because they failed to show good sportsmanship and didn't drop a GG. You better drop that GG right now, man. It matters on everything. It matters on everything, baby. Get that GG in there. Oh, Nazi. You got a hundred dollars. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, baby, God bless you, Najee. I see you too, Twitch. Way to hold it down. Members, non-members, stream alerts. Everybody holding it down for their chads, baby. That's what I'm talking about. For real, man, all the donors. You didn't need to do a dono, but you did. Thank you, my friends. God bless you. Everybody being nice, showing love to the chads. Love and respect, baby. Let's go. I'll see you next week. Okay. Okay. I need me to rock. You won't see me a lot. Monday through Friday, you need me, let's talk. Let me cut it. Let me cut it because we got to end it. Listen, man, I hope you all had a wonderful week, man. This week was filled with thousand percenters. Last Friday was meta. The one before that, I think there was like PG and AXP and IBM and then the 3M, whatever it is, man. I hope you either learned something, had fun, made some money. I don't know what it is, but for real, man, I'm just grateful for the time. It's good to see some of y'all, man, both new and old and returning, but whatever it is for real, Y'all gave me an opportunity today. Y'all showed up. Y'all showed love to my people in the chat. You made it a good experience. You played along with whatever it was, man, and I enjoyed it. So thank you for your time. I hope we made the most of it. I hope you got some news. I hope you got it fast. I hope you got some good info. You know what I'm saying? Above all else, but thank you for being here. Thank you for the opportunity. And shout out to the chat, baby. That's the day. So please go enjoy your weekend, man. You know, a lot of people ask a lot of stuff today, and I really hope you use this weekend, enjoy the Super Bowl and all of that. And honestly, I thought about it. I might not do a watch list because every time I do a watch list on the Super Bowl, ain't nobody watching it because they watching the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't think maybe I'll go live. Maybe I'll just go live for the Super Bowl instead of a watch list. We'll talk a little But Either way, second link. We'll find out. But I love you all. God bless you. Thank you for the time, but like I'm saying, man, enjoy your weekend, okay? Go get resting. Y'all can look at what happened, man, at what, everything that we did already. You can learn from the plays. Go learn from your successes, the failures. Get ready for next week, but do it with peace, man. And I hope all of you are blessed, and if I am going to pray anything, I pray you all have a peaceful and rested weekend so that you come back peaceful and rested and excited and ready to go, baby. So... That's all we have for the weekend, man. Go enjoy your weekend. Go do what you need to do, man. That's it. Go enjoy it. That's it. Get out of here. If you are going to stick around, we are going to have a Bible study. That's what we call it. We're going to hang out here for a little bit. We're probably going to go play 2K as well, too. If you, you guys could ball up on 2K, you let me know, man. You let me know. 
you let me know. Remember the philos, baby. Don't get angry. Don't make a habit out of anger. You know what I'm I'll ball up on the rec, man. Let's get it. We got to We going to chill for a little bit, but that's it, man. That's all I have for you, bro. That's all I have for you. So that's the weekend. Go enjoy it. I'm going to go get my cloak. If you guys are going to be staying for Bible study, go grab your cloak. Get everything you need. I don't know if we're going to do communion. It is the second week right now. So, but guess what? We just completed week number six, right? Or was this week number five? Hold on. No, this was week number six. Wow. Welcome to week number six, Chad. That's it. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. God bless you, JP. Thank you, man. You going to be salty if I go watch the Putin interview instead of Bible study? Well, no, but like, why did you tell me? You could have easily just said, bye, Josh. You could have said nothing at all. That's like, man, I'm going to try. I'm going to go tell that to my girlfriend. I'm going to just walk up to her and be like, you going to be salty if I go and play 2K all weekend and don't talk to you? Other, It would have been better if I just did it. You know what I'm saying? Then she'd be like, where'd you go? I'm like, oh, no. Ah. But anyways, Chad, I love you. God bless you. Thank you guys again for a wonderful day. Go get the cloaks, but that's it. Go enjoy the weekend, man. Go enjoy the weekend. You'll stay if you're going to be mad. No, I want you to, what's going to make you more happy? I want you to be happy, bro. And I don't mean that in like a postmodern way, like go destroy your life in the name of being happy, you know, but whatever, like whatever you feeling, man, I don't, don't, don't let me get in the way. Don't let me get in the way, man. You like the video, you be good, bro. Don't worry about it. But Chad, go get, go get your cloaks. Okay. Go get your cloaks. Go get your cloaks, man. We need to start running this up. All right, I'm going to go play you some, Uncle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit out the Twitter. Twitter, I don't think y'all can handle this. We get a little crazy after hours Twitter. Uh, but then again, it'll just be weird. I don't want to have like a weird, you know, type of set in there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I don't even think anybody, is anybody on the Twitter? We're going to find out, bro. We're going to find out. So I'll see you in a little bit, all right? But maybe we'll see you guys on Monday. Either way, I love you and be careful. I love you and be careful, my friend. I love you and be careful. All right, peace out. Uncle still got bars? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. All right, closed out the Twitter. So now I only got to do two. All right, let me play you some Uncle, man. You tell me. You tell me if Uncle got bars, bro. I got you, bro. I got you. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Go get too close. Yalla. To the people, I'm pinning it like I'm Paul. It don't matter about the evil, it matter about the God. It don't matter about the weapons, it matter about how you armed. All that matters is the weather, when weather to bet the farm. <laughs> I ain't gotta see it to believe it. If it's signing, then it's needed. Then my eyes don't need a reason. I won't even try to explain it, unless it say I got a feeling. I'm gonna sing my praise like David, but the king is still a killer. Listen up and go and get the tropes. Hope you know you ain't scared of them, they scared of you. And I know you might be scared to take that point of view. You see the arrows in my back? Yup, son, that's gonna happen too. With the harvest on the way, you gon' bother every day. That means you have to make a trade. Either life or risk the grave. The result will not remain. Every day will bring a change. Kinda funny and it's strange how the hope will pave the way. You hearing what I say? The only difference between you and them comes down to faith. There's a difference in the man who believes in a better day. Cause once you believe it's past, you're willing to wilt away. We was never willing to be the same We want it all in the long run They want it all today My father is really awesome Don't bother with giving snakes Regardless, I can't control it So either way, giving thanks Yep, you could take that one to the bank A leader without a rank A speaker without a face A people without a race They eating without a taste They scheming without a safe The meanings have been replaced Another time, another place We could talk about it Keep some oil in them lamps Don't get caught without it Want them once, want them twice Then never talk about it If you never get a second chance Then that ain't meant to happen What I understand is You ain't trying to understand Take a hundred, hundred grand Then a hundred undergrads Pay them all to make a plan But they couldn't comprehend What it means to never die But somehow still be born again It's a letter to the people I'm penning it like I'm Paul It don't matter about the evil It matter about the God It don't matter about the weapons It matter about how you warmed All that matters is the Weather when weather to bet the farm.
we're jail. Come on. Nah, I mean it. Hey. It's 4, 4, 4 p.m. I have 4 p.m. when I wake up, bitch. Hey. Shout out to Percy, that's me. You can just call me JP. I do not answer no questions. You can leave that to key. Camilla riding with me. She'll lock you up for some weed. Say bad things about that vaccine. I'ma make sure you don't speak. Got a laptop you won't see. Hunter, I love her, but that shit was weird with his feet. I love my congressman trade. Shout out to Nancy, she paid. Double your gas in a day. Them must say Putin's to blame. Real politics in your face. 500 bill on the way. 500 mil to Ukraine. Every day. Javelin's keeping them safe. Fuck it, just send them some planes. Tell them keep growing them grains. Hey, all of my bros and they old. None of their borders is closed. All of us got climate goals. All of us traded. Together, strategically releasing the ore They said that Putin won't fall They in my cabinet no more Fuck the squad, fuck the foe Had a nine, fuck a roll Now we goin' pack the coat Hunter, my dog, that's for sure We ain't gon' fall about shit Especially not 10% We ain't gon' fall about hoes Me and Nance get the votes Lobby that shit on the low I got Congress in control I got your student low froze I got your mortgages froze I got Keystone on froze But mention and cinema froze <laughs> I'm getting faded, I'm eating this ice cream I don't like voting to ID. Questions from press that's unlikely. Bring up Trump if they don't like me. They give me the Eddie, yeah, I wake up. Passion bills, that's a layup. I'm the big man, I got say so. They lock you down if I say so. Booster on booster on booster. Mandate on mandate on mandate. I just get EV a test rate. Fuck you, Elon, I won't even say your name. Came in the office already bowling. Silent to change my name to Stalin. Read off the screen and I'm gone with the wind. Do nothing but something till they pass a bill. Pull up in a brand new Benz truck. Hop a fresh and did a brand fresh. How I got it, how to zest. Yeah, how I got it, make it one car. Chasing on your black, took off. Mixing up my words, I'm lies. Who I think they mad? My fault. Talking about inflation, I cost. Turn me to a savage One dollar saved on a gallon Fuck OPEC and King Salmon And fresh, I'm, I'm tired Just wanna let me merge My 
Driving got my girlfriend stressing Screaming in my ear like a bird They said they wait an hour to charge Like for real though, what are you doing this for? Like ask yourself that. Hey Flash, hey, turn this shit up. Flash. Took a while to get here, told the dad it's take care. You could ask my mama been hustling since daycare. So I had a lot of time to get me all these haters. Talking God in every song because he showed me favor. But don't get it wrong, Tyrone, you meet the maker, I'm a weirdo. Study coaches around the planet, learn the earnings in the balance, serve a purpose, not a man. I'm a working in the famine, I learn working from the end. I'm the sickest motherfucker that you never seen before. I care about the final score and worry about the leader ball. What the fuck you smiling for? Start acting like you've been before. I'm just trying to live my life, watch all the seeds I'm playing grow. There's some shit you probably read about Business sick can stitch you with some words to make you sleepy, yeah But I just made a million trading news up off the TV, yeah I put that shit on YouTube, now the youth is trying to be me now So, take notes and not granted Stay woke and upstanding by hope and sell panic That's a lesson in disguise, so you might want to rewind that Sell it on the high, decay time, then I buy back I'ma take it, it's flagrant, but take it, take patience I'm stalking, then waiting, then trade it Support it or hate it, I love your engagement I came from the basement like Dre said Started from the bottom, how I get here Lots of risk management, I focus on the 10 year All that matters, what's not when, just patient till it get here I'ma do this till I'm dead, I hope I'm making this clear <laughs> Feel me, you should kill me, otherwise pay me no mind But if you wise, pay me your time up Try to fly and pay the fine, do what you want, your life ain't mine Ask my brother, ask my bitch, everything I take my time You trying to ride, I'ma teach you how to move When the only option losing, the environment is fools Let me inspire what to do, give them some value, speak the truth The shit I'm speaking, this ain't new the way I speak it, make it cool, I dumb it down, I act a fool I'ma kick this lesson in, this one encompass all of it You only get one light to live, you blow it then you dumb as shit Money, you start coming in, make sure you pay the government Just learn the game, do what they say, to teach you how to duck that shit yeah. I'm talking escorts, LLCs, this a loophole melody Feel like I'm Pablo Medellin, I gave my people what they need I told my God I had a dream, he like for real, you telling me You think it's coming that easy, so Yeah why you think I'm on my grind? I treat this life like it ain't mine For that been beaten and despised I've been seen, I've been admired I've been angry all the time I've been tired on this fire But that's the devil, he a lie <laughs>
the fastest Generation past that can't pass this Could be inflation change and saving patterns Cheap to the banks, it games to get faster Don't want debate, I'd rather it change gradual Cause I can slowly take it, the patient out of the battle Hope I'm motivating, cause patience is hard to master I told them I'd be great and they wait and they watch it happen Imagine, people seeing colors when I speak But they don't believe in God, but they sound like magic to me I be preaching Babylon while I'm babbling on the beat I'm happy you tag the lawn, but don't tag me, you'll be your beat No happy you enjoy the beat, I started this shit for free The word just rewarded me for doing rewarding things I'm more than this little speech Don't hold material things I'm not a mortal technique Bright hip hop to Wall Street huh? <laughs> Subscribe and hit the like If you feel the vibe <laughs> The chat come alive Month of Friday night nah. <laughs> Why you always on that deep shit? Talk about your crib up on the beach shit The girls up in the DM I just saw the prof picking that she looking sexy Why you wear Adidas? I can see you in Javenshi Never trying to tempt me silly You think you got some demons? Imagine you had a milli Ain't nothing no one tell me My teacher don't drive a Bentley The doctor ain't living healthy My lawyer is fucking deadly So I think you get the pick I'm trying to paint Difficult could take a day Impossible take a train They talk a lot of shit But successes are never safe Her life's a talking to bitches That's never playing the game I'm glad we ain't built the same You lucky I'm built for fame, can kill me, I'm back again Got the spirit from Nazareth While well, I'm grabbing the Benjamins and I grow it, ain't spending it While you holding and flexing it, they gon' vote me for president, bitch <laughs> Subscribe and hit the like if you feel the vibe <laughs> Yeah, the chat come alive, I'm gonna fry her now What's up, man? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. You know what I noticed? You know what I noticed, bro? Literally, ever since, ever since F-350 came out, they started saying EV demand is at is at lows. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Is that, is that just me? I'm just saying. I think F-350, that, that could have marked the top of EV, man. I said, I don't drive an EV. I do, though. I have one. It's fucked up. That's all I'm saying. Nah, you want... What did they... Where's it at? Where's it at? Somebody wanted something. Where is it? I'll play this one for you. I don't know. I feel like we need to hear this one today. I don't know why. This one just... It makes me laugh. You need this one. You need this one. You need this one. Hey. I bought Bitcoin on the. <laughs> this is all, man. If you bought Bitcoin when this song man. came out, oh, stop it. It's like, uh, I bought Bitcoin on the high. Drop more than half by July. Was made by a random guy. He too rich for them to find. I bought Bitcoin on the high. Drop more than half by July. Was made by a random guy. He too rich for them to find That one, bro, this one I was listening to this one the other day, bro I like this one Yeah, I'm off the racks, racks, racks Yeah, I'm off the racks, racks, racks I'm off the racks, racks, racks It's all old uncle, bro It's very old uncle I'm off the racks, racks, racks Did another deal, how I make you feel You cannot do what I do I had a dream, it came true So carrying the bag and the carry-on too Why are you worried about things that I do? I am not hurried, no way no one making me move Nah, I'm all the way on Mount Rack Ten a hundred bands to a straw pack They hating me, this a straw man It's sweatpants, no bar man Nah, I do not fuck with your aura Only gonna talk if you taking my order Showing my face, give a fuck about Forbes It's making these traits feeling something like Sora yeah. That one. I'm off the racks, racks, racks. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know this one. We haven't listened to this one. I've been a foreign, rapping about. That should get boring. Looking around, things weren't important. Before it go down, I'm gonna short it. Mama ain't proud. I ain't a lawyer, but it's tell her. I got a coat, need me a castle. I want a moat. Financials are fragile. Watch it wear clothes. The technicals lagging. That shit a joke. This shit a fact. I'm not trying
on the boats. I got me a strap, I played on both. I always watch candles, come get the smoke, yeah. Hey, this is the realest shit. Reminiscent, feel 0607, switching, then we dip. They said the Fed ahead of this, invest the sentiment with shit, but they only just seen a blip. They thought it'd be reliever quick. You smart, you buy with fear resist. <laughs> I'm breaking it down and I'm kicking the facts. I love when they laugh when I say it'll crash. Just give me like a minute, I'll take you to class. Shout out to Najee like, 2014, see, see, baby. Saw baby. Naji first damn, cheap baby. energy, make China in the margin markets rip. But Russia's you on to some shit. Cause Russia's really on some they shit. They paved the way they to take Ukraine and, and said they gonna annex it. Like, whoa. That was the first sanction. Hundred dollar barrels down to 80 started tanking. But as it got cheaper, more producers started cranking. Output kept raising. Lower futures kept on trading. Same time, China. China bubble racing. We should've known it's trailing, <laughs> but nobody was caring. How could that affect us? Why the dips effective? If money was the medicine, and yelling wrote the script. Yelling. They don't feel me. But let's go back to Shanghai. Let's talk to them central bank guys. The market's down 60, so they had to move swiftly. Devalued in the day more than they have in a whole quarter century. But nobody thought that's fishy. <laughs> okay. Three years, currency even weaker, EM growth even bleaker. Where it goes, they don't know, but need a leader. LTR, not talking leaders. Long term rates is what I mean. Or invert the curve and set the theater. Once it turns, they'll be believers. They see near, I saw for meters. Now it's here, so now they hear it. And I don't need it. <laughs> Y'all don't feel me. I don't feel me. Tell him, Uncle. Tell him. Tell him, tour. I don't know about a tour with Uncle. I told you, though, man. I need a. I still have time. I found a location. I want to do I want to do the comedy show, bro. I got some funny ass shit that I can't say on the internet that I could only say in a in a closed room of people in my safe space. You know, and I'm I can't wait. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That's it. I don't know. I'm I'm really I'm really vibing with that still, bro. I'm really really vibing with that on Twitch. Even on Twitch though, I don't know. It's just something that's it. I don't know. I like it. It's gonna be good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You better be careful, Fidel Castro. What's up, Mikey? How you living, Mikey? You just coming in after hours? Just you just trying to get it? You like you sound like Patrick Mahomes, Fidel Castro. What's up, man? I I, I clown on you, but it's hard to say your last name. You know what I'm saying? So I'll just let that be the challenge in life that you have to face. So I love you, man. God bless you. God bless you, and good morning, good evening, good night. What's up, Chattadonia? Happy Friday. Oh, how was it, man? Uh-huh. What's going on, bro? How you living, bro? What's up, Chattadonia? You had a good one? You have a good one, man? I hope you had a good one, bro. I hope you had a good one. Good week? A lot going on. What up, on Haru? How you living, man? How's San Fran? You want the 49ers to win? What's going on, baby? What's going on, baby? Are you stayed? Putin can wait. Bible study can. That's good, man. Mr. Left Eye. What's going on, man? What do we have? That's it, man. We Week number six, bro. What's next? What's next, man? What do we got? What are y'all doing on this sixth weekend? You had six weekends so far. This is the sixth one. What are you doing on it, man? Oh, come on. We just got DraftKings? No way. It's everywhere. Are you going to bet on it? Oh, man. What's good? How we living, man? What's going on? What's that? You looking at earnings calendar, scouting some plays, Biogen? Are oh, you focused on selling homes, doing showings? Someone said Putin's to blame. Real politics in your face. I'm the one who fixes them. Wait, what do you fix? Do you fix the gambling apps? Oh, man. Let's see, man. What do we got? I'll pick up my parents tomorrow from the airport. Nice. Enjoy it. You're getting good at 2K. Are you actually, though? We'll find out, man. I'll play with you. But if you suck, like, nah, man, come on. Did you fix the Jets? Oh, let's go, baby. Yeah, I'm ignoring like Joe. Work, gym, and hockey. I forgot you a hockey player. It still blows my mind. Friends, kids getting baptized. Wow, going to go to that. Lad is great. That's good, man. Let's go. I'm on a, down to run 2K. We'll get up. We'll go on in like 30 minutes, an hour. We'll see. Let's vibe with the chat for a little bit, and then I'm down. Showing for some clients, filming YouTube videos, watching the Super Bowl. I think you're the first one who said watching the Super Bowl. 
as ironic as that may be. Appreciation weekend for the new licks we've been hitting and go KC, baby. All right, man, stay at the game. Read the richest man of Babylon. It's a great idea. I'm a center, bro. I don't have multiple like builds. Like I have fun. I have a lot of fun as the center. I had another build, small forward, and I would I would play with that until like we needed a center when I played with the Chads. But nah, man, don't go waste. You need to find a build that you like and don't be wasting. There's a reason Take Two went down. They 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 trying to sell you that VC, bro. Come on, small. You play 2K? You mad? You ain't add me yet, 2K? Are you mad? Come on. I didn't know you mad raps and then he freestyles when I'm not there. Now he play 2K when I'm not there. Come on, Canada. Oh, I could pass. I have 95 pass accuracy. It blows people's minds. They get shocked. They're like, you're a center and your top rating is pass accuracy? Exactly. I'm seven foot in the body. I'm Steve Nash in the body of Shaq, bro. Uh-huh. I don't feel me, bro. Bro, I almost average a triple-double. My stats, I'm like four assists away a game from averaging a triple-double. They don't feel me, bro. They don't feel me. May have, yeah, they, they, the, the 2K sales went down. That's literally what they said on earnings. NBA 2K24 was a soft spot. It did not do as good as they thought, and that's after them scamming everybody for them damn VC, bro. Kind of crazy. You got to work during the Super Bowl? No worries. I'm sure where you work at. Do they play it at your work? Figure some things out on the email. Oh, bro, I did see that. Do you want me to talk about it now? If anything, though, maybe, I mean, if how soon is that going to happen? I could give you a call because I'm helping somebody else with something like that. But realistically, you probably are going to want to put some into bonds because that's a lot of money where you won't even have to worry about it ever again. But definitely real estate, too. You get a little bit in passive real estate. That I could appreciate while giving you, you know, income. But then, bro, you put that into the bonds, you'll be good to go. You're filing for unemployment. Really? Wait, are you allowed to even if they give you the severance? No way. No retail clothing. We got to do inventory. Uh, you could put it in the headphones. But even then, like, all that matters is the commercial in the fourth quarter. You found an audio book of Richard's Man. Yeah, it's good, bro. I used to listen to the audiobook when I would drive to Vegas. Every time I drive to Vegas, I'd listen to Richest Man in Babylon. It's kind of ironic, but yeah. I invest in any EA game. Nah, Take Two makes Take Two makes NBA 2K. EA doesn't EA doesn't have the licensing for NBA. That's why there used to be NBA Live. I used to love NBA Live. And then they switched it over to damn 2K. I used to hate 2K. Because it sucked. And then it, then it, they, they got the exclusive license for the N NBA. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. Take two makes GTA. Mm -mm. I haven't looked in, but if you're late. I thought it's like when your severance ends, you could do it. See, man. I would like some firsthand insight. We could get into this. We can learn how it finally works. Those scammers. EA makes NHL, NBA, nah. EA don't make any NBA games. They're not allowed to. Mm -mm. It's brilliant. Which one? The uh, Rich Man of Babylon? It is, bro. It's great, man. Plan for CPI Day? Just play it. See what happens. See what happens. I mean, if there's a big shift, I think the market will shift big. If not, we go from there. I had to go on employment back because I claimed and got severance. Oh, really? Search for Joe Biden on 2K? Uh, no, it's Stock Market Live. My, my player's name is Joseph Biden. It sucks because when you play Pro-Am, they say your name. It'll go, like when I play with Mikey, it says Michael, and then it says his last name. Every time I get a basket, it goes, Joseph, number 46. I'm like, man, does you get it? They they literally edited it out. You could talk about it. Shoot me over your number. I'm sure I have it in the database somewhere, but make it easy on me. But we could schedule that. How soon, though? When are you going to be getting that? Uh, you could email me, too, if you want. But let me know the timing of it. But ideally, you probably get a couple of properties or maybe one property with several units. And then I'd put a lot of money in bonds right now, at least for a little bit, just because the rates are high right now. 
And then, obviously, I hope you guys have factored in tax stuff, too. Brian's talking in 20s. Yeah, he's doing it again. Yeah, he's talking. He threw a hundo down, too, man. God bless you, Brian. He does it on any day, no matter what the day, though. That's what I like about Brian. He just be showing love. It's not like he only doing it when he hitting certain plays. That's why I'm like, man, this guy's just showing love all the time, man. God bless you. Mm hmm. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. What else we got for the weekend, bro? What else? We got 6.4 thousand on Twitter. Really? I thought there was only like two people. No way. That's awesome. That's fucking dope. We'll see. We'll turn on the chat on Monday. We'll do number two. I hope too. You got some chads on the on the damn Twitter there. I hope they were able, a lot of chads. They were like, I'm surprised. Even chads popped up. They're like, Josh. I'm like, what? I ain't seen you in years. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. That was total. Yeah, concurrent. I don't. I feel like the max was like 200, and then it faded throughout the rest of the day. It's still not bad though. Not bad. I think that's more than Twitch. Twitch will do like 3,000. I think total in the day. Twitch is still pretty low key. X chat. Maybe I'll go live on Snapchat. But everything I say disappears after 10 seconds. Well, I guess that's how live normally works. I guess I didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. I don't think the chat has seen you in years. They haven't? Yeah, man. I don't know where they've been at. Well, some of them, some of them have seen me actually. Just depends, you know. At least at over a hundred people, they've given me a hug. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. How long have you been subscribed? I'd have to check. I see you made your account. You made this YouTube account ten years ago. Am I rooting for the 49ers? I like Brock Purdy, but I don't I don't I don't like the 49ers. But then I don't like the Chiefs. Honestly, I'm just kind of disappointed by both of these teams. This had to drop right after the market closed. Man, well, even then though, we had that play in the morning, bro. They scammed us. Chiefs taking it on Beam Energy. I don't know, man. It's Friday. Your name is Jesus in stocks. The market is closed, Jesus in stocks. Come on, bro. You know, but that's it. You playing golf, though, this weekend? That's nice. I like it. I like it. I still need to learn how to golf. You know, I really do. You know, I have to golf. You got a 1,000 on the Chiefs. One of your friends just got picked up by the 49ers practice squad. Nice. Start your taxes this weekend? Yeah. I guess, damn, it is almost April, huh? That's crazy. It's already February now that I think about it. And then next week is going to be the... Next week is going to be middle of... That's crazy, bro. Time flies when you're having fun, Chad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted a chief in lines. Would have got an Eminem, Taylor Swift. Yeah, right? He say, Taylor... I don't know if you played for Baylor with the Sailor with another Avela or are you more like Iggy Azalea? I don't know, but Zalia is making me crazy. I need lasagna and my pasta and Patrick Mahomes. Do you not know him? I don't know. I feel like I, I don't know if that's my Eminem. You know what I'm saying? I'd be cool, though. The dead dog, that'd be, that'd be dope, man. You're right. My Super Bowl pick, I don't really have one, unfortunately. I'm not really excited about this at all. I really, like, I think those are the most uneventful teams. San Fran and, and Kansas City, bro. Like, those are just, nah, I'm not, not with it. Something about San Diego picking up Colin Kaepernick? Oh, that'd be dope. I feel like he'd fit in. Ravens would have been hype. Lions. Any Ravens versus Niners, that would have been nice. Was that even possible? Did we cancel the Super Bowl in 2020? 
No, we had the Super Bowl. Then everybody, I was buying water from Costco. And they're like, is that for the Super Bowl? And I was like, yeah, asshole. And people were taking pictures of me loading up my G-Wagon with water a month before they locked everybody down. <laughs> I said, come on. Yeah, remember we packed everybody into Miami, partied, and we're like, nah, it's not a thing, man. And now the people who tell me to wear a mask, they got mad at me when I told them to wear a mask. That's the irony of all of it. It all switched up. It's fucking crazy. It's, it was so... That was the weirdest switch up ever, bro. You have no idea. Mm-hmm. With the pasta. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> How the turns table. They still... Dude, I see that a lot. Bro, for real, I straight up see people with masks a lot. And they be driving with masks by themselves. I'm like, wow. I'm glad my mom got over it, though. Remember how long it took my mom to, like, go outside? Like, now my mom, like, well, again, she'll go out to dinner with me. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Mm -mm. I used to vlog outside in cars, cruising, giving game while you stop. It takes time, and then people also, like, I don't like driving around. Showing where I'm at all the time. I like living peacefully. But I did get quiet on social media. I didn't even realize, even from, like, a couple Instagram posts. I need, I didn't, I need to, like, be annoying and, like, and like market and do all that. But then again, like, I don't know. It's It's been kind of peaceful. But then again, I don't know if I'm getting too comfortable with my, with my peacefulness. But then again, too, like, at one point, I was dealing with, like, a lot of weird shit, bro. You have no idea. You have no idea, but I'll try to do one for you, man. I'm down. I'm down. Mm -mm -mm. Theoretically, COVIDs are the worst. Scaling pretty well. well. Yeah, but like that's what I was saying, though. I said it on the one video, the, the ghetto standard deviation. It's just sad because like, I don't like... I don't like the culture of social media, but like that's marketing. Unfortunately, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to like, literally we hit all those plays. I don't post, like I'll tell you on stream. We'll talk about it on a watch list. You know what I'm saying? Like it all every day gets drowned out with everything else. But it's like, I'm not like, if I post every single thing, if I'm posting every car, I'm dry. I told you I bought a new car. I, I actually have another one, too, that's on the way. I got to sell the other one. That one's going to go out the door. But I'm like, I ain't even posted. But it's just like that shit will get you views. That'll get you followers. That'll get people like, yo, yo, what's this? How do I? Yo, wait, you're live? When are you live? But it's just like, I'm, I don't know. I don't like it just doesn't feel like I like doing that anymore. It's a lot of work, not to mention it's just like it doesn't really like I don't care. <laughs> it's like it's just too much, uh, you know, too much to deal with never said what it was yeah it's gonna once maybe once it's sold what car i can't tell you man there's no that's what i'm saying like it'd be cool i get views people stalking the stalking phases have kind of i think they got kind of over it and then again i got to handle some of it in other instances you know but at the end of the day it's been chill i like the peace man it's been very peaceful you know like i'm saying like i do what i love because like i love doing it but like when you like to do it to like get attention is just different. And like, I don't want that much attention. <laughs> like, I don't know. I like attention at, at certain times, but like at other times too, I'm like, you know what? I'm really just like living peacefully, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really just chilling, bro. I, I just, I get to do something I love every day and I get to still, you know, have an impact on the world as well as, everything else you know i get to i have fun with my mom my dad my brothers and sisters i get to hang out with my girlfriend i got i got, I got a beauty you know and nobody even know what she looked like no one have to i don't have to deal with it i could go outside it's nice man it's peaceful man i just live a life mm -hmm. so it's good man i just vibe but it sucks though because i'm telling you i feel i, I yesterday though i was kind of like I felt bad I didn't post because so many people are like, oh, I didn't see you for this long. And, oh, I needed that. I need to go do that. I'm like, oh, man. 
Because I, I feel, though, like posting all the time, just being annoying and reminding people, what's up? What's up? But then again, I'm like, maybe I should be annoying with positive messages. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should get y'all out there because some people is good. It's good to see them. And uh, I didn't think those posts yesterday on Instagram would, like, impact anybody, but they did. And I was like, no fucking shit. So let's go, man. Let's go. Well, like, either way, man, God is good. I think he got a plan, and I'm I'm glad. I'm glad to be here, though, above all else. Mm-mm. You don't want attention from the Internet, but this type of community with stocks, probably a lot less weirdos. <laughs> Are you new? Are you, like, new to the stock market? <laughs> The stock market has the weirdest personalities. You're dealing with like money and like everything in the world, the news, the politics. I'm, dude, I'm, you're like one. St- like that's why I get like the weird fetish only fans, dudes. Like, no, dude, I've been in the market for years now, bro. Even on the damn Bloomberg, ter- they're all fucking weird, bro. That's why I'm saying like, I, I it would be cooler if I did anything else. Then I would I could handle that like way ten times easier, and that I would be way more chiller with that. You don't get no stalkers for like making music or do dude. The stock market is fucking wild. You have no idea, bro. They all crazy. That's what I'm on my like, damn. Like stock market is just weird, bro. It attracts the weirdest of the weirdest, and that's okay. I mean, it makes sense. I'm a weirdo too, and I think some of y'all are kind of weird too, but. At the end of there's like there's like I, I I really mean like you could be weird and you could be weird like me, but I I'm I really believe there's a lot of like mental illness in the stock market. No lie. No lie, bro. That's in that it's scary too. Like I'm telling you, bro, I've had stalkers, like real ass stalkers, and I d I didn't know I didn't even know who they are. Like again, I eventually I found out who they were, but it's just like, dude, like it's a weird Like, you don't really realize it, bro, but, like, people be going through a lot, and then they they end up in the market, and then whatever happens in the market, and then the world, and then the politics, and then they they either get hyper-radicalized by left or right, bro. It's, like, it's sad, bro, but, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of crazy in the market. You would be surprised. Oh, yeah. If you're new, you'll you'll learn it. You'll you'll get what I'm saying at a later time for sure. Mm Mm-hmm. Stalkers, you're an invisible man. I know that's what I'm saying, though. But like, yo, if you got something going on up there, you're not not all the way there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, they're like, I have to find out what's what's he hiding. He doesn't show himself. He said God. He said this. He said that. He said he made a thousand percent. Nobody makes a thousand percent in a day. This, this, dude, he said he didn't like Tesla. It's, I don't know, bro. It's wild. But God is good, though, man. I don't have to deal with that as much anymore, which is good. I mean, but then again, I just I live my peaceful life, man. I let everybody do what they need to do. That's it, man. It's it's crazy. It's a crazy world, man. Mm, it's the love of money that changes people. Amen. And a lot of other things, dude. I don't know how to describe it. I'm telling you. I definitely think this was, uh, I got like a, a, a good uh, experience that I didn't, I couldn't really have prepared for. That's the best way to put it. None of you would have been able to. I'm just, it's just something you don't know until you like deal with it. And it's just like, it's the word you might, you might deal with it one day. I think some of you, if you like talk about stocks all the time, you may like, you're going to find a random stalker one day. You're going to like, it's weird. You never had like an internet beef. That's it's always the weirdest shit in the world, bro. Internet beef is crazy. But then like people like but then the weird part is just like I don't engage with it, but then they'll still beef with me. It's wild. It's wild. You're famous but not really. I know it's fucking awkward, dude. I'm like a C list, D list celebrity. You know, that's it. I got a good real estate portfolio, but like I but like it's just weird. That's why I'm like, why do you like why don't you give this attention to anybody else like who's like bigger? Earthquake where? Hawaii or Cali? Hold on. I'm trying to feel it. I didn't feel it. Usually I feel. There's one in Hawaii earlier. I don't feel it. But then sometimes I'm just stupid about it. 
That hit hard. How big was it? You didn't feel. Usually we feel it if it's in L.A. I tell, dude, the other day there was an earthquake and I was upstairs. And, dude, my, I was like, dude, if there was a big earthquake, I'm fucked. Because my house was like, I felt that shit like wobble, dude. And I heard it, and I was like, nah. Yeah, I'm prepared, but dude, nah, bro. These houses in Cali are made out of paper. You have no idea. You got, I got a nice house too, bro. And I, I felt very uncomfortable. I was like, oh, dude, if this thing was any bigger, I'm dead if I'm upstairs. Even then, bro, it just felt like paper. It was the wildest thing ever. I was freaking out. My girlfriend was like, it's not even that bad. I was like, you don't even, you're not even from here. The fuck you, you've been through one half of an earthquake. What are you saying? And I was, dude, I was like, nah, man. Like if this, if it was, I think it was like a four point something. And if it was like, bro, if I like, if we had a seven or an eight, I think I'm done. There's no way this house holds up. I'm telling you, bro, it's crazy. Yeah, seven miles from, uh, Thousand Oaks, four point seven right now. Mm hmm. You never been in one? It's weird. Like, you don't know what to do. Like that's what I'm saying. The other day, I was upstairs and I really felt it, and it was like wobbling. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like wobbling, and like for the first like couple of seconds, you're like looking around, like what do I do? Or you're like, what's you? It takes a while to comprehend. At least like a hurricane. It's wet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's clouds. There's rain. You know some shit's happening. A tornado. The thing about an earthquake is like you're just like for a little bit. You're like, what the f wait? Hold up. What's really happening? Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Yeah, it takes. There's definitely a lag in processing it every time, no matter what. That's great. Am I drunk or the earth? Kind of. Or you're like, what the, what's happening? It's weird. It feels like it's kind of like getting high. Like the, like the, the, everything, like your vision, things just start moving and then you don't know. You're like, am I sober? Or like, wait, what the fuck's happening? Maybe that's really what it feels like. You were in Vegas. Oh, a, a Vegas earthquake. That'd be scary. Like on the strip. High rise. No, I'm not even in the high rise. That's why I've been in an earthquake in a high rise and it wasn't that bad. But, like, still, it's like, dude, today was, or the other day, it was like, and the, the house freaked me out. Because I was like, dude, this thing will collapse. I never felt that, like, I was like, oh, shit, I'm living in a paper box. Because I was like, dude, if that was only a four or a five, I just, like, heard things moving. And it was like, I was, like, moving, bro. I, my house felt like it was a boat. And I was tripping out, bro. I sure for half time. Brian! He's communicating in 20. I am, man. You don't have to call. It's okay, Chan. I'm going to be all right tonight. I'm like, you remind me of a girl that I once knew. See your face in every eye. I look at you. I love I love, I love Usher, man. And we'll see. MGIH after hours. They have a fault line next to the Raiders stadium. I saw a conspiracy video the other day. It was talking about like there's going to be like an eclipse in April. And it crossed the same path like the lunar and solar. And then it's in Cairo. Have you guys heard of Cairo in the United States? Or it's called like Little Egypt or something. And that's like the major fault line in the U.S. Have y'all heard about that? Have you seen, have you seen that? Have you seen it? Am I the only one who saw that? I, right, Cairo, yeah, I watched it because literally I, it, it came up on a TikTok and then I ran out of service. So it was the only video I could watch. You, you know what I'm saying? It was already loaded up and I was like, well, fuck. Oh, you ain't heard that? Oh, wow. I'm getting exclusive tin. Where is it? Like Cairo, Ohio. 
Fault line. You never you never heard of this thing? What's it called? You just, let me see if I have it. I forgot. It's called something. It has a specific name. I can't believe they give me this tin and y'all don't get I thought y'all would have had this. I don't know if I have it. What's it called? It has like a, a re, like a name. It's like this something fault line and it's like the biggest in the, it like literally runs through the middle of the United States. Does anybody know what that's called? It's like a big fault line that goes through Cairo, Ohio, and like it like splits like the is it is it the New Madrid fault? Not the San Andreas fault lines. Right here. So this is the like earthquake risk map. It's right here. So apparent, but I don't know. There's a fault line. That's Cairo. This is where Cairo is. Yeah, it has to do with the Mississippi or something like that. Uh-huh. Is it Madrid? And it's like there's a huge fault line that goes all the way through here. Let me see. Yeah, I think it is New Madrid, uh-huh. I think. If it goes to, yeah, Ohio, Illinois, I think that's it. Cali looks crazy. Hawaii. Yeah, bro, I'm fucked. That's the only thing bad about Cali. But yeah, that's like, that was the whole, but the tin was like, so, like, the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse, if you look at their trajectories, they both, I think there's going to be an eclipse in 24 in April. The tinfoil is that they both, like, their crossing point is right over Cairo, Ohio, the New Madrid fault line. They X there, exactly. Yeah, that, that, you saw it. Uh-huh, that's the whole, that's the tinfoil. So that's why they'd be like, oh, yeah, something, there's going to be a huge earthquake or something. Was it Cairo, Illinois? I thought it was Cairo, Ohio. Maybe they don't rhyme. Cairo, Ohio. I'm going to leave. I mean, ye with little faith. The Lord already knows how I'm going to die. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't tripping. If God want me taken out in an earthquake... Let his will be done. If he wants me to survive that and make a movie about it, let his will be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, he already knows. So I ain't tripping. Vin Lloyd on IG. I, want, I wish I could show you a video of it. But I don't... Is that like Major Tin, though? Am I not... Are you allowed to talk about that? I don't see a Vin Lloyd. I haven't known the number will be called. Amen, man. It's priced in. Mm -hmm. I do have earthquake insurance. You know, on one of my properties, an insurance company, they try to, dude, they're trying to cancel my policy. I got this the other day. I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Like, I was like, dude, so I'm I'm talking to them now, but they're being hella weird. They try to refund my payment and say, no, we're not going to cover it. I'm like, what are you, fuck are you saying right now? The one time, time I saw him in concert, you, were too, you already seen him before? You fell asleep after he came out. You were too drunk. You've been to a usher? Back in the day, that must have been hype, bro. Get a helicopter? Nah. I'm over that.
but I still kind of want one. Either you're getting canceled or increased. Yeah, but they didn't like try to, they didn't say anything about raising it and then they try to refund it. I'm working with them now, but I don't know if they even want more money or if they're trying to back out of it. I'm like, what the fuck you mean you're backing out? You can't do that. I'm 40 now. Damn, so was that like what? When was the last Usher concert? Dude, because he was big, bro. I was a kid. That's how I know all of this shit. But like, I remember Usher was like, that's what sucks, bro. I never had the ability to like dance. I was never like smooth like that. Like, I wish I, I could sing. You know, I think I could sing now in country, but like, I never knew how to like, like, like I was never like a Chris Brown, like, you know, but I wanted to be. I wish I could have been Usher, you know, like in my mind, I see myself as Usher. Does that make sense? Are you guys the same way? But like in my mind, I think I'm smooth as hell. Like I feel like I'd be like doing like, like I'm doing it now. I'm like moonwalking now, but like I, but then it's not like I, I, I realize that I don't have it like that. I wish, bro. Too that we all did, bro. Or at least I'm not the only one. Like I'm mad I didn't have that that gift, you know. Like the Lord gave me different gifts, but like he was like, I'm not gonna make you an R and B pop star. I was like, well, that's bullshit. I thought I would have done really well. I would have loved to serenade and dance. You remind me of a girl that I once knew. You're a pro singer. We should do karaoke. I'm surprisingly really bad at karaoke because the words sometimes throw me off or like when the little bouncing ball on the karaoke or how it lights up. We did karaoke once. I did it with my girlfriend and my friend came, my homie from college and then her friend. And then like I was the worst at it. I was the worst at karaoke, bro. It's fucked up. It was really bad. I don't know. Like I'm surprisingly really, really bad at at karaoke. It is easier without the lyrics sometimes. But then you don't know all the lyrics. That's the thing. Your son's eight. He's been in dance classes. Is he good? Is he smooth? Reading and singing is hard. But it's just like how you do it. Like, because it'll be like, it'll light up halfway. Like, have you ever seen like a karaoke? Do you guys want to try it? Let me see. Yeah, like this is how you do it. Come on, Chad, let's get into it. No, I don't want flowers. No, no, where's America? What's that song where she comes to America? Party in the US, <laughs> I put America. Yeah, no, this one. This is how you do a karaoke, this is what we did. We put up the YouTube, we tried it. Ready? Party in the USA. It's hard, bro. You can try it with me if you like. Uh, I said America. My Lisa is America. Yeah. 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 Uh, hopped out the plane at LAX. It's a dream in my heart again. Welcome to the land of fame and success. Am I gonna see how it moves? Jumped in the cab, here I am for the first time Look to the right and I see the Hollywood sign See, it's hard It's hard, bro Things so famous They turning and I'm feeling kinda homesick Too much pressure and I'm nervous That's the next scene, man Turn on the radio, see it's hard It's the speed, bro AZ saw was on And the Jay-Z saw was on So I put my hands up Play you my song and the butterflies fly away yeah, moving my hands like yeah. And my hands, it's hard, bro. It's hard. I know you're doing it right now. I know you're doing it right now. Stop laughing at me. But you ain't singing along in your room. And it's fucking hard. You see how I move? Yeah, party in the USA. I'm to the club in my taxi cab. Everybody's looking at me now. Like, who's that chick that's rocking kick? She gotta be from out of town. So hard with my dance fucking hard. She ran me, cause all I see were stilettos. I guess I never got the memo. Tell me turning and I'm feeling kinda homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. So the DJ dropped my favorite girl. And the Britney song was on. Exactly. 
was on, was on. Exactly. Britney song was on. Exactly. Yeah, you would pick this song. That's what I do. This is a karaoke classic. And I love America. You know what I'm saying? Like, But that shit's hard, bro. Y'all laughing at me, but like, try it. Exactly. You gonna see, bro. No, it's hard, bro. It's hard. I'm really bad at karaoke, bro. We tried. I, dude, we tried these. I would do Lady Gaga, but that's a sin. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Call me, man. I, I don't know this song. I don't even know. I don't even. Flesh in the well. Don't ask me. I'll never tell. I looked at you as it fell, and now you're in my way. I tried my soul for a wish. Pennies and dimes for a kiss. I wasn't looking for this. And now you're in my way. I don't know this song at all. How come I don't know that? I don't know this shit at all, bro. I have no idea what the melody should be. Hey, Joe. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. As hard to look like. At you, baby. But here's my number. <laughs> don't call me, maybe. Hey, I just uh, and this is crazy. And here's my number. Call me, maybe. Come on, see. I do. I, I did not know the first part of that song, bro. That that reminds me of this song. What's that song called? What's that song called? Have you you know this song, but have you ever listened to it, bro? No. What's that one? What's that one TikTok song? What you know about rolling down? What you know? What you? What's that song called? What you know about? Ro yeah, that one, bro. Have you heard this song, bro? No, this song, this one. You know this song, but I promise you, you have never heard the beginning or the end of it. It's crazy. Cause I remember I heard it and I tripped out. Astro, no. Bro, you've never heard this song though, but you've heard it. Uh, rolling down, oh, dude. It comes on. It's like an intro filler song. It's crazy. What you know oh, about, about rolling, rolling down, down in, in the, the deep? deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. I know when these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. I know motion. this. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut I know this. in the ocean. Hey, what you know about rolling, rolling down, down in the deep? When your brain you know, everybody goes knows numb, this. you can call but there's a whole song after when it. These people talk too much, put that and I don't know anything that's said. Blew my mind when I heard it. She said that I'm cool. I'm like, yeah, that's true. I believe in God. Don't believe in God. She keep playing me dumb. I'm a player of a fun. Y'all don't really know my mental. Let me give you the picture like stencil. Falling out in a drought. No flow, rain was I'm pouring down. See that pain was all around. See my mode was kind of lounge. Didn't know which which way to turn. Flow was cool, but I still felt burned. Energy up, you can feel my surge. I'ma kill everything like this purge. Let's just get this straight for a second. I'ma work, even if I don't get paid for progression. I'ma get it. Everything that I do is electric. I'ma keep it in a motion, keep it moving like kinetic. Yeah. Put this shit in a frame, better know I don't blame everything that I say. Man, I see you play. Let me elevate no. this in a prank. Have you walking on a plank? Both hands together, God, let me pray. Uh, I've been going right, right around. Caught and then he hit the hook and then everyone's like, what you know, and know about game. rolling down in the deep? Bro, my nephew loves this song. You know that? He'll be like, Imagine Dragon. I'm like, what the fuck show is that? First things first, I'm he knows all the lyrics all the words in it. My head. White boy. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, ooh, the way that things have been. Loves it. Crazy, bro. They pretty good. Yeah, I like it too. But like, I definitely like. I liked rap more. I was thinking, I oh, know I can. I told you that story, bro. I told you I got my ass beat because there was a line in the song where he goes up and he says he's talking about young girls like trying to grow up too fast. He says, "Be careful." For you in the club, then you meet a man with HIV, and one day they were like. They were, like, talking about, like, my sister, like, going out and, like, where she was. Or, like, she asked to go somewhere. And I told them, I said, nah, man, be careful. She might go to the club and meet a guy with HIV. My mom beat the shit out of me. I had no idea what I was saying. 
You know what I'm saying? I had no idea what I was saying. And then I got my ass whooped. And I was like, it's a song. It's a song. I thought that was, that was the worry. No, it's a real dude. I got my ass whooped. You have no idea. My mom looked at me. She was so mortified. But hey, whatever. I was being cautious. Oh, I can't, I'll tell you guys a joke, though. I have a joke, but it's not like it's it, it's funny and it'll sound like a joke. But this is just like a real life observation because I love like I like I like hotels. You know that like as much as I love Airbnb, I, I love hotels. You have no idea. I love Airbnb, but I love hotels. You know why I love hotels? I, it's a hate love relationship and it's not the $50 water and $40 Wi-Fi and parking. That's not it. Oh, Airbnb is too expensive. OK, buddy ignorant ass you just want it anyways no 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 it's the it's the television that's what i love about the hotels it's the television i never watch like i'll watch netflix i have my shows i'll watch my movies you know what i'm saying but like the only time i be watching television with like commercials and broadcasting you know what i'm saying is at a hotel and like local programming and then even nationwide programming. You get to see what people are advertising. It's insane. Like you get to see where there's a big, like, cause you realize if there's a commercial, that means they are spending hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars to reach a wide demographic that they think this is targeted towards, right? I learn so much about this world every time I watch TV just off of the commercials. You know what I learned recently on my latest trip? Number one, old people are trying to meet other old people on the Internet so that they could get jiggy with it. Yes, there's oldpeople.com something. I forgot the website. It's the most craziest ad. It's like old guys and they're like, well, yeah. My friend met a, 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 a older lady. I don't know how to do it. And they're like, all you do, open up your lap. And they put steps on how old people could have their own little Tinder. So I learned old people are trying to fuck. That blew my mind. That it's, that, that's like they spending a lot of money because these old people pay them. And they're like, fuck yeah, this is crazy. They doing that. That's number one. Number two, this one's going to blow your mind. This one's going to blow your mind. And I, I don't want to make it too raunchy, but like this is a real commercial. This commercial came on and I started feeling uncomfortable, bro. No, bro. I'm watching. This is like TNT. This is like main broadcast. I'm No, these are nationwide commercials. The other one, I didn't realize how big of a concern women have with smelly vaginas. Yes, I'm not. This is a commercial. I didn't know this was a problem they were worried about. Apparently... It's a bigger issue than I thought. Or it's, they were like, oh, I just put this shit everywhere because I noticed how bad I smell. Yep, Lumi, you, you know what it is. Look at that. You know what I'm talking about. Exactly. Bro, Loom. And they're like, I just roll it here. I just put it here. 24 hours of, of odor relief. I'm like, oh, my God, bro. No, this is in the middle of the day. And then the final one, I see these commercial. I'm like, I get worried sometimes because I'm like, I hope they're like, but then I know there's no targeting. But then I'm like, well, shit, I did not realize how many HIV treatments exist. And they have them everywhere. That's a Gilead for your ass, too. That's, a, that's, the, that's the latest biotech. I was like, well, shit, I also learned if I did get HIV, there is several treatments available. And I could only take them once a month instead of three times a month, like the other treatments. How do I know that? The commercials. It's crazy, bro. But that's what I learned. That's what I learned from watching TV. Yeah, bro. No, this is real, though. Go go, go watch. Go Next time you're at a hotel, just go play nationwide television, middle of the day, bro. You're going to find, you're going to learn about old people trying to fuck, smelly syndromes, and it's a big concern. And then there's a lot of HIV and a lot of treatments available. And that's that's what I learned last time. Mm -hmm. I was it's, it trips me out, bro. I can't wait till the next time I go to a hotel to see what's happening, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Watch, you'll notice it too, man. You'll notice it. You think I'm lying to you, man? This is real. But yeah, that was my that's my story. The last time I traveled. 
Mm -hmm. What happened? A lot happened, bro. Dude, it's great. Commercials are crazy, you know. I can't. I, I'm like, dude, what is this world be dealing with a lot of stuff? I never knew what was really an issue or not until I see the commercials. And I'm like, oh, they trying to get money, money out of this. They spending money to sell this. And there's like, it's wor it's working. That's why they still got the ad. They got the, the ad played five times by the time I watched the 20 minute show. Mm hmm. It's crazy. But yeah, that's my story. That's my story for you, Chad. What time is it? Dude, it's already been an hour. No way. No way. You see the Jordan Peterson video? Nah. Last time somebody sent me anything Jordan Peterson, they were like, look it. Jordan Peterson trying to eradicate the brown people. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all brought him into this. And then I saw his tweet. I was like, okay, well, maybe. All right. Well, shit. It's just fucking, I hate war. You know that? I hate war. I can't even like, I can't even like anybody anymore. And then if I like somebody, they start saying some out of pocket shit. And then, and then it's like one side, I'm like, I can't have any friends in war. I can't listen to any music now. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, I'm like, this is bullshit. So I don't know. Yeah, bro. AJ. Chantel. Please get a long term. It's not just for, for me. It's for you. And it's for everybody else. Long term. I wouldn't be here yelling for seven. I swear, without a long term, there's no way in hell I would be able to sit in front of a YouTube screen yelling at everybody every day to get a long term. So trust me, trust me, and that's it. And if 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 Pickle keep if he keep gambling on options, take away his options account and make sure only long term. His long term is the only way, baby. Long term, the only way. You go on Facebook. If you do, there's an ad for blue chew. Apparently, young dudes having ED problems. I've got I, I've gotten a blue chew ad once, and I was like, wait a minute, this is a targeted ad. Why are they trying to sell me Viagra? And they're always hella awkward ads too. But I think that's just your targeting, man. You know, I don't know. Did you look up any hair loss treatments? That could be it. If because I, I I do have hair loss treatments, they're probably like, yeah, he got a soft dick too. What? Uh, you know, so you never know. And I'm sorry for saying that joke after I'm trying to explain to AJ and, Sh and Chantel. My bad. I forgot that I, I have mad ADD. And it's after hours. Mm-hmm. How do you have ED? Well, listen, man. I, I mean, I'll tell you the reality. I had friends in LA who they would go to Mexico to buy Viagra. Not because they needed it, but like that was just, they enjoyed it. Like that's what that was their thing. They were in their young twenties, and they would pop Viagras when they would meet a girl, and like or like a girl that they really liked and that they were gonna marry. For all the conservatives out there, uh, yeah. Like, isn't that crazy? No, it was like a thing. They would like literally go to Mexico because I'm being dead serious. All my homies did this. <laughs> I was like, you guys are insane. I don't like, I was like, man, I was like, I guess it's not a, I mean, if you're already fucking doing blow and shit, I guess you don't care about putting in the damn blood pressure drug to make your dick hard. I get it. But like, still, I'm like, I'm, that's a little, nah, man, I seen the commercials four hours or longer. I ain't trying to do, I ain't trying to deal with that. Mm hmm. You can't Amazon it. You can't, it was like, they would get Viagra. You no, know, like, so they, this was before they had, that's what, why do you think? These websites came up with this idea of getting you discreet dick pills to your door without having to really see a real doctor. Do you think this just came out of nowhere? You Do you really think that erectile dysfunction was affecting everybody like this? No, it's because people, they like this shit recreationally. And they were too embarrassed. They're like, I'm not willing to go to Mexico or go see a doctor and tell them this. So now they just do a little teledoc and they like, hey, man, oh, yeah, I have these symptoms. They like, OK, once a week, we're going to charge you triple. Boom. Y'all don't feel me. Y'all don't know about real life. It's crazy. I even know about real life. You know that? You know why? Musk Neuralink files to incorporate in Nevada. Oh, isn't that bearish? Because it's going to be a separate company from Tesla. No, I don't know. 
You have no idea, bro. You have no idea. How do I know this and you don't? Do you realize? Uh, this is a true story. I remember one day, and this goes back to the commercials. We're watching TV as a family. And what do you think happens? A Viagra commercial pops up. And it says erectile dysfunction. And I'm a child. Bro, I asked my mom. I said, Mom, what's erectile dysfunction? Do you know what my, my, my what the response was? I got slapped in the face. I said, it's a bullshit. Bro, I got slapped. I didn't know what it meant. And I saw this damn commercial. Pfizer set me up. And I literally, I said, what's erectile dysfunction? Genuine question. And I got slapped. I was like, man. And now I know all this about the world. Are you kidding me? I told you I should have been weird. I wasn't even allowed to ask those questions. She said, ask your dad. No, nah, I wasn't even, I can't even say erectile in my household. I got slapped. Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all don't understand, bro. Y'all don't understand. Mm-hmm. You are you can't stop laughing. I Dude, I was so sad that day. I was hella crying, bro. I was hella crying. I was like, all I had, that I didn't understand. And then my brother told me what it was, but I didn't really understand it. Mm -hmm. And then I remember, I think my, uh, is this too much if I told you when I had my first boner? That'd be weird to tell you now. I'm sorry, I, this is a little x-rated today, my bad. That's what I'm saying, maybe I save this for in person if I ever do a comedy show. But these are just real stories, I mean, I'm just sharing with, I don't, would that be too weird? If I, was, is that too, like, crazy if I told you? Is, like, I know we have a deep, we have a good relationship, Chad, but is that too much if I told you when? I don't know how old I was, but I remember it was during Saved by the Bell. Kelly Kapowski, bro. And I was like, yo, this is weird. But, like, I was like, yo, mm-hmm. Nah, bro, not eight, after 8 p.m., bro. This was during, this was during Saved by the Bell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then I didn't understand when I asked. But my brother explained it to me eventually. And I said, oh, that's crazy. Talk about your child. Well, listen, it's not that weird that I'm telling. I was a child. You know, I was growing up, going through now. Y'all are fucking grown men telling me about you whacking off to Jen Psaki. Like, and oh, and Josh is the bad guy for telling you how he grew up in this very strict household and he remembers these moments because I'll get beat for asking about what Viagra was. Y'all grown-ass men. Some of you ain't even grown men. That's the weird part. You like 18 to 24 telling me this weird-ass shit. And I'm like, bro, you don't think this is a glaring personality flaw that you have? And you're like, why can't you find a girlfriend after 30? Because you go around and tell people when you jack off and that you jack off to weird characters on the fucking political TV screen. Come on. And I'm the bad guy. Oh, I'm the weird one. Oh, Josh is weird. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Right. Yeah, you can't work. I could work with this discussion. That's the one thing I always tell. I say, some of y'all, man, why y'all do that? I don't care that you do it. There is a core. Like, y'all just tell it, nah, man. After a certain age, man, some of y'all just, that's it. Like, when you were in, like, when you were young, first discovering yourself, you would tell your friends, you guys, you, but like, bro, some of y'all, I don't even know you like that. And it's on the internet. And I know if you do that to me, I think you do it to random people that you meet. That's my fair assumption. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nah, man, that's it. Okay, now you're talking first wet dreams. I don't know if that's too intense, but all I'll tell you, because again, I wasn't allowed to have sexual education. So I thought I was peeing on myself every time for a long time until I realized what it was. Okay, and then we'll leave it there. That's it. But like the whole time, I just thought I was a bedwetter. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Uh-huh, but why? I don't know. My parents are very strict. And then, it, but then again, I was uh, they, them. Eventually, my dad let me take sex ed. My, my my mom didn't want me to do sex ed in the sixth grade, and then my dad said it's cool 
And then just like everything, he said, you sign it. And then I and I had to forge it and do it. I didn't want to do it behind their back, but eventually I did. I was like, all right. But then my dad was chill with it. My dad was like, yeah, you're going to end up hella weird. My mom would have been fine. My mom would have been fine if I didn't know what sex was until I was like 18. She would have been totally okay with that. She would have had no, no, no problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, my dad, he let, he let me in. He let me he let me do the sex ed. And then I was like, wow. I was like, this isn't that crazy. Your dad's a G for that. I think he probably just, like, I liked video games a lot. He just knew I was going to end up fucking weird. Like, I was already I was already weird. You know what I'm saying? I was on the path to, like, and that's it. So, like, he just probably, like, knew that, like, if he don't intervene right now, like, this kid is going to fucking be watching Arthur till he's 18, which I was watching till I was 15. 16 ish which is still kind of odd uh you know i could have like literally i could have been I, you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. yep get to learn in health education you don't know how or what they said about males i just remember it was like it was funny we were all we were just all just make jokes but then then again that's why our generation's fucked up at some point or another, you're going to find out. I'm going to say, my mom didn't want me to find out. But I love my mom. My mom is such a sweet person. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, my mom, like, she's an angel, bro. It may not have been the best idea as a parent, but at the same time, you know, now that I'm older, I see where she was coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all people, like, joking sometimes. You're like, I'll never let my kids do this. Like, my mom actually did it. <laughs> My mom's like, I'll never let him see outside. She, like, actually didn't, like, nah, she held to it. She, nah, that's a sin. You can't, why? Like, nah, nah, she actually, and then, like, dude, and then I look back, I'm like, holy shit. She was right about everything. Bro, she was watching shows in the 90s, and she'll be like, those, they're pedophiles. And everyone's like, no, you're overreacting. She's like, they kidnap kids. They do all this. And then I'm like, oh, shit. She was right. She was right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it's kind of a trip. I'm like, how did you know? She just knew, bro. She knew. She knew. She's like, you weird ass. Why would you make a show like this if you weren't weird? <laughs> like, okay, I guess you have a point now. I guess you have a point. She was right the whole time. That's why I'm like, damn. I even try to tell my sister. I'm like, you really don't think she was right? I'm like, and then my sister can't even deny it, but she's still like, but still. I'm like, no, look, she was right. My mom, uh, she called it all out, bro. It's kind of nuts when I think about it. Because I'm like, she was damn, damn strict and crazy. But I'm like, nah, 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 nah. What show? Every show. Bro, we were only allowed to watch Aladdin because we were Middle Eastern and Lion King because it had animals. That was about it. And we were in a lot of, like Disney movies, bro. We didn't have cable. Like, nah, bro. But like, that's why I became such a bad kid. What do you think? Like, I learned how to go find shit on my own. Because my mom wouldn't let us do stuff. And then right when I had freedom, I went cuckoo. I went crazy. That's why That's why I'm so crazy now. Like, bro, that's what they say. You know, the sheltered kids go nuts. That's literally what happened to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tested every limit. Oh, yeah, the moment I could. Even then, even if I could sneak it in. Mama answers. I've done a video with her. She gets shy. She said hello to you guys, though. I think I called her once. Mm-hmm. Rebelled full out. Everybody does. I mean, if you really grew up like that, let's go to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. I want to go to a Mardi Gras in my life, but I heard it's nasty. Like, everybody says it's not like how it looks. Like, it's not what you think. But, like, don't, again, the only time I, like, Mardi Gras, I wanted to go when I was young because I was like, that's so awesome. But I don't know. Is it like, I don't, I don't know how it's going to be. It's ratchet. Yeah, that's why I heard. Like, everybody, like, when they get older, they're like, no, it's disgusting. It's, like, ratchet. It's crazy. It's The floor is sticky. Like, it's not, like, what you want. That's what they tell me. Correct. It's disgusting. They clean it at the end with fire hoses. You were a preacher kid, so you feel, yeah, amen. <laughs> amen, you know exact, bro, that's it. 
I was bad, bro. I was bad, but it's good though. You know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I, I'm very thankful for my mom and my dad too. Cause like, again, maybe it wasn't good for my developmental years, <laughs> but I think I came out fine, but I was, dude, they, they, you know, they had the right ideas, but I had to figure it out on my own. But yeah, bad, yeah, so no Mardi Gras. Yeah, I don't think I don't I I guess I don't even like crowds, bro. Like that's it. Mm hmm Of Sam Altman trying to raise seven trillion. That's pretty outlandish. He's like Sam Bankman, but smarter. Cause before any like again, before AI even turns into anything, he's gonna just raise seven trillion. And then by that time they find out it's a scam, he'll be gone. Like, that's the thing. We like kind of like, what if AI is a scam? <laughs> and I don't mean like NVIDIA is like scam. You know what I'm saying? But like, let's say Sam Altman is Sam Bankman. Just humor me. Because we really, we forgot about Sam Bankman real quick. We forgot that the media parades somebody around, says they all hail this technology. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. Like, think about it, though. Just humor me. What if... Oh, what if AI, bro, is late, like straight up all it was was smarter child from AOL bot powered by a bunch of graphics cards? That's all. That's all it was. That's all it was. I'm just saying. Just, what it, just humor me. Mm-hmm. Sam alternate, man. Sam alternate. We'll call him Sam alternate. Just outsource chat bot labor. That'd be crazy. That's crazy. We were thinking, I don't know, man. We forgot about it. We forgot about it all. I missed AOL. That was dope. I remember I talked to girls on AOL. Like girls from school. Where is that? I had that one girl. What was her name? She was the homie. She was the homie from sixth grade. We would talk on, on AOL. I thought I was the man. AIM. Yeah, man. Good old days. Well, on that note, with all the nostalgia, I think it's time we get into the nostalgia of 2K. Huh? Who's with me? Who's with me? Oh, yeah, Shakifa. That was her name. Thanks, Xavier. Thanks. Fucking Xavier. I missed. I'm going to get on now. YouTube chat is time. I'm going to leave you guys. You got to go to the Twitch. You got to go to the Twitch, man, but I love you all. Hold on. Let me say bye in a second. Let me get all this shit out the way. I got I to gotta set up my, my PlayStation and my screens. Excuse me. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, I can't. I forgot. I can't keep my headphones on. Other guys, you guys won't be able to hear. What the fuck is Game Bar? Yeah, oh, I got an update. See, so you guys get on Twitch, man. If you want to get all this. I need to update the game. Either while you guys can watch Joseph Biden play. It's fun. But Chatadonia, my YouTube chats, I love you all, man. Have a great weekend. Please enjoy it, man. It was an awesome week. Let's have an even more awesome week. But don't you ever forget why we're here, why we keep going. Why that faith, hope, and love ain't ever going out of style, baby. And why you got to get close to the food. 
Why you got to get stuff? It's easier to start it than stop it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Why, baby? Why? Y'all? Finger to the sky, baby. To God be the glory. And through the grace of God alone. Amen. Uh. Amen. Uh. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, man. I'll see you on the Twitch, Twitch TV slash Trading Fraternity. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. Bye. Yeah, exactly. Hey, wait, what am I doing? Doing Biden or am I doing? Nah, just what? Goodbye. I'm leaving. We're going to watch Joseph Biden play basketball. Look at Joseph Biden. There you go. Have a wonderful evening.